They'd be very restful, wouldn't they? I think the pink ones might be for going out on the town. The blue ones are for sleeping in, I think. <laughs> oh, blue's been more popular on pre-order. At 3 99 Okay, so... Um, Ben's going to buy pink for Alice and blue for him. And he's going to make a pair of pyjamas for Alice and a pair of pyjamas for him. Is he? Yeah, he say, oh, says this every week and then never does. <laughs> right, then the one you're demoing in. Yep. Very essence of liberty, this, isn't yes. it? Look at this. This is the one we're going to be using in the demo. The demo. 3 Pastel floral pot, cotton poplin, three ninety nine half a meter. The thing is, you could buy this for summer dresses. You don't have to if you're not going to buy the pajamas. Buy all of these for gorgeous summer dresses, blouses, or anything. It is liberty, essence of liberty. That one. Okay, then I've got one with a darker. Oh, I thought that no, one. I don't know if it's the same or not, but anyway, I was just looking if it was the same fabric, but it just in a it. different colour. <clears throat> No, it is, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it is. Isn't that funny? How it's just a completely different colour. It looks a completely different design. The only one that looks like this. Floral on denim. It's not real denim. The colour is denim. Oh, it's not on denim. It's on navy blue. I don't know why they've said it's on denim, because it's, it's on dark navy blue. It's the most popular without this one. It's Tuesday, they're not in today, it's day off Tuesday, so no one will hear it. Oh yeah, Paul was in this morning. Yeah, but then he won't come in on Friday then, he'll go golfing on Friday instead. Oh, it's Bank Holiday on Friday. Oh yeah, have you seen on the rotor who's in every single blooming Easter weekend? I'm not doing Saturday, for some reason I haven't got Saturday. Anyway, then I've got a pink floral on a black background. Don't know, I have no idea why I'm not doing it, it was just the way that, well no, it, Everybody else will have gone, well, I'm not doing Good Friday and I'm not doing Easter Sunday and I'm not doing Easter Monday. Rebecca Reed will be doing, well, I presume she'll be doing Easter Monday. I look. You see, the other thing about our rota is when Hayley does the rota, when Re Hayley does the rota, she never, so when you go into May, or no, April, she doesn't, look at, she doesn't look at March before it, so you've done a whole week the week before. Because it's a new month, she starts again, so you could end up, but I'm not at Specs on Monday. I bet she hasn't realised it's Easter Monday. I remember the clocks go forward on Saturday night, and remember, none of the shops are open on Sunday. Nothing is open on Sunday. We're open. We're open. But none of the shop shops, even Tesco's and everything, none of them are open on Easter Sunday. I remember going... Um, they all deserve a break. Oh, no, they do. They? But I always remember mm. one night when I lived at, I was at flat sharing and we decided to go to London cl clubbing. So we all got ready. Amanda Mealing came round. We all got ready and everything like that. Drove into town and we got there to the club at quarter to midnight. And they went, we can come in, but we're shutting in 15 minutes. We were like, what? Unless it's Easter Sunday tomorrow. We can't open on Easter Sunday. So we'd driven all, all the, the way, way there. And everything shut 15 minutes later. So we got all the way there, all glammed up and everything. And so we just turned oh, around and drove. Around and back. We had a party in the garden instead. Hey, there you go. There you go. 3 99 This is a multi-small floral on blue cotton pop. Right, it's not blue. It's not blue. It's not blue, it's white background. Somebody's had a thing with the words today, haven't they? Right, then we've got a peppermint green. Oh, now this feels diff This one feels completely different. Isn't that funny? It's a Rose and Hubble, but it feels much thicker than all the others. Still a poplin, but it's a heavy poplin. It'll still work. It'll still work. Green florals. <laughs> okay. Florals. <laughs> green florals on ivory. Oh. Ivory. That's not ivory. Beautiful. Then I've got Jenny Jackson fabrics now. So we've got grey, uh, I don't know what you call this one. Jaguar. Animal print on grey cotton. Beautiful. It's lovely. It's a big print, that one, isn't it? 
This isn't the one I was thinking of for Jenny Jackson, though. The other next to her Jenny Jackson ones. She's in on um, Sunday, Easter Sunday. I bet she hasn't realised it's Easter Sunday as well. Beautiful. Then I've got the green one. Oh, I quite like that one. I like that. Camouflage pyjamas. that would be to find you. <laughs> Animal print khaki. Charlie's acting out his life. Is that guy Charlie or Ben? Oh, Ben, Ch Ch acting out his life when he goes back downstairs but he can't sleep, plays PlayStation. Alice is going, get back to bed. She might be to see him in these. I bet you've got a car key wall somewhere in your house. <laughs> right? And then we've got black and white. Um, it, if you're going to make a skirt out of it, you might need to double layer it because it's very, very... Uh, a wrap skirt would definitely wouldn't work because you'd be, like, forever chasing the flap around, wouldn't you? Animal print, black... I'm not allowed to say. I'm not allowed to say. 3.99. 3.99. Animal print, black and white fabric. I just can't believe it. Then now, uh, I've got some elastic, or elastic, as we say when I was little. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You nearly caught me then chatting about um, Ollie and his wife, how he's punching, because she's much more beautiful than he is. But I've said it now. I've said that. Now, did it rain during the night last night? Yeah. The roads this morning were horrendous, weren't they? Anyway, that's by the by. Should we do the early bird? Three, three. Here we go. Now, a bit of two la. Here, early bird. Uh, excuse me. Uh, early bird. Two la. Two la. Two la. At thirty. Now, this always sells at thirteen ninety nine. It's Saturdays. Is now what it's called? I'll just wait for the big telly to come round. I'll be able to tell you. Uh, Saturdays in Guava, that's the one. Saturdays in Guava. Uh, 13 99 for half a meter. It's the early bird, so we're taking the price down. Do it now, do it straight away. We've got a very packed show today. Haven't got time to mess around. Uh, so, oh, oh. Um, Kat, just come and hold the end of this for me. Oh, no, you can't, because you've got to pan the camera, haven't you? Claire, come over here. Might as well use the guest to the full advantage. <laughs> hold the end of that one. Okay. And I'll hold the end of this one. Look at Right, go. Pull it out right. tight like this. Look, this is what your 7 99 will get you. Uh, it's half a metre. It's 108 inches wide. 7 99 You'll get to Claire in a minute. Look, still going. We're still going. Oh, no, we don't get to Claire. Get to me. We're going the other way. Thank you very much indeed, Claire. Uh, Seven ninety nine. What's the matter, Ben? When? Just now. Nobody's been through the door. Anyway, seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. Keep going through. One hundred percent cotton. It's got a satinised finish to it as well. Oh, lot to you there. Angela says morning, John. Uh, the other Jan says, good morning, raining here again today. Anne says, good morning, lovely John. Wendy says, good morning. Claire says, good morning, lovely shirt. Sue says, morning. Patricia says, morning, love you from Blackpool. Hey, Loads of there, loads of there, loads of there. Keep going through. We've got to be quick today, though. We've got a really, really, really packed show today. Um, now, some, for some reason, my, uh, my captions are yesterday's wor words. Just put, I bet she hasn't realised it's Easter Monday. I said that yesterday, didn't I? Anyway, keep going through. Seven ninety nine for X-ray backing. It's Tula Pink Designer. I mean, you can use it as dressmaking. You can use it quilt, but you don't have to use it for backing. Use it for what everyone. Laurie says, "Morning, John and Team. Pretty shirt. Off to knit and natter later. Oh, lovely. Have a lovely day. Knit and natter. Knit and natter is when you go out to the village hall and you take your knitting with you and you have a cup of tea and you'll natter." Crazy Lorraine says, good morning. Loads of you there. Lo I'm not surprised at 7 99 Keep going through. This is really good. 
Oh, uh, good morning, John. Amazing early bird. Just bought. I know. Uh, who's that from? So lovely by sisters. Oh, I don't know who that is. Um, it's a brilliant price. It shouldn't be seven ninety nine. I'm sure. It's, uh, I'm sure it's meant to go to eleven ninety nine. It's a weird one, isn't it? Seven ninety nine. Almost half price. That's what's annoying. Uh, not annoying. Brilliant for you. Not annoying. Not annoying. But just kind of weird that it's gone so low. I don't know. Uh, Susan said, uh, this is gorgeous fabric, isn't it just Susan? Jean says, good morning, John and team. Donna says, good morning. Um, how brilliant is this? Uh, it's uh, 7 99 half metre. Okay, so our designer fabric, if you were to buy the 44-inch wide Tula now, that would be at least 7 99 most probably 8 49 now. So this is more affordable than a 44-inch wide Tula. Oh, there's so, how many have I got? How many have I got? <gasps> now, be careful. Half the stock's gone. We had loads of this. Half the stock will have gone when you've all checked out. Um, I'm really, really shocked at the price. May says, good morning, John Scott. Good morning. I oh, know, this is brilliant. Now, I can't stay too long here, but I do need to check out. There's 42 people got it in their baskets. You need to check out, check out, check out. I'm not saying we're going to run out yet, but also, we don't know how much those people have put in their baskets. Do you know what? Oh, yeah, most people are multiple to 7 99 because it's almost half price, isn't it? Uh, how gorgeous is this? What are you going to make? Yoo-hoo, John. Good morning from Brighton, sunny Islington, says Mari. Oh, now, now, more than half the stock's gone. Oh, there's loads of you there. Loads and loads and loads of you there. There you go. Now, now, I just said to you, over half the stock will have gone when you checked out. Now, over the half the stock has gone because you have checked out. And then half of what's left is now in baskets. Well, no, no, that's wrong. We, can I just tell you, half, so half the amount of people of that sort, if everyone multi-buys like everyone else has, it will have sold out. So you need to check out. Need to check out seven ninety nine. That's a brilliant price. Oh, right, okay. Uh, ben thinks it'll have gone by the end of the menu. So let's do the menu and then we'll see if it's all gone. Okay, right, so lighting showcase with Claire Donnelly now at eight o'clock. Nine o'clock, we've got Crafter's Companion. Now, it's not Turned Edge of PK today. It's Bags today. So I don't know why they've written Turned Edge of PK. Turned Edge of PK was last week. There is some Turned Edge of PK in it, but the new things are all bags, aren't they? Yes, says Kat. Uh, then at 10 o'clock, Jules is here with the Joni dress, named after Joni Mitchell. Now, look, isn't it lovely? That's the dress version, but the pattern is actually for a dress or the blouse version, right? Uh, and Jules is wearing the blouse version. Uh, then 11 o'clock, Craft Companion with Becky Swan. No, listen, she hasn't, they haven't said what we're doing in that hour, look. It's the Gemini machine in that hour. Then we've got the... Oh, we've got a mystery bundle in that as well. Then we've got the nail trousers. Uh, look, they're lovely, aren't they? Named after Nurse. The nurse in Romeo and Juliet. She was called Nell. Uh, Oh, hang on, hang on, I, I played the nurse in Romeo and Juliet. Come Lammers Eve at night, shall she be 14? That shall she marry, I remember it well. My Lord and you, thou were then at Mantua. I can, isn't it weird how you hold, I can remember all of my speeches from Midsummer Night's Dream as well. Anyway, three ways to get in touch. First way is by email, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Second way is uh, by Facebook Live, which someone's I've been shouting out. Jeannie says, morning, John, because of your show, I'm into shadow quilts. Thank you. Just finished the Jaffa. Oh, I don't know what that means. Margaret says, good morning. Hilary says, good morning. Delia says, good morning. Cousin Susan says, good morning. Sorry, John, it's Nettie from Liverpool. I logged onto the wrong Facebook account. Oh, it's me. I don't need it, but that price, I had to have it. Love your shirt. Thank you. Uh, right, and then the last way is go to the website www.sewingstreet.com. This is where we find out now. Uh, if you scroll, uh, click on the right top right hand corner. You'll see the box on the right hand side there. Now it's not sold out yet. Oh, it's not sold out yet. I'm very disappointed, Ben. Very disappointed in you. Um, keep looking through. Keep, <laughs> can't be right after. <laughs> keep looking at that. There's your, um, there's your native lighting coming up this hour. There we go, all of those. Then, there's a lot of native lighting in there, isn't there? Beautiful. Then we're on to crafters, the first hour of crafters. Now, have a look. There's the scissors. There's the, there's the turned edge applique. That's not what the show's about. Keep going. 
Obviously, a lot of these prices are going to be crashed. There's the Threaders bag hardware. That's the new one. And the Threaders bag template. That's all the new one there. Special price. Oh, we haven't got that yet, have we? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got to try and find the A4 Alight pad yet. Uh, this is all crafters, crafters, crafters. Go, 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 Oh, uh, OK. The warehouse haven't uh, booked them in yet, but as soon as they are, I'll let you know, because Jules... No, no, that's right. Um, uh, because um, we've got to be careful, because Jules always sells on pre-order, so we need to get those up as soon as we can. OK, well, I'll let you know as soon as it is. I have to interrupt Claire, but I'll let you know. Nice blouse. Uh, Claire's here, everyone, from Native Lighting. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So just Sort me hair out. Yeah. <laughs> got a lot of colours in there this month. Yeah, I have, nice. yes. Started to be a little bit more funky. Funky. <laughs> yeah. All right, now, Jules, very quickly, I'll just show you. Jules is now on pre order. Oh, OK, it has an update on the website. Hang on a second. Oh, you can see me looking at doing that here. Uh, hang on one second. Uh, will it be right at the bottom, Jules? Right, Jules's things are right at the bottom. I only say this because Jules, is, Jules always sells a lot on pre-order because what you do is you come in, you buy your pattern and then you watch the demo later on and everything. So there's Jules's hours there. So, Claire, what have you brought for me this week then? What have I brought for you this week? Well, we've got the lovely arc light back in stock, yep. the desk curve lamp. So I know people have been asking when that was coming back. Brilliant. So what's so special about this light then? So this light is a light that can go completely over your sewing machine. Right. Obviously, it depends on, on the size of your machine, but what you can do is you can raise it up. So if you're worried about the height of the machine, then you can, can raise it up. Yeah. It's a 84 centimetre wide. Right. And at the highest point, it is 41 centimetres. If it was just as it was. If it was just yeah. flat, yeah. yes. So what's so ideal about this style of light here is it doesn't create any shadows. Right. Because you've got the complete light all the way around. It's also got 10 brightness settings. So at the moment, we're on the brightest level. OK, and let's see those while we've got the lights dimmed then. And then you can go right down to the lowest one, which is on, te on the 10th uh, one. Lovely. And then go back up again. And have I, have I just got one kind of light? Just daylight on Just this. daylight. When you're sewing, one. it's daylight that you always really yeah, need. Of course, so, yeah. And the daylight light as if you were outside at noon on a, on a sunny day. And it gives you the same type of light as that. Brilliant. So you didn't see it. In Claire's hand, she's got a clicky thing attached to the cable. And it's got a button in the middle to press on and off. And then it's got an arrow for up and an arrow for down. That's how you do it. Yeah. Now... When, if I use this and I switch it off, yep. when I come back, does it go to where I was? Does it go back to its default setting? It goes, always goes on to the brightest when you switch oh, it off. So it all starts at the brightest, so you can yep. just take it down. And then you also get with it a mobile phone holder. So if you maybe are watching like um, some kind of tutorial on YouTube, which you're following, then you can angle your phone on the holder. So it's got, an, it's got this little button where you can position it and angle it. Lovely. If you are doing um, videoing or taking photography of, of what you've made, or if you're going live to show people, you can angle it this way. And then obviously you've got your camera then facing down right. with exactly what's going on underneath the light. Brilliant. So. Yeah, so we'd be this, we'd be yeah. this side. Of the, we've got it the other way around today yeah. to just to show you, but we'd be this side. So how much is it? $129.99. A two-way split pay. Two-way split pay, 64 Now... I'm not going to cause a fuss, but it's normally meant to be three-way split pay when Claire's in. But we... Anyway, two-way split pay, 64 still good, £64. Uh, lovely, isn't it? Now, because also look nice in your lounge and everything. It doesn't have to be for a yeah, while. Yeah, no, it's, it? it's a really nice like, uh, light. A lot of people use it to work under as yeah. well, because laptops fit really nicely under it. So then that gives you that really nice glow. Of yeah, light, definitely. Obviously, during, during the Let day. Let me just take the sewing machine away, because yeah. I just think it's, it looks gorgeous. As just a lamp, like an arty lamp as well, doesn't it? Yes. Beautiful. Maybe if you're doing Zooms, you've got video calls with work as well. So obviously then, you, you know, you just obviously turn, turn your phone around and then you can do that as well. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah ide ideal for, for Zoom calls as just well. Just gorgeous. Yeah, that un so there's no shadow whatsoever under here, is there? No. 
Yeah, now, um, Ben's just saying you made it, oh, it was originally done for nail technicians. Yeah, so it? it was originally designed for nail technicians um, who use this a lot, obviously. But then we've had so many people that do craft and just said it's because of the fact that it doesn't create the shadows yeah. and it just lights such a large area. So any kind of work can literally be done underneath it. So, you know, any kind of paper craft. Of well, no, no, but also, like, if you're painting soldiers yeah. or anything like that. I only say that because Emma Bradfield, you're right under the graphics there, oh. just come over to me a little oh, bit. Yeah. There you go. Um, uh, Emma Bradford's uh, husband, Mikey, he paints, or used to paint little soldiers, you know, like those little lead yeah, yeah, yeah. It, Is yeah. that what they I don't even know if they were Warhammers. They were like those things when I was a child, like little... Oh, the little tiny They used to be lead back yeah. in the day, didn't yeah. they? They used to paint those yeah. and everything. Yeah, they're so intricate as well, so... £129.99. Now, if you do nails for you, or for, I wouldn't, I was going to say it's a bit excessive just about for your, just sit at home doing your nails, you, but use <laughs> it for your nails as well. But if you do your, like my Ju, Julie, my sister in law, goes to Jill's next door to have hers done now when she can't get to glow or anything, so this would be ideal. But I just think it's a lovely, light, full stop. Yeah. So you've got a favourite, I've got really beautiful Moroccan plates that I've bought and everything. They look nice underneath, not plates to eat off, but you know, kind of beautiful display. hand painted display yeah. plates. Look lovely under that. Yeah, and uh, some uh, Becky was saying at, uh, at Christmas it would have been really nice over like a Christmas display. Oh, yeah. A display and uh, ben uses his over his uh, recipe books when he's doing cooking. You must have a big kitchen, Ben, over his <laughs> chopping board. Okay. Well, you'll save money this because it's LED lights, this one, it isn't is, it? It is, yeah. yeah. 129 no interest charge whatsoever. The desk curve lamp. Lots in baskets, lots in baskets. So let's move on to the rest of the gifting. Switch that one yeah. off. Okay. Yeah, which one would you... Uh, ben says this is the gifting section. Self-gifting's the way to go. Buy them. Don't wait for someone to buy it. Buy it for yourself. <laughs> okay, which one do you want? Two-in-one lamp. Right, OK, let me just... Uh, you come and stand Stop. there and talk about that yep. and I'll just tidy up over here. OK. OK, so this is called the two-in-one travel right, lamp. Yep. And this one is called that because you can use it... Who's this handsome man? Oh, that's my son who's in Australia. And is that his baby? No, that's my nephew. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'll put that there for you. Don't forget it. Right. So, right. So you've got your three options of light on here. Um, you've got warm light, cool light and daylight. Yeah. So you can use it as a desk lamp. Just pop it down like that and use it as a desk. But you also have the option to use it as a torch. So you just tap it twice once it's closed and then you get the option of the torch. Lovely. Which has a really long, wide beam on it. it oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Really Actually, just do this. Look at the wall at the back there. I'm over there on the wall at the back. Where do you want me to go? Right, I'm going to... Look. Where am I looking? There you okay. go. It's brilliant, isn't it? I won't point it at you because it's very, very bright. I can tell you how bright this is because I can see, I've can. i got this on my bedroom windowsill and when I'm looking for uh, Luther out in the woods at night time, it gleams and goes for miles into the woods behind my house. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 45 99 uh, three-way split pay, three-way split pay, so that's 15 33 is it, a month. No interest charge whatsoever. Yeah, you see, this is what I'm saying. Everything of Claire's is on split pay when she's here. She, she, it, split pay is meant to start at 99 99 and then it's a two-way split pay. So have this on three-way split pay, it's fantastic. Um, so... Uh, how, how do I charge it up, do you say? So it's USB chargeable, so right. it comes with the cable. Which a C. We, yep, a C one. And then you would either put that into um, a plug that you would, type of USB plug that you would charge your phone with, or you can put it into a battery pack or anything that's got a USB plug. Oh, we had, I talked about you the other day. We had Did this you? battery pack on. Yeah. Um, and I didn't really know what it was, but I went, oh, this is what Claire comes with. This is what Claire comes with. Because you, you can just put any of these yeah. and for your... You know when you go out, you, you need to recharge your, your phone and things like that. You use it for your lamps, don't you think, yeah. if you're out and about? Yes. Yeah. 45 99 It's brilliant, this. Now, I, I say this on every single native lighting show, right? I hate it when I watch a, t a shopping channel and the presenter goes, oh, I've got this. Oh, I've got this. Right? I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. Right? And I've got... One thing off the table over there as well, as well as others, which we haven't got on the show today. So, I mean, I really do have them. And it's kind of, if you watch my Facebook Lives on a Sunday, this one, this one is used for the back wall to give ambiance on the back wall behind me. This one is in the bedroom to look for Luther. Or if you need to go for it, well, 
I'm on my own, so I can switch the big light on. But if you don't want to switch the big light on... But when Charlie stays in my house, Charlie and Hat's there, my husband, have gone on holiday, Hat has this on her side of the bed because she needs to... Well, Charlie has to go to bed really early, obviously, to be in work, but she needs to read. So she has this on the side of the bed, the size of, side of the bed so she can just read her book and not light up the whole room or anything. And then I've got the zigzag lamp... And I've got the uppy downy light, which is neither of those are called that, but they, I've got both of those. <laughs> right, where do you want to go next then? Zigzag one next. Okay. Please. So, this is such a lovely, compact little portable lamp that is so easy to just pop in a handbag, in your sewing bag, even your pocket if you're, if you're going out and about. So, a brilliant one for travel. I recently used it on the plane and it was so great to have my own light instead of using the big one that comes down. Then well, you can never everybody. reach that one. I don't know how you reach I it because I can't reach it. So you won't be <laughs> exactly, able to. Exactly, yeah. So this one um, extends. So you can extend it like that and then you can angle the head and it also angles back as well. Right. And to switch it on, you just tap it very gently and it's got three brightness settings Lovely. as well. To turn it off, you just keep your finger on it for a couple of seconds and mm -hmm. then it goes off. And then just to pack it back down, you just pack it back down and fold it down like that. Uh, right, so two things. Uh, first of all, you must switch it off before you close it. Closing it doesn't switch it off. No. But the good thing about having the button on the inside is if you do throw it into your bag, it's not going to switch itself on because the button to switch it on is inside. Because yes. the amount of times you get a lamp like this, yeah. I just throw things like my phone and everything yeah. into my bag. Switch on... And it's like my, my uh, razor, when I bring my razor into work, I just yeah. throw that in the bag. By the time I get here, I think, I drive away thinking, what's that funny noise? And my razor's going... <laughs> razor buzzing. By the time I get here, there's no power no. Which I then shave my face with. This can't switch itself on because it's the, the, the button to switch on is inside. Uh, Charging-wise... So charging wise, um, again, it's USB powered. So you charge, sorry, not powered, USB charge. Yeah. So you charge it up and then depending on which brightness setting you have it on, it will last between four and seven hours. OK, can I have it with the USB? If I'm sitting at my computer, if I have the USB stick end in my computer, yeah. can I still use it as a light? Yes. Because some, some I, I, I don't know if it's yours, but some things... You can't, yeah. I tell you what I'm thinking of, of the defluffer we have. Yeah. If you're charging it, you, it, can't, use you it. can't use it. No, it you can't. So, so you could, rather than using up the stored energy, yeah. you could work it from your computer or whatever you're working you can, from or your yeah. plug, and then it's still charged up when you yeah. then take it out And the then house. you're using the same power supply as the computer's using, so, yeah. Some sort and they're LED light LED. bulbs. And just to mention about LEDs, uh, you never need to change an LED like you would like an old-style light bulb, and LEDs last for 50,000 hours, but if you break that down, that works out about eight hours use a day and it's 18 years worth of use, so quite a long time. 18 years. Yeah. It's frightening to think that, isn't it? Then, so then why I've got an LED light in my hall light and it's got, I haven't, it hasn't been on for 50,000. It's not one of yours. Is it a bulb? Yeah, but it's, it's an bulb. LED bulb. Bulbs are very different to, to, actually, to, to the actual LEDs that are inside lamps. They're, they are different. They're lifetime. Oh, you see, I was cursing you. No, was you now? Yeah, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't buy the bulb from her, but it, I, it, it, I, it was on and then it went off. And yeah. I was like, I thought they were supposed to last 20 years. No, that's, um, that LED bulb, bulbs have very different life. Oh, I, I don't know how long because... No, I no, I should be... Well, it's not your fault, it's, yeah. it's not a native lighting yeah. bulb or anything. So. But, and I also laughed, because you always go, John, they're not bulbs. Yeah. And there I was screwing <laughs> in an LED bulb, going, well, this is a bulb. Yeah, this no. is a bulb. <laughs> anyway, at 54 99 three-way split pay, £18 and something. Uh, split pay there, that's brilliant, isn't it? Eighteen thirty-three split pay three times. So you pay if you take the split pay, you pay what, uh, eighteen thirty-three. Same. If you've already bought the early bird, that's your P and P paid for. You don't need to worry about that because you paid one P and P for the whole day. Now the things we show. Does that come from us or from you? That comes from me. You. Yes. Right. It's still included in the same three ninety-five posted packaging, even though if it comes from Claire or if it comes from us. It's one P and P for the whole day. Back to the split pay. We don't charge any interest whatsoever because we do it in house. We don't hand it out to a loan company to sort it all out and everything. And we do not charge you for the pleasure of using um, split pay because other places uh, are known to do so. Right, OK, moving on. So this is John's favourite, I think. This is what you said. It's so funny because when you very first brought it here, yeah. right at the beginning, I was like, 
What's Who that? on earth is going <laughs> to buy that lamp that goes up and down and it's different colour? Like, and I've got my, I have mine on all the time. Yeah. Vix has got one, so when Maisie was little, she used it as a nightlight. Yeah. Um, I use mine in the garden, gar well, I haven't got my garden venture out yet, but garden venture out in the, in the summer, yeah. I use it in the garden and everything. Tell us about this lamp then. So, this lamp is, you turn it on and there you've got warm light and you turn it around and it changes to Right, daylight. now the best way to show this is if, we, if you watch the table, right? If, oh. you, go bit, if you go a bit lighter, uh, Darker. Uh, so, no. So, yeah, the light go lighter, but I go down so it's a bit dimmer. And right. And it does notice... It does right, so do it. Watch, keep it on the on table. The Look. So See how the colour changes. Do you turn it over warm. again? Look. You can see you're going from the warm to the daylight, can't you, on that? Lots of people say they just sit and turn it around all the, <laughs> all the yeah. time because it's just... OK. So if you turn and it then, on its side... Oh, turn it on its side. half and half, so you can then see the different, the, the two colours. It doesn't show up terribly well, does it? No. Um, but, yeah, so it is very noticeably warm on one side. I've never, ever, that. ever... Done that. Done that with mine. Uh, haven't you? Why would you want that for? Well, that's just if people wanted to see what the two colours are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, if you lay yeah. it on the side... I'll do it to show people, yeah. but I've never had it no, like that some in my house. I think some people, some people do, but um, it's, they just think it's quite funky to have the two. Beautiful. Now, how does it work, work, then? What have I got? What, what are the... Um... So the buttons on the top are your brightnesses. So this, at the moment, it's on the brightest, and you just tap your buttons... And that's it on the really lowest. So that's where you can hardly, it's hardly like, so that's the next one up. Yeah. So if you were using it as like a night light, then that's what you'd prob probably put it onto. Um, so many people use it for like keeping in caravans, using outside on the patio table, because um, you've got a little handle on it as well. So you can sort of use it as a lantern if you're wandering around at night, you can carry it. Um, brilliant for power cuts if you sometimes get a power cut mm -hmm. and then obviously you've got some light straight away if you have a power cut. And how do I charge it up then? Again, comes with a USB, so you obviously put it into your plug, your power pack or any USB port and then you charge it up. And how long will it last for? So we say eight hours, mm -hmm. but people say that's really conservative, that it yeah. does last a lot longer than that. Eight hours on full or yeah. eight hours on eight, eight hours on full. So if you use it as a nightlight, it'd be even longer. Yeah, then, exactly. It? And you, do, you can switch it off on both sides. It's got the button here to switch it on, on and off, hasn't it? So you can yeah. switch it off on that side and then you can switch it back on on. That side. side. And you've got the dimmer buttons on both sides as well. Uh, so 63.99, three-way split pay. Gorgeous. They're always so popular, aren't they? It's, yeah. it's, um, it's funny because that first day, I know you're, if you've never seen it before, you're going, when am I ever going to use that? But actually, yeah. mine, mine's in my office and it's used all the time. Because it's also brilliant. It's also brilliant just to take you back. If you, if you just want to use it on your desk to do letter writing, I mean, it's bright enough. In the studio here, you can't see yeah. its fullness, but it's actually bright enough to use as a desk lamp as well. So it's really designery to yeah. have it as a desk lamp as well, isn't it? Are you still using it in the bathroom? <laughs> no, because I've now got my new bathroom. Uh, okay. So what happened was I had to get new bathrooms and the bulb went in my um, little bathroom that I was using and uh, I couldn't work out how to change the bulb. So I just used to take that in with there with me every month. No, no, I used to put it on like wee willy winky, <laughs> walk through to the back bedroom, I had my wee willy winky night, nightgown on, uh, put it in the bathroom and lit up the whole bathroom on the glass shelf away from the shower, obviously, and it just lit up the whole bathroom brilliantly. But no, I don't need to do that now. I'm back in my own bathroom now. <laughs> new, all my new bathrooms, gorgeous. Right, uh, so I've done that, 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 right, then this. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Hang on a sec, this is plugged in, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So what's this one, then? So this is our magnifier go. that's got the highest magnification in the range. Right. So this one gives you three times magnification. So with this one, you've got a light. Can you plug it on? Oh. <laughs> you pulled the plug out. Is it on? No, there yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you turn it on. You've got your button there for switching it on. And then you've got different colours of light. So you've got a cool light, a warm light, and the daylight on yeah. there. So you can angle the head Ooh. as well. So if you wanted to put it in, like, in front of a sewing machine, then you can see the needle a bit better. Or do ghost like stories. That. Ghost, yep. Yeah. And things like that. So you can angle the head and obviously it goes up and down. So can we, if we just do an overhead, I'll maybe just pop some 
my one of your jewels. Yeah, one of my jewels or, or my nails, my Easter nails under. Let me see. Right. Yeah, hang on a sec. Coming in. Oh yeah. Are you doing your nail, not your I'm jewel? I'm doing my nails, yeah. yeah. You can see. Oh there's a ring. Okay. You can see my ring there. Yeah. Still no engagement ring though. No. <laughs> See how much that's, uh, that actually magnifies. So because it's three times, the magnification on this one is, is really high. Yeah. And but really also, is. Hannah always has an issue that, if, you know, like on uh, Modern Family, when the light comes in and bounces off a Christmas decoration and burns the sofa, Hannah's always convinced that the light... Her house is so dark, the sunshine never gets in it. But there's a little top on it, so you could just have it as your desk lamp, couldn't yeah. you? So without using it, and then, then you're not going to scratch your magnifier. There's no chance of the sunshine getting on. Because no. my office is north-facing, so that yeah. doesn't get any sun. But if it was at the back of the house, like in the kitchen, and like that, the yeah. sun is so bright in there that I'd just keep the top down if I used had it in my dining room or something like that. 42 99 three-way split pay on, let's have what was that, 14 14 So it's a magnifier and it's the lamp as well. And what that, sometimes you don't always need a magnifier. No, no, exactly. That's why it's quite nice. So you just open up the lid when you do need it, and then you've got the light. Uh, should we talk about this? Times. Yeah, the gooseneck. Yeah, so obviously you've got the gooseneck, which means you can position it up, down, and angle, angle that. And it is a, well. it, you can't, you know, in the old days, you used to feel, well, it wasn't covered in silicon, those days, was it? Yeah. But it used to be ridged, didn't it? Yeah. You can't feel the ridges in it. It's, it's really, really super smooth. But what I love about it is on all of these, we've got the Lumina coming up in a minute, right? If you want it upright like that, it just stays upright like that. Now, how long have you been coming here? How long have I had my desk lamp I use every single day? Four years. Floor, like. So I've had... And it still does this, right? Because you know a lot of them, you buy them, they do that for the first couple of weeks, and after a while it's got, you get that, that kind of... I don't want to say a droop, but yeah. you know what I mean? It starts... A drop. It, <laughs> it starts doing that, doesn't it? Because the strength is gone. Yeah. But I can tell you, I've got the Lumina floor lamp and I've got the Lumina, sorry, Lumina floor lamp and the Lumina desk lamp, and they are both still... still. No, I tell you, I'm telling a lie, aren't I? Telling a lie. I've got the clip-on one, but, but basically, the, 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 it doesn't... It doesn't um, well, none of mine have, after four right. years. None of mine have gone a bit limp or anything like that. Well, well, so when I set native lighting up, I did quite a lot of research, and that was one of the things that so many people said to me, that they were fed up with buying lamps and then they just didn't stay in position. Yes, yeah. So that's why all of our goosenecks are reinforced to make sure that they do stay in position. Brilliant. OK, so that's this side of the desk. Oh, there's oh, some beads now. We've got, another, we've got a magnifier over there. Shall yeah. I take them with me? Yeah. Right, so we're going to walk across to there now. Let me see if there's any questions on here. Good morning, John, Claire and team. I used mine on the plane. It was perfect. That must be the zigzag lamp. That was from Sally. Crazy Lorraine says, I've got the zigzag lamp. Very compact. It's ideal for what I need it for. So there you go. Right, let's move That's across. Don't really, trip on anything. Yeah. So now we're moving on to bigger uh, lamps over here. Three in one. Right, so I'm going to show you a slide first of all. Are you black or white first? White first. So this is what it looks like if you make it into a desk lamp. But you will get this base. This is the light unit here. But with it, you also get... Have we got it, Kat? The, um, the, the pole... No. Oh, it's in the black one. I'll show you yeah. the black one in a second. You get the pole and you also get a clamp. Now, obviously, with this one, you get the white clamp. You get the white clamp with that one. So you can just show the picture of the three different um, stages. There you go. So you can either have as a desk lamp clamped a desk lamp with a base or a floor lamp with a base now this base is quite sturdy because obviously you need it to be sturdy because this is quite a, a hefty um not, yeah I don't, it's, I'm it's, not, I don't want to say it's too heavy it's but not it, heavy but obviously it has to be counterbalanced that's the word yeah. that's the word counterbalance yeah. counterbalance now this one's not plugged in so i'll show you the white one first of all 146.99 three-way split pay at 48.99 Right, so you get all three pieces. Now let me show, I'll bring the black one into shot now because the black one is plugged in. I'll, I'll lift it up to, to start with to show you what it is, but then, oh, hang on a second. Right, so can you see? I'll bring that down, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so you get the base, you get this pole here, you get that pole there which you can slide in and out. 
This is the lamp section that you get, and you also get this. So if you want it as a desk lamp and you haven't got enough room on your desk for this, because, it, again, it's a substantial base, you can clamp it onto there. But look at, the, look at the depth of the clamp in there. It's fantastic, isn't it? It's about seven centimetres. Seven centimetres. Yeah. But also, you could put it on thinner as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, it'll, so go, to, on a nice yeah, it'll one. go to one centimetre. So. Yeah. So that's the black version. Then again, 146.99, split pay 48.99. Uh, right, so do you want to talk me through it? Yeah. Do you want me to pull it down? No, let's probably leave it there. Okay. So you've got two brightness settings on this one. So this just has the daylight setting yep. on this lamp again, which is, is what you need if you're colour matching. So you've got two brightness settings and you can also... Oh, oh just switched it off. I've switched it off as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can also angle the head which is quite different to a lot of the floor lamps that are actually on the market. They, normally, you've always got to look over the top of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the fact that you can actually move the head to make it a little bit more comfortable for, for Well, if, you're doing, if you've got a tapestry frame or an yeah. embroidery frame, it's yeah. fantastic. You can sit down, you can have the lamp coming across you like that, yeah. and then you can actually sit doing your embroidery with it facing the yeah. embroidery, can't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. It's height adjustable as yep. well. So all you would do with that is you just... Tell me one how tight. That yeah, how tight. There you go. There you go. So you can come right down like that, that. or it goes, I'll keep going a bit more. Yeah, oh. it does go pretty high. By the way, yeah. that's, that's it. That's the that's as high, high as you can. Yeah. So yeah. And then that and then obviously we've got this bent right over here. Let me put it back on the floor. Because now we've extended the length. Oh. And it's sturdy and durable. <laughs> yeah. But you see what I mean? So if you have a look at this, can you see that in the overhead there? See the beads there. So this has got 1.75 times magnification. Now, 1.75 is the norm, isn't it? Yeah, it's or... pretty much the standard. So that's five diopter as yeah. well, if people sort of want to know what the diopter is. Oh, what? Five diopter. It's just the way that they talk about magnification so in, in diopter and time. Right. So, yeah, I mean, you can see how much that that's really uh, magnified those beads there. Yeah. So you get, so you can get, basically, you're getting the top bit, you're getting the base, you're getting the clip, and you get an extension, all for your 146.99. So you don't, have, you don't think, oh, which one should I have, which one should I have? You can choose which way you do it, how you have it and everything. Um, yeah, what's quite nice is like, so maybe like sometimes that you like to sit in a chair and work, and sometimes you know that you want to work at a table with your sewing machine. So what a lot of people do is they keep the clamp just on, clamped onto the table where the sewing machine is, then all you need to do is just unscrew the top part. Oh, it's screwed in. This yeah. It's screwed in. And so... You, oh, yeah, there's a little floor. screw there. You just unscrew it, and then you can then just move it into there, and then if you want to go back to the lounge, say, in the evening, then you just take the top part back and put it back onto the pole. And electricity-wise? Electricity-wise is it is mains-powered. Normal three-pin plug. Normal three-pin yeah. plug. But because it is LEDs, they are much more cost-effective right. than um, an old style bulb. They don't use anywhere near as much electricity. So And do they get hot? They don't generate any heat. This is clever, isn't it? Yeah. So if only we discovered the LED light. I know. And also, years ago, when you had to have a bulb, they were much more clunky, bigger looking. And you have to go to the supermarket every few weeks and so we keep replacing bulb. it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, much more cost effective in terms of the, the use of the electricity and the fact that you're not needing to replace the bulbs as well. Exactly. They're going, they're two of them are like two old, I don't mean this rudely, but they're like two old women. Next door. Have you ever been to the supermarket to buy a bulb? You don't know what size to get, you don't know what to do. Because the <laughs> they have different, the bayonets and the screws are all different yeah. sizes and everything, yeah, aren't it's they? All very anyway, we're We'll, we'll finish that conversation. 146.99. You do, uh, and it's a three-way split. Three-way split. Pay 48.99. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. You can have the black or the white. Remember. Now, what do you find? Because I imagine these are very popular for beauty salons and things yeah, like that. Yeah, we do sell a lot of these into beauty salons as well. Yeah, um, good for pimple popping. Yeah, and also people that struggle with their eyesight as well, so people that need um, help with reading and stuff as well, so yeah. a lot for that type of thing. Some, well. Sometimes, though, this is what I found with mine, I kept thinking, oh, I need to buy a magnifier, and I'm not putting you off buying this because you can use it as a light as well, but sometimes you just need a light, don't you? You don't yeah. need, always need the magnifier as well. I'm not saying don't buy it for the... What I also love about this is the magnifier's not round. No, there's more way you look at things really because I, I always used to think why is it round because we don't look at things sort of roundly do we we look at things more sort of yeah, like exactly. that way so uh, message uh, oh I can't see the telly uh, 
My favourite magnifier ever. Uh, it's been a lifesaver. Thank you, Cap. My stitch has never looked... Oh, it's June. It's from June. Oh, June's the reason Thanks, why we have this lamp. Yeah, Je June is the reason why we got this lamp. Because she kept saying, she kept mentioning, going, when are you going to do a magnifier floor lamp? When, and so you went out with June in mind to find... Obviously, not just June's bought it. Hundreds of you have bought it. But it's because of June that we had this lamp. Oh, sorry, that's my fault. That's my fault. I haven't brought my iPad over. Who is it that sent the message? Which one? Oh, Margaret, you're telling me how to do my job again. Oh, actually, no, there's no questions on Facebook. There's no, oh, oh, sorry. I've got, I, I, I've, I've, I, all I've got is one from Sue saying, I've lost the remote for my floor lamp. Where can I buy a replacement? Um, so if you s just contact us on the website, then we'll... You, your, yeah, your yeah, website, yeah, Native Lighting. Directly, I will sort one out for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Margaret, I don't know where you're seeing your questions. I haven't got any questions on mine at all. Um, Sharon, lots of love. Oh, Sharon, we are sending you tons of love. I'm not going to read it out. We've got sending you tons and tons of love. Right, OK, so this is the... Um, the black or the white native lighting three in one floor magnifier. Now, something we haven't in, had in for ages and ages and ages, oh, let me switch that off, is the Lumina desk lamp. Now, I've got the Lumina floor lamp. Right. But the desk lamp's the same thing, isn't it? The, but it's, yeah, it'll it'll be the same way. But it's the, it's the um, one that scr not screws to your desk, it's got a clamp to go onto your desk. Yes. So. What do you want to do first? Um, shall we do the... Uh, do we need to pull it into shot? Yeah, I was just going to say, shall we move it along a bit? Yeah. yeah. It's a bit on the end, isn't it? It's just... So, this so uh, a, go, go on. I was going to say, this comes with a clamp. Obviously, we've taken the clamp off. Yeah, yeah. So, this one clamps onto the desk, and you... Again, you've got the, the depth of the clamp for about um, six centimetres on this one. I don't... Is it going? Are you far enough in? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. You talk about it, I'll Okay, I'll talk about it. Right, so what you've got with this light is you've got five different options of colours. There we go. You've got warm light, daylight, cool light, and a couple of other lights in between. Yeah. And each light has got five different brightness settings on it as well. So this lamp has 25 settings with all the different colours. And as we age and get issues with our eyes, so um, things like macular degeneration, glaucoma, problems like that, you find that maybe the bright daylight is too much for you. And that's why we've got all the choices of the lights on, on this lamp, so that you'll always find a light that's comfortable for you to use. So you can really position the light exactly where you want it. It's so flexible as well. You can, like... It's like a... Screen. And it really is. It really... And it, I can say I've got the floor version of this, and it actually will stay... At, wherever you push it, it will go to. It's fantastic. And you can make it arty as well. You can twist it round and, and use it as a kind of... Uh, you have to just use it in your workroom or your desk. It can be in your house. It can be really lovely to have on a coffee table and yeah. things like that. But what I love about it is the control system because you get a remote with this. You, I mean, you can, you can switch it on and off here, but if, you, if you've got it... Say you've got it over there on a coffee table and you want to change it while you're working it, you get a remote with it, don't you? You do. You get a remote with it, yes. Now... So. This has got how many light settings on it? So it's got five different colours yeah. and five brightnesses on each one. Plus? Plus the night lights. A night light. So you've got 26 <laughs> versions or 26 settings that you can have it at. Now, the brilliant thing about this lamp is when you... If you've got it over your desk and you're working with it and everything, because I know this because I do this with my Lumina, I know which colour I have it on and which setting I have it on, and it's always on that. If you switch the light off and go away and come back the next day and switch on, it comes back to the setting that you left it on. So it doesn't mean that I sit down on my computer and go, oh, which one do I have mine on? It automatically goes to the perfect light setting for me because I've already preset it. That's not to say I can't change it. It's called a smart memory. Smart memory. Wish smart I had memory. one of those. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what's on the what's on the um... so, okay on on the remote yeah, control you've got a timer for sixty seconds yeah you've got a ten minute timer you've got your I'm just going to pull you in here so uh, so oh. Ollie can come down a bit okay 
come down a bit closer. There you go. You've got all your different brightness plus and minus and your colour plus and minus. Yeah. Then you've got your night light, which is a little moon. Yeah. Then you've got your brightness settings here, just for quickness, 100%, 50%, 20%. And you've got a warm, a cool, mixes daylight on here. And then if you want the other colours, then you just use your plus and your minus colour button. Yeah, but you don't have to do it from the remote because on here, you've got your three buttons on here. You see, so you've got your on-off button here. Then this is changing your colour. And that one there is changing your brightness. So it's brilliant. And then the clasp is a really, really lovely clasp. Because look, if you look, it's not too, it's not, th that one there has to be a big sturdy one. This one's a more delicate designer one. But again, look at the depth that you can get. So you can put it on a really, because this, this lamp weighs nothing. No. So you could put this on a really, really, really tiny, thin coffee table. Or you can, like we've got, these, these are like kitchen surface tops yeah, on here. Big, so yeah. we can fit it on there as well. Then you've got, this is really good. This uh, kind of, you know, one that goes, so if, the, if you've got a bit of table in the way, you just move it and you turn it like that and everything. Uh, but then you also put the lamp in here. That's where the light fits in. What are you saying, Ollie? To that Titan. Yeah, yeah. You could hang it. Hang it. Where from? No, because it would fall out of there. Well, I, no, no, you're scripting, but I wouldn't. I, I don't know. Where's he going to hang it? I don't know, from the ceiling. <laughs> from the ceiling. He's got hanging plants in the kitchen. Ah. Yeah, but then you'd have to have this going somewhere then. He'll work it out. He'll work it out. Ollie's going to hang his. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hang mine. So, that, yeah, Ollie, take this one home and take a picture for us. No, we can lend it to you for the day. Three-way split pay, look, 95 99 Do you know what? Do you know the other thing I think about um, native lighting? Is your prices never go up. Do you know what I mean? They're kind of like four years, you say? Yeah. Four years. Four years. Um, if you can see any price ranges rise in four years, I'll be really shocked because they're all about, they've always been about this price, haven't they? Yeah. Right, so that's the white one. Then we've also got in black, which is the one I've got. Well, except I've got the floor lamp, obviously. Okay. Um, so we've got the black one. Yeah. Again, everything's exactly the same. You've got your different colours of light, warm, cool. You can see it changing on the desk there. You can really see the difference in the in the colours as we go through. And then you've got your five brightness settings on each one. So we've got the lowest one, two, three, four, five. Brilliant. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm very conscious now to see if there's any questions coming in. Is there a pad so underneath doesn't get scratched? Fiona, which lamp are you talking about, my love? You mean, do you mean, do you mean the, do you mean the, this one? Let me know which one you mean, Fiona. Let me know which one you mean. Yeah, they've all got all of our lamps. Oh, yeah, uh, every, the clamp under lamp, here has yeah. a little bit of silicon on it, yeah. so it's not going to scratch your every, table. Every lamp has, because yeah. obviously that's something we need to, to bear in mind people's furniture. Yeah, so. exactly. £95.99. and 99 pence. Right, let's move on. We've got one more behind you we now. Have. Let me move that one, one away now. What? Well, no, everything of Claire's is on, should be on three-way split pay. It's just that first one that wasn't on three-way for some reason. Okay. Right. So this is our multitask magnifier. This is another magnifier that goes from floor down to... You can remove this part of the pole. Right. And then you can put that part into the base. So this is a... Oh, right. So all, so all of this... Yeah, comes out. Comes out. So it literally will turn into a desk, into a desk lamp. magnifier. Yeah. So this one is a two-in two in one because yep. this doesn't have the clamp with it, this one. There it is at the sewing machine. Is that, your, is that a quilt you were making there? Uh, no, that's actually Living in Loveliness. Is, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, lovely. So it's a two-way, 110.99. See, this one's on two-way split pay as well. They're, they're, they need to get their split pay sorted out upstairs, don't they? Uh, native, now, when Claire's not here... They're not on split pay. Just to, uh, This one would be. This one would be because it's over £100. But all the ones we've been showing you... When Claire's not here, we're not supposed to put them on split pay. Okay. Right, so the what's pop. this one then? And also, the head on this one is a little bit smaller, so right. the three-in-one is obviously, you know, a, a really big, chunky one, but sometimes people want slight, slightly smaller yep. magnifiers. Are you plugged so. in with that one? Yeah, it's yep. plugged in. So the controls on this one are actually on the, on the cable. You see that oh, there? Oh, there you go. Yeah. So what have we got on there? So then? on there... Oh, it's upside down. Yeah, you've got your on and off button on there. 
and then you've got your different modes. So the bottom button is different colours. So warm, cool and daylight on this one as well. Yeah. Oh, I see. And then whichever yeah. one you choose, you've and then got, you've up, got or your down. up or down on your brightness settings as well on that one. And how many are the three? Or five? So th uh, I think there's five. Oh, no, it's on five. That, one. Hang on. Yeah. There you go. There you yeah. go. There you go. Five. Fabulous. Five, five different ones. And then the model colors. is the colour. The colours, yeah. yeah. And that's your on-off. You can angle angle the head on that as well. So you, you, can, you can, again, you can, you can angle the head. Yeah. The magnification is 1.75 on this one. But the other thing that's a little bit different with this one is it's USB powered, this one. So it comes with a plug, but you also have the USB on the end so that you could run it on a battery pack if you were taking it to classes or wanting it oh, to it's be great. portable. I was looking at it thinking it's not even plugged in, but it's not plugged in on your side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at the plugs down here, it's not it's a, a white one down here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's right. So USB on it's USB the end. on the end. So you get a plug, but you do actually obviously put the USB into that plug. Yeah. So that means that you can again plug it into a laptop or a yeah. computer, or if you're going to classes and you want to be able to take it and use it as the desk magnifier, then you can run it on a battery yeah. pack. So you can have it in your computer or like the the new Gemini that Becky's got, the, the latest Gemini's got three USB plugs in the back of yeah. that. Yeah. Put, put it into there. there yeah. So if your phone, your light. And yeah. charging up something else, all yeah. the same source. Exactly. £110.99, 55.49 on split pay. Fabulous. Right, we've got a few minutes left. What do you want to recap on? Arch light again. Yes, yes of I course. Right, we're coming back here then. There we go. My phone over. Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. My phone. So I can what do you need? Oh, your phone? Yeah. So I can Nobody's show. rung you. No, so I can show the... <laughs> oh, you got an aeroplane mode. I that's have, right. yeah. Does that mean you've got 84 messages? Not, oh, that's your 84 percent. charge. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, go on. Right. So the arc... Well, the, it's not called the arc lamp. It's actually called the desk curve lamp. I love the fact that Sewing Street rename all my lamps. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, go on. We'll rename them. Go on. Yeah. So this one has got 10 brightness settings on it. So you get... Again, you get your controls on... On the cable here, so you've got your, your buttons there that take the light down. So it's got 10 brightness settings, so that's on the lowest, and then go back up to, to the brightest. What's ideal and really nice about working under this light is it doesn't create any shadows. Because of the whole complete arch, yeah. it doesn't create any shadows. So you can have your sewing machine underneath it. If you've got a slightly bigger sewing machine, you can just prop it up a little bit and it would still, still work. Lots of people put the laptops underneath it, craft underneath it, it breed underneath it. You have so many paint, draw, You're just anything. at the wrong height for that lamp, oh, aren't I'm you? I'm telling you. Stand on me toes. Yeah, it comes to the side. <laughs> comes to the side of it, yeah. So, so many, so many different options. And you also get the mobile phone holder with it. Do I get the thing that's on the back you of do, your phone? Yeah, you get, so you put the magnets on the back of your phone and then this part, you, you attach this ball and then you get this part of the magnet. Which so if I don't want on. to use it for that, I can just take that and that off and yeah, then it yeah. just looks like, looks nice it's got like a filial on the top yeah or, or you don't or you don't put it on basically you stick that part on as well oh, oh okay so it all okay. comes separate yeah, okay. in, in in the in the bag and then you you can obviously choose to use it or not not use it so it may well be that you are maybe watching something on youtube and something that you want to follow and you're working on or you might want to chat to your friends while you're working so you can angle the, the mobile phone like that but also, lots of people use this for if they are teaching or doing live tutorials because you just put the phone like that and then obviously your camera is then just recording everything that's underneath you. Is the pad strong enough? I shouldn't really ask you this without checking in. But can you put an iPad on there? I mean, not mine because mine's massive, but the little iPad we've got here... Uh, I wouldn't want wouldn't. to say... Oh, no, no, that's right. Be, be, to be totally honest, be totally honest. Right. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. That they are quite strong. The mag, the magnets are very strong. Yeah, because our, our studio iPads only only that but that big, isn't yeah, it? So so yeah. So I mean, yeah, this yeah, one. You, 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 you probably could do, particularly if you're having it flat. I yeah. think definitely when you start to angle things, then the weight could drop down. But I think if you're having it flat, then I think you know I'm not saying 100% yes, but if you try it and it's um, <laughs> you get messages through. Um, 
that, that, that that would have. I think it's because I've just put it on the phone. Oh, right. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> so that's, that's how that works. So, Brilliant. And also, if, if you take photos, so the fact that you've made something and you want photos for your website, Oh. As well, so again, just pop your phone on, then That's take your brilliant. photos, yeah. and then... Okay, so I, when I do, you know I do my um, John Scott Threads of Life Nef thing, each month we do a bit of my life story, and Daniel sends me the footage of what's coming out next, he said, find photos, go with this, yeah. then I take a picture of it on my phone, he sends it back going, you've got light on the left hand side, you've got a bit of light on the right hand side, fine, so, yeah. some good, and there, the light is completely even, yeah. so I can take a proper picture of it without yeah. it being shiny. And yes. Yes. How brilliant. Yes. Uh, Fiona, right, so Fiona, it has a soft bit on the top. I don't know how to do scanning. I do the soft bit on the top, but the actual screw thing on the underneath, that doesn't have a foam thing on it, but that's on the underneath of your table. Uh, Gillian says, good morning. And then Delia says, we haven't got the neck light today, I'm afraid, Delia. We haven't got it on the show today. I don't know if it's still on the website, but we haven't got it on today's show. Yeah. You need to go to the actual website to look at that because it, it wasn't scheduled for today's show. Right. Time has beaten us again, Claire. I know. Uh, when you're next? Um, I think towards the end of April. Okay, and have you got any... You don't have to tell us what they are. Yeah. But I always ask this every time you come on. Are you always developing and looking for new things? Always, yeah. And um, I think there's possibly... Don't give away any secrets. No, no secrets. There's gonna, it will be towards the end of the year. So, yeah. Oh, no, because it, it takes ages. Takes, like a pattern, it takes uh, Yeah. So at the moment, we are... are look, so, it, so that's the time of year that we start to look for products when it gets a bit quieter in the summer. Yeah. And then we normally bring new products out um, for the last quarter. Yeah. But you also do all the events, don't you? Do yeah. All the... Yeah. Just started to go to the shows as well. So it's lovely to meet lots of people that said they'd seen me with yeah. you and said they love how we're always joking and messing around. We don't joke. <laughs> <laughs> They're highly professional. We are. Um, but you were, because you, know, you were um, saying for pleasure, weren't you? I was. You're going to be at festival thinking about our, la our ladies and gentlemen's ones. Yeah. Because you do beauty ones as well. I do lots you? of beauty ones as well. No, I'm not going to festival, of course. Oh. I'm going to be on holiday then. <laughs> oh, you know, business is more important than holiday. I know, yes. <laughs> oh, hang on. Delia, Delia, Delia. Uh, we have got the neck light. We can play it for you now. OK, had sold out the black one, they, and they haven't put the price up. They meant to put the price up. Are you sure you can play it? OK, we're doing it. They haven't put the price up. They were supposed to put the price up. Yeah, yeah. There it is, $25.99. It's on split pay. Thank you, Kat. Here it is. Here's the real thing. Here's the real thing. $25.99. Now, it's on three-way split pay. It makes about eight pounds a month, doesn't it? <laughs> Ridiculous. Look, I'll show you. Switch on here. Oh, oh yeah, discharge, discharge. Three different lights. Uh, you can, once you've got the light on, you keep your finger on the button, you can dim them down or make them go brighter. And when it flashes like that, it's got to the excess there. Really lovely and comfortable around your neck. Twenty-five ninety-nine. That's the black one. We also have it in white, which has only been recently launched, the white one. White one coming up. Now, I haven't got a white one to show you here. Web image, there you go, 25. Now, to be honest, these were meant to go up because I know I said about because Claire, it's not Claire's fault, but the supplier to Claire have put their prices yeah. up, so we should re so she's charging us more, so we really should charge you more, but nobody's put it up, so take advantage. Uh, Delia, they, they, we got it in white as well. The picture won't come up for us for some reason. But twenty five ninety nine. Make sure you check out. Thank you very much indeed, Claire. Thank you. We'll see you very soon. I'll see you in four minutes with Becky Swan. With oh, she's looking very sultry with her glasses <laughs> on today. Uh, we've got all sorts of things coming up, uh, especially some new bags. We will see you in four from now. <laughs> Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your App Store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? 
then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one p and with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. I told you she looked sultry, didn't I? Oh, I quite like well, that, I did. What's going on with you, then? Well, it's just that I can't see now, so I've now had to put my glasses on. Oh. I've thrown that vanity out, and I'm, I'm thinking, actually, it's more important I can actually see things. No, no, but it's, it's a whole... It's the whole... Something's going on. Oh, well, mm, mm. Anyway. Well, I'll keep you posted. Yeah, yeah, please do. <laughs> right, now, we've not seen these before here. 
Uh, what are these then? So these are some new templates for bags. So we do really good templates. So these, you don't need your Gemini. Um, all you're going to be needing is um, a heat traceable pen or some chalk, and you just work your way through all the little markings on these templates. Now they are, you've got a craft tote is the first one, which is this one here. Um, so this one, they've really gone to town with this. So this, I don't even know if I've kept the name of the person that made this. This is from Maxine. She has done some beautiful um, embroidery on here. Oh. Um, really made it a proper craft tote. So you've Hang got on, there's more, there's more at the side there. Yeah, yeah, there's loads. She's really, I mean, if you've got your, your embroidery machine, this is a great opportunity yeah. to start getting it out, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, so little places to pop all your crafty goodies. Um, it stands up. You know, if you want to put some um, foam in it, it stands up. Um, lots of space in here. So a really nice item to make. Of course, you can make and sell. We are happy for you to do that. So great if you were going to go to a craft fair, you wanted to make all these for different kinds of crafts using your, your embroidery and mm. um, creating this. This is using a little bit of foam in there. So um, a lot of the, uh, quite a few of these were using foam rather than just wadding in them. So this Lovely. is your craft tote. Okay, then we've also got the that one. This is your, your little backpack, which is really, really sweet. You've got a little zip here. Um, to open up and then you've also got an inside zip over here so obviously this is the bit that's going on your back now i'm seeing this for um children their swimming bags and their school bags perhaps you're going on holiday and you want a little rucksack to take with you um i was um, gonna say not just children though because no, no. how many people go around on their bikes nowadays yeah. and they, they need something to throw over their back to absolutely a... you know going to a festival maybe you want to make one for a festival or free that's what up. it is have you been to a festival i haven't been to a festival i went to um i did go out I went to the Idle Home exhibition and then I went to a, a drag show afterwards. Okay, as you do. As you do, as, as you, you do. do. And I was back home by half past seven on a Sunday evening, so that's a perfect night out for me. It's um, not really a night out, the night's just no, started. But you know, I can't stay. Were you wearing it. your rucksack? Where did you go to the drag show? Um, Clapham. Oh, okay, what, the Bre two brewers? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, and then there's this one here, which is your um, slimline crossover bag. Yeah, slimline crossover bag. This one, um, again, we've used a little bit of foam in this. You've got this nice um, little pocket, extra pocket here, um, down there to pop all your bits and pieces. Now, this one, I think, is a great way. If you've got some really fabulous fabric you want to showcase, a bit of cafe, maybe, mm. a little bit of William Morris fabric, this is absolutely perfect, because you can just use your little scraps that you've been waiting to to, to get hold of. Um, lots of space in this one as well. Um, really nice um, bag for making out of some denim. There's no um, name in that one then? There's no name in this one, sad. Oh. Um, the, 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 um, the team that make the, the samples make some amazing samples. Um, they're a really nice little bag here. And, and a perfect kind of size, if you're, again, if you're travelling, I'm thinking if you're on a plane and you need your little bag to you know, put your passport in, your passport would almost we're just about fit yeah. in there um so absolutely ideal and all of these templates work in the same way that you have um a pl uh, acetate template with those which we'll show you in a sec yeah, we'll, we'll show you in a second you. right oh that because it says special price so i thought that was the special price okay let's do a special special price loads you've already bought these remember everyone pays the final low price 24.97 24.97 that's a fiver off for all a three. five for all three wow that is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Now, you've got to say something yes. about this one. I do have to say something about this one, and I'm going to use my one okay, that's um, fine. to show you. Now, we do apologise. There is a slight error um, in this that's being printed. Um, let me just get all my bits and pens out here. So, um, one of the pieces here is slightly incorrect. So, what we have produced... Is we go if you contact our customer services. That's Crafters Companion. Yeah. Crafters Companion customer they will service. Send, they will send you an email with these two documents that you just print out onto A4 paper. Just print them as they are. You've got that little guide there to make sure you're printing it to the right size. Um, and then you're just going to need to cut these pieces out and stick them together with a piece of tape, which I've done here. And then this is the piece that you will use. And this is to create the, the overall um, front and back. So, so is it not on there? Or is the one on it, there the it wrong is on size? It. So basically, if I show you there, this is where that piece should be. Yeah. Um, but actually, it's a little bit. It should be a little bit smaller. So the one that we've got oh, here, it's, a, it's about an inch difference. So actually, you know, if you didn't want, you know, to worry about it, you could just use this and then just chop off that. Or, inch. or, or just draw, yeah, just yep. just cut yourself. Uh, get your craft knife and cut yourself yep. some dotted well, lines. Yeah, down there. an inch and. 
Yeah, an inch and a quarter yeah. difference. But we do apologise about that. We are so sorry about that. But if you contact customer services, they will provide you with one of these pieces, two pieces A4 just stuck together. And then that, that's what you will use to be able to use that. So, no, sorry about that. And I, I will sort of show that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm also going to explain, you can buy the three, this is the special price bundle, 24.97. We also have a deal with these three plus three others so I'll do that now before we do any demo. So basically, that's your side. So, like, you get the three that we just showed you. And include this. Now, I don't know why these are together, because they're not bags. But you get your meadow flowers, your floral tile, and your uh, spring blooms turn edge applique there. If you bought all of these together, they'd be 59.94. Not today. I'm just telling you this, because I don't want you to think, oh, I did, why didn't they tell me about that earlier? 44 99 you get all six of those. So three bags and then three turned edge appliques. So are these the same thing? Are they the, 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 the templates inside? The, yeah, the templates inside. And again, I'll show you these again. They have different templates. So you've got templates to show um, when you're cutting out the fabric, but you also have templates for cutting out the interfacing. Right. Do you want that slightly smaller? Okay, we are, I just want you to see both of those because I didn't want you to go, oh, I've just bought those three and I could, I'd have got those three. I've got these three on their own as well. But we'll, we'll do that first and then we'll do a little demo of what's in one of these packets and what's in one yeah, of these absolutely. packets. And then I'll go through all the other things. Um, if you want low tack tape, today's the day to get it by on the website. Right, OK. So this is these three on their own now. Now, uh, last time you were in, yeah. didn't you do a demo on one of these? I did do the de demo on one of these, and we've got loads of them behind me. They are absolutely beautiful. This one in particular, I think, is absolutely gorgeous yeah. with those little pieces of um, almost like Liberty print fabric, like ditzy florals. They are really beautiful a way of doing some um, needle turned applique. And if you don't want to do needle turned applique, you can use these for doing ordinary raw edge applique. Yeah. It, is a, it is a slow craft, is what I would say. It's not something you could really rush through um, you want to take your time because it's a really nice way of doing a little bit of hand sewing. it's the things on the left on that picture not the things on the right the things on the right are coming up later yeah okay oh and they're not 29.97 26.97 pounds off i love a bargain yeah right so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little demo on a bag and a little demo on a turn edge applique. Then I'll show you everything else that's available in here. Okay. Right, the, the, the graphics are coming in for the bundle for all six of them. Right, I'll move right. that from the way. Yeah. Right, okay, there, so I want to show you. So this is the, um, the craft tote. Um, that we're going to show you here. Now I'm going to show you all the bits and pieces you're going to be getting um, in the pack. So you're going to be getting this um, template. And we've seen these before. These are the ones where you've got overlapping pieces on here. Um, you need to use a heat erasable pen or at a, at a push, a biro, if you can't find your heat erasable pens, because I've done that naughtily. Mm. Um, but obviously, well, you're going to cut out on those lines anyway. Exactly. So I mean, right. if, you, if you're, you're making sure you're cutting out and you're not worrying too much about it, um, if you're, you're concerned, use the heat erasable pen, because obviously then that's just going to disappear. Um, and we give you step-by-step -step instructions as to how to use them. We try and make it really clear. Um, so over here, you've got the highlighted pieces. So for example, the zip pocket, we've highlighted that in red. So you can see all of the different pieces that are highlighted and that relates to the bits you're going to cut out and then over here we've given you a little guide to show you exactly how many of everything you're going to need to cut out and obviously it depends on the fabric you're using as to um, whether you're going to be using foam or you want to be using interfacing or you want to be using wadding you make it into what you want but that the actual tote you want something a bit structured you don't want it too floppy so I'd, I suggest that you use wadding or some foam when you're you making it putting it together and then we give you on the actual this kind of going to just grab that. Is that yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. Now this one is quite useful for people that are perhaps a bit worried about doing bags and turning everything inside out and the wrong way round. And sometimes it makes your head go a little bit. Um, the great way about this is you're putting it all together and then you're going to hide all of those seams by putting some binding around the edge. Now in the instructions we tell you to cut the binding out of some of your fabric but you can of course use ready-made binding mm -hmm. if that's what you want to do and then that's quite handy for someone who is a bit concerned about how things put, turn in and out because it is quite confusing mm -hmm. isn't it and the many times I've done it the wrong way around and um, my mum's been shouting at the TV
TV going, no, you've done it wrong. So that <laughs> happens really often. And then we give you our step-by-step -step instructions, make it nice and clear as to what you're going to be um, putting everything together. So the bit I'm going to show you at the moment is um, I want to show you the piece of um, fabric that I've cut out. So this is a piece of fabric with some wadding on the back. And then you can see here, I've just used that template, that little template of paper that we've got out um, from before. You're looking at my fabric, aren't you, John? Um, I recognise this fabric. Yeah, yes, you do. Isn't this Auntie Jean's fabric? What's Auntie called? Uh, Auntie Sally. Auntie Sally's fabric. It, it is, yeah. It is my fabric, yeah. Yeah. This is Chang's fabric. This is what yep. uh, this is when I first met Becky. She was doing Chang's fabric. Yeah. And of course, because of COVID, you couldn't bring any more in, could you? No. So, but it, it's gorgeous fabric. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, gorgeous fabric. Well, I, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So I've done, done some really brightly coloured um, lining and brightly coloured um, sort of other fabric in there with this um, sort of plain. Well, it's not plain. Hardly um, plain. No, it's not not plain, is it? But you know, sort of dark fabric. So you can see here um, with that template piece. Um, that was what we we did. We just folded that piece of fabric um, over in half and then we cut from the template you're going to get separately, not the template that's actually inside um, mm. here. So the one you're going to get in paper. And um, so I've got these two pieces and they form the um, outside of my um, little bag. Now, um, I'm going to show you how we're going to insert the zip. So I've already made a little marking on here and I've got my zip. And my zip is um, just over six, six inches. We want to make, we want to place a little pocket in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, I've made markings down here, so four inches um, from the top and then two and a half inches from the side. And then we're going to place on top of here um, a piece of yellow. So this is going to form my pocket. So I'm basically doing it the wrong way round. It looks like it's going the wrong way round. And we're going to post through our pocket um, in just a moment. So I'm just going to make sure everything's lined up. And then I will get my pen. And what I want to do is I want to mark here. Sorry, John. That's right. I'm a bit Whacking close. you. That's all right. I'll move away. No, don't go, John. I'm off. And just lining that up to make sure it's in the right place. Now, um, I always put a little bit more fabric at the top than we say. We always say about an inch. I, I put a little bit more of an inch because I find it a little e bit easier when I'm putting everything around. So I just want to make sure that I've got that in the right place. And then I want um, six inches. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to do it from about here then. Is there, not, is there not a thing on the template for this? I have to draw this one separately. No, you need to draw this separately, okay. but easy enough to do. So two, three, four, five, six. It's very close yeah. to the edge. It is very close to the edge. I'm going to do it like that. Might even make it a little bit smaller. Yeah. Just to be sure. So I want to do a line up here. And it tells me to do all this in the instructions. It tells you to do it? all this in the instructions. So what we're going to do is we're going to just create a little box here. Um, and we're marking that out. And what I want to do is I want to stitch around here and I'm going to then cut um, through and then turn everything the wrong way round or the inside out. Yeah. Um, so easy, um, as I say, easy enough to do um, just with your, pe your pins or whatever you happen to, um, just sorry, your pens um, that you happen to have. Um, I'm just going to find my pins. I can't find my... Do you little... Uh, you ha normally have a little um, magnetic dish. I do. You? I think it's right at the very bottom of my bag. <sighs> Very, very remiss of me. In your bag in the other room or your bag? No, in bag room? there. I think it's right at the very bottom of that little... Of, of this craft bag. Yeah. You keep going and I'll try and find it for you. So we're just going to put a few pins here and then we're going to stitch. Using a two millimetre stitch, I'm just going to stitch all the way around in like a little rectangle like okay. that. Okay. And she's off. <laughs> it was a very considered start then, wasn't it? Yes. Now we'll turn around, go around the edge. Ben's got a favourite new word, everybody. What, what's the favourite? Satisfying. Word? Satisfying. So yesterday when we had the uh, Gracian, you know, the slidey thing, he was in prep, he was going, oh, this is really satisfying. They've, Ollie's just done a shot. I'll show you the shot in a minute. There. And, oh, hang on. Yeah, there. And um, 
I need to just turn that. It was satisfying. There you go. And Ben went, oh, uh, Ollie went, oh, I really like this shot. And Ben went, very satisfying. <laughs> That's what I've put up with for five hours, everybody, wittering away in my ear. I don't think anyone fully appreciates what we hear in our no, ears. No, exactly. <laughs> uh, excuse me, who would be worse? In your what voice? In your pilot voice. He's got an aeroplane. Oh, has he really? Voice. Is that the voice, the funny voice that you put on in that thing we're all voting for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish you could hear what we could hear. That's nothing like my nephew's a pilot. It sounds nothing like that. I think it's a delivery. Anyway, it's stop like, now. Um, stop it's like now. people that work on um, trains. You can never really hear what the announcements are. It's always very, very blurred, yeah. if you know what I mean. My friend Charmaine does that now. She used to be a model. Yeah. And she's now like an air hostess, but on a, a virgin train. Ooh. She loves it. Right, now I stitched um, all the way around in this little, tri um, little rectangle. Yeah, not a um, triangle. No, no, not a triangle. And I'm just going to use my scissors. I've got a scissor bundle coming up in a minute. Through here. And I want, what I want to do is I want to cut all the way through the middle, not cutting any of that stitching, just going to cut all the way through the middle, and then when I get to the end, I'm just going to cut a little diagonal. Yeah. And do the same down here. Uh, Liz, Liz, which we're, we're doing our best. We're doing our best to sort that out, me and Becky. What are we sorting out? I'll tell you later. Oh, oh, sounds exciting. Is it exciting? Yeah. Ooh. Right, now the next thing we're going to do, and it, and it looks really strange when you're doing this, is we're going to post the pocket through the inside. And this time takes a little bit of time just to Have you got an sure. iron and a pressing mat? Oh, I don't know if we could no. do that. Kat, have you got an iron and a pressing mat, please? We're going to pull these pieces out like this. And we're just going to spend a little bit of time. You can cut away if there's excess, but particularly if you're using the foam. Um, you just want to do that. And you've got that little bit of sparkle with a little bit of a different colour that's just poking out here. Now, what we want to do is we're going to give this an iron and press it. So we've, oh, yeah, only, got, we've only got a scant amount of um, that little edge showing. And then what we're going to do afterwards is we're going to place the zip in that little gap and then stitch around the outside. So you've almost got this sort of hidden zip, um, but it works really well. And then the next thing we're going to do after we've done all of that is we're going to fold up this little piece here. I'm not finished yet. This is my making sure <laughs> I've got the right piece. <laughs> see, that's the great thing about those heat erasable pens because, um, as you can see, I'm a, I'm a cut, I've been cutting out loads of pieces and I write down what everything's related to so I don't lose track of it. So um, it makes it really easy. And then once we've, we've done all the zip and everything, we're going to then stitch around here like that and then that will seal that whole pocket in place. But we're going to give this a bit of a press now. Lovely. Let me slide that across Thank for you. Thank you. Um, Jean says, morning, John and everyone. I'm here again. It's great to tune in. Thank you, Jean. Hello, Jean. Is it my auntie, Jean? No, she's from up your way, though. Oh, is she? She's got uh, gold stitch um, sewing just round the corner from Durham. You know, oh, from, OK, um, yeah. She has lovely cakes in her classes. Oh, oh. There's, um, there was a lady, I went on her course, to, she's a cake designer. Oh, like, what? Cake designer. Oh, so yeah. I used to have a cake business. Yeah. And um, she's quite a famous cake designer. She's done a lot of um, cake books and things. But she always made um, chocolate um, shortbread in her classes, you know, for you to have while you're learning. Yeah. Oh, my God, it was so delicious. So you used to have a cake business? I had a cake business, yeah. Yeah. Making, um, making the cakes or just selling them? No, making cakes. Yeah, I used to make cakes. In West London? Yeah, I did. Oh. Chiswick. Yeah, I was, Chiswick, it wasn't going to say where you was, lived. It was called Chiswick Cupcakes. Oh, was uh, it? Yeah. I can bake. Yes, I can bake. And I used to love that. I used to really enjoy doing it, but there's no money in it, really. Don't repeat what he said. So, in other words, I've got to bring cakes in. Yes. Is that what you're saying? OK. Well, um, OK. I'll, uh, next time I come in, I'll, I'll bring some cake. Okay. I'll bring some cake. So I did, I did, um, I was asked to do a cake for um, a celebrity 
Um, and, and I'm not going to say who it was. Was it not me? It wasn't you. Um, but they don't want to well, pay. Well, no, because I was in Chiswick all the time. They, they don't want to pay. Wanna pay. No. And I, they were like, oh, you know, hello, we're going to be there. And, and it was a wedding cake. And I was just like, no. No, no I'd hate that. But my, um, when we had some friends that got married, and um, my husband said, um, oh, well, no, we need to give you a present because um, they'd got married at Gretna Green and they were having a party with all their friends. And then they were like, no, 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 we don't want anything. We don't want anything. We went, I know, I've got a great idea. Becky will make you a cake. Oh, A thanks. wedding cake. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought. And I was like, we could have got away with a £20 John Lewis voucher. Yeah. And instead, on the hottest weekend of the year, I am sewing, or sewing, I'm making, I'm making cakes. I had to make the cakes at night because it was so hot. Oh. And I did, um, I, he was into cycling, so it's a three-tier cake. It had his bike, I made a no, uh, sugar paste bike. What? Um, and then she really likes her handbags. So I made all of her handbags out of sugar paste. And then I did the two of them on the top of the cake. So he was in his high-vis jacket and his cycling helmet. And she was, she was pregnant in a beautiful um, sort of voluminous dress. You could have just done a white square with I white know. icing saying happy know. wedding on it. I know, but you know, you want to do something spectacular, yeah. don't you? You want to do something, especially as all my friends were going there. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was good fun. But, um, and yeah, then you no... hand your business cards out at the wedding. And, well, yes. But, you know, th there's not money in it, really, because um, everyone wants, you know, they see a cake in the supermarket for £10 and they want yeah. the same sort of thing. Jean's baking today for her tea time classes this Ooh. afternoon. And June's got, sur oh, June. June's got eye surgery this afternoon for a glaucoma. This demo is keeping me calm. Oh, June. What's that? What's, what's glaucoma? Isn't that where it goes a little bit cloudy? Oh, that'll be but gin, I June. I think it's <laughs> gin. I'm just looking for... Oh, it? now, yesterday, I was, I was in the office after the show yesterday, and Chloe, you know Chloe, who's our... don't know what her job is. She's, got, she's swans around, bossing around. <laughs> Head of TV, I think she's called. Oh. Right. Anyway, she said about, on the radio, there was this new injection you could have in your, around your eyes to get rid of your black bags and things like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I like the idea I, of I'm that. I'm surprised it's not already in Chiswick, actually, all the things in Chiswick you can have. Oh, it didn't work, did it? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, but it's back now. They're back now. It's not a, it's not a, a long, long-term... Um, Yes, no, I think we all have big bags under our eyes, don't we? Just have to drink more water, that's all. Do you reckon do. that's yeah. what it is? I don't know if it is. I don't think that's, that's going to fix it, to be honest. Do what? I don't think drinking more water is going to fix it. Well, it's not mine. Bags are, not mine. My bags are terrible. All right, so we're just going to stitch around the outside now. Got your zipper foot on. Oh, yeah, I've got my zipper foot on. And I'm just. Stitching. Oh. Gonna. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, they can move my zip okay. out the way. We're just stitching around the outside. Now, if, um, as I say, if you're going to be using foam, um, I would cut away um, the excess foam so you can actually stitch really close to um, the zip foot when you're, um, when you're putting this around. But it makes a quite a nice, cool little way of having your, um, your zip. Um, and especially if you're going to be using, you know, like I've got here, some really sort of different fabrics. Yeah. Um, and that little yellow um, part around the edge just really makes it pop, I think. Well, it looks like you've done a, um, a piped pocket. You yeah. Really haven't, really. Yeah. It's cheating. Cheating. <laughs> and just around the edge here. And I like the fact that, you know, you can make... You, you're going to get all of these in this bundle. And, of course, oops, oh. you can make... That is just where it's gone through the... Oh. Yeah, I'll switch it off, switch it back on again. There you go. I like the fact that you... Um, just switch it off again. There you go. You like the fact what? I like the fact that you can make and sew. You know, that is always a yeah. good thing, isn't it? Your needle seems to be... It's a little bit blunt, I think. No, I think it's hitting the... Um, there we go. Is it going to work now? There you go. I never like using metal zips. No. At all. 
I much prefer using a nylon zip. And these are the zips on the roll that we've had in the past. Yeah. So you can make them any size that you want. So we've done that now. I'm going to trim away this excess part of the zip here. Like that. A little bit there. And then we're going to pop that like so. And we're going to stitch around. And then it's going to create that little pocket. So a couple of pins down here. So you want to make sure you're not stitching the actual parts of the bag. We want to stitch down here. And then we're going to stitch across here and then down there. And that's going to seal up that little pocket. Um, change the foot. I once had someone order some, um, they wanted um, Minion's cupcakes. Oh, yeah. Um, to deliver to his girlfriend. And um, he proposed with the Minion's cupcakes. That was quite exciting. Oh, so, well, something a bit more romantic than a Minion. Well, minute. maybe she was into Minion's, maybe. I don't know. But um, yeah, he asked if I dropped the cake, take the cakes to her work. And weirdly, her work was where I used to work, which was quite strange. I didn't know her. Yeah. And, um, uh, he was sort of hiding um, in the reception area. So was he dressed as a minion? No, he wasn't. But, um, so I handed the cakes, and she was all excited about the cakes. And then he turned up with a, a with ring, ring and proposed. Mm. You're, not, you're not convinced not by that story, though. are you? No. Don't do it. <laughs> Okay, Ollie proposed to his wife in Turkey. Oh. <laughs> Don't repeat that either. <laughs> yes, I know, but we're not going to say that. <laughs> Love, Lou. There you go. You can see here we've Stop got this it little now, pocket. <laughs> so you've got your little pocket down here. Um, and that's how you're going to be putting the pocket. So in, in lots of these bags, you've got a similar kind of setup yeah. here where you're going to be putting a little concealed pocket inside there. So that's just to show you on the craft tote how that would work. So you've got yeah. those two outer pieces of fabric. And then around the edges, I've already stitched these up. Um, I've got these little pockets, these little side pockets, and they've got a little pleat inside them. And um, so this was going to be my contrasting fabric. And um, so these would form the edges of my bag. And as I said before, this one is quite useful if you're concerned about turning the bags inside and out because you're going to stitch everything together and then you're going to be putting your binding. Um, where's my binding? There you oh. go. There you no, go. no, I've got it. I've got it done. I've got yeah, it done. Got it, got it, got it. And then you've got your little bit of binding that's going to go all the way around the bag just to finish it off. Um, but a great way of getting started doing a little bit of bag making with these templates. Donna says it's my 50th birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. Uh, watching the lovely John Scott and Becky is such a treat. Happy birthday, Donna. 50. I'm dreading getting 50, aren't you? Well, that's my birthday next year. No. It is. is it really yeah, though? yeah. And I'm I'm going out I'm going all out, big party. And there's a place near me where I've always wanted to thought it'd be really nice to have a party anyway. I made an inquiry. Mm -hmm. Twenty thousand pounds. Just for the for the venue. Yeah. Uh, well and I think included some like drinks. Whereabouts is it? A Sion Park. Oh well well it's <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sion Park, right? It's <laughs> It's like a stately home, you know what I mean? It's gorgeous. Yeah. I, I thought it would be quite nice to have my birthday party there, but no, I don't, no. I don't love my It'll friends that much. It'll rain as well, and yeah. then it won't be raining. Yeah, what, exactly. what month is it? Is it? Oh, of course, I know that. It's the day after my birthday. I don't know. Oh, so you're 50 the day before me? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm jo we're joking, by the way. She is, I'm not, obviously. <laughs> we're near. Won't see that again. But yeah, I think a nice party is, is yeah. way to go if you I had my uh, 50th at um, Century Nightclub in uh, uh, Shaftesbury Avenue, Private oh, yeah. Members Club. That cost a fortune as well. Anyway. Um, so that is a craft tote. Yes. Yes. That, and that's one of the... What have you got in? One, one of these three. That's one of these three. Now, remember, if you weren't watching at the beginning, if you do buy these three, you need to get in touch with the Crafters Companion call centre because there's an issue with one of the patterns and they will send you the other the bit that's wrong. They will resend it free. They will send it to you, the, uh, the bit that's wrong. So that's the three bags there. We also have the... Are you going to needle yep, turn now? I was going to... We also have the three turns, needle yep. turns. Now you can buy them all as a big bundle or you can buy them as an individual th pack of three here. 
24.97. Oh, no, that's the bag one. Sorry, that's the bag one. Twenty six ninety seven. Sorry, twenty six ninety seven. Those. So you get the three of those. All. All, all that. Again, we're going to show you how to do it now. Oh, well, you're right there. You got a wire. I've, I've, lo I've lost everyone. Never mind. It doesn't matter. You've lost everyone. I've lost everyone. Can't hear anyone. Do you want me to check? Yeah. Where's your excuse me? <laughs> Woo, John. <laughs> Well, you, you're plugged in, so you must um, have come apart up here. Oh, there you go. You've come. Well, you've got the wrong sort of plug on there. There you, went. There you go. Do you hear it I now? can hear everyone now. Yeah. I know what's you've going doubled, on. You've double thing and popped out. Oh, yeah. that, that happens quite often, doesn't it? Um, right, so these are your needle turn to plique. Kerry um, said it's her 50th birthday in June next year. Oh, oh same as me. Year. No, it's next year. I don't think it's this no, year. No, next year. Maybe because she's even younger then. Yeah. Well, you know, it's going to take me a year to plan my party. To save up twenty thousand pounds for the venue. I'm not. I'm not paying for it. Someone else can pay for it. The the concert at Sion Park for fourteen thousand. Oh. Yeah, but that that won't include your food or anything, will it? So, when I went to Kew Gardens, yeah. you get 25% off venue hire at Kew Gardens. But you don't work there anymore, so that's no good. No, but I might go back just so I can get the 25%. Yes, that's their job. Yeah, exactly. It would be nice to have a party in Kew Gardens. It would be really No nice. parking, though, is it? It's bad parking at Kew you'd Gardens. Have, yeah, you'd have to walk over. Yeah. But, yeah. Anyway. Well, you'll be, you'll be living in, um, in oh, London. Oh, well, I'll then. be back so, in London so, by then. So oh. you'll, be, you'll be around the corner. Yeah. Right. right. So, needle turn to plique. So, you, um, if you saw me last week, I did show a little, little demo with these. But these are really lovely um, designs. They are, they are a slow craft. They're going to take a little bit of time, but you can absolutely use these for a raw edge to plique. Now, I would suggest that this one here is the one that you do once you feel really accomplished with it. Because right. you've got, like we said, those different, what do we call them? In, um, we couldn't think of the right word, where you've got curves that go out and curve, concave. Concave and convex. Yeah. You've got lots of little curves here, which make it a little bit more of a challenge. So I would suggest that this is the one you leave until the end. Yeah. Um, and this is the one that you start off with, uh, because this one makes the smoother curves, they're gentler curves, yeah. and, and it's a little bit easier to get started with. And um, they all form the same kind of um, plan inside that you have in here. Um, you have these little layouts to show you how everything's going to come together and um, so you've got those two there and then you've also got um, your pieces for fabric templates which are a little bit larger than the interfacing templates the idea is you cut out a piece out of your fabric and then you cut out a piece out of interfacing you adhere the interfacing to the back of your fabric and you use that as a little edge to keep turning your fabric along to. But we've also given you the insides, as it were, of the templates, if you want to draw outside of your template. But this is where our light pad really comes into yeah. the home. Oh, so you've got it. Here I've got go. it. Ultra Slim LED light pad, perfect tracing, drawing, and quilting, and more. So this is what it looks like here. Um, you've got a little bu button here to just turn it on. You've got different, different um, degrees of brightness. Um, if you were watching um, Native Lighting, the same sort of um, process, um, mm -hmm. that idea. Um, but we've also, what I've got here is I've got some fabric and I've got my pattern. Uh, it does that, 19.99. And then what we're going to do is I've already started my design. But if I put my fabric over the top... You can just see, I'm just going to make sure I get that lined up. There we go. There you, you go. Can see it pointing through. So then this is the thing where, this is what I like to do personally, is I would use this to mark out where all my pieces are. Now remember your pieces are a little bit bigger than this because obviously you're turning them over. But I think if you mark out exactly where the whole thing is supposed to be, um, before you get started, it's easier to make sure you, you don't lose track of where you're putting things because you've got to take into account that you've got to get these things in the right order. So in order to, like for the petal, petals here, um, which I think is a, an echinacea uh, flower, it is. you want to do the petals at the bottom first and then put that big petal over the top there. You don't want to... Um, do, do them the wrong way around. So I think the best thing to do, and I'm only doing it really quick, um, I'm using my heat erasable pen um, here. I'm just marking where you want to put your um, pattern 
and all of those pieces. Now, this one here, this piece goes over that stem, um, and so you just mark it out like that. So this is really where it comes into its own, this light pad, an incredibly useful item to have. Um, I use it all the time. I've got a much larger one, so I can do a whole great big design. But if you look at behind me at some of those designs you've got here, some of the patterns, particularly on this one, it becomes quite intricate. So you want to make sure that you are really fully getting that design if you want to follow the patterns. And of course, you don't have to. You can just use them um, freestyle like the ones over here we've just done as individual flowers but um, it really does make everything so useful and that price I think is incredible it's very light um, really li nice and light to use and if you get the A4 um, bag for our that neoprene bag that we use for our, um, our plates. plates this will fit inside there as well oh, fantastic. and so that will, will keep it nice and secure mind you I always say whenever I have a light I always keep the box good idea then, I mean it's got all the, the box you get your, you get your corners yeah. so you can always keep it stored nicely with that I don't know what this stuff is but keep it in its bag like that that's yeah. what I always do I think you're right you know it's really useful or um, you know as I say we've got different so that's off that's the first level second level and then third level so you've got all those Whereas before, I used to put everything up against the um, window. Yeah, is it, what kind of plugs on the other end? It's a it's USB a, stick. Yes, USB, USB yep. stick, yeah. Yep. So you, if you wanted, you had the Gemini 2, you could always plug that into yeah. the back of that. Um, makes it really, really useful. But I would definitely say um, that that's worth putting in your basket if you want to do something like this. Okay. Now, I've got my bits and pieces over here. So um, I c I've put my... Um, I've, done, I've done my stem, and I'll just do one petal to show you. Yeah, yeah, because we've got loads together. to show. I've just seen the time. We've so got loads to show this. Over area. here, on my petal, on the back, I've already put my um, interfacing. And it's only lightweight interfacing. It's heat adhesive um, interfacing. Now, you can just see, as I'm folding my fabric around the edge, it's just acting as a little bit of a guide. It makes it easier for you to be able to stitch this together. Now, if you're using um, raw edge applique, you obviously don't need to worry about that because you're gonna be putting a piece of bonder web um, or something similar onto the back of it, and you would just be sticking it down and then stitching around the outside. So we're going to get some pins. Now, these pins are smaller than your normal pin. They're not the same size as the ones that we, oops. <laughs> they so, were. Yeah. So these are the one, our normal size pins. These are little applique pins. They're smaller. It means they don't get in the way. Um, so definitely worth popping um, some of these um, into your basket next time you're shopping. I don't know whether we've had we haven't them, got them here. Today, no. But if not, you could probably get them elsewhere. Now we're going to put a couple of pins in here just to keep it in place. And then I'm using my thread. So I'm using my Aurifil thread and I'm using the um, straw or milliner's needles. Um, you keep here. going. This is really, really fine um, thread and really, really fine um, needles. Now, I absolutely 100% advocate you using a needle threader for this because you absolutely need it. It's very hard to see um, what you're doing here. Now, what you want to do, I've got a, a pin in here, a, a pin, pin in there, and I've got a little um, needle. needle with a knot at the end. And I'm just folding over my fabric and I'm placing it down. I'm doing a little stitch there and then I'm running it up into my fabric and I'm doing a little ladder stitch. And I'm using a different colour thread so it's abundantly clear what I'm stitching. Um, it's a darker thread. Obviously, when you're doing this, you want to use something that absolutely matches the fabric that you're using here. And we're just doing, every single time, we're just folding over that raw edge up against the piece of interfacing. So you get that nice finish. And this is why I suggest that if you do um, this one first, because it's got some gentle curves, it makes it a little bit easier. You, you do find it's quite difficult doing the curves. You want to spend a little bit of time. That's why I'm saying this is not a, a fast... Um, craft you're not going to think oh I'll just whiz through this this is a really nice sort of mindful gentle activity for you to do you need your good lights you need your, your glasses on and you um, definitely need a needle threader unless you have fabulous eyesight and if you do I'm very jealous uh -uh. So you're just folding that over 
So you can see how that looks. And you get a different effect with this versus um, some sort of raw, raw edge applique. Raw edge applique is always what I do because it just seems quick. Um, you know, if I'm rushing to get something done, that's what I would want to do. Just got that caught under there. Like that. So just small stitches. Your stitches should be the same width as the, um, the piece of fabric you're turning over, if you have that little um, seam. So, you know, it's, a, it's a round about, it's less than a quarter of an inch that we're turning around. Just going to do a couple more stitches around here. So you can see how that's looking now as you go around the edge. And you just need to continue around there and um, putting that all together. But you can see how that's going to look. I've got those little markings just with my heat eraser pen. So they're just going to disappear once I iron. Um, but you're going to get a really nice effect doing this needle turned applique. Fabulous. So that's the bundle. You've got the bundle of the three turn, uh, turn, needle turned applique and the three bags. Lots in baskets. 44 99 How much is it meant to be? 59.94 is supposed to be. There it is. So you get the three template bags and the th three templates for the bags and the three templates for the needle turn applique florals. Remember, if you do buy those, your craft bag has got an, an error. You do need to ring the Crafters Companion call centre and they will send you the uh, addendum that you need for that. So that's 44.94. Right now, I've got to get through some um, some of our deals we've got today. Oh, we're doing low tech tape first of all. Sorry, I'm going to. Sorry, I'm right. I'm right in the way. Let me right in the way. Here. Aren't I rude? Look at this, right? You pay. Look at these, right? Don't want people Twelve to see tapes, it. you get two for free. Well, that's not that's not exactly right. You get more than two tapes free. You get two boxes for free. Yeah. So look, so 1996. How much you would be if you bought all those together? 998. Right. What you're paying for is that one and that one. You're not just getting two tapes for free. You're getting six tapes for free. You get two boxes. And they all have their own um, little um, dispenser. <laughs> they have their own dispenser. Uh, so £9.98. And you get through uh, this so much. Uh, the um, low-tack tape, very, very uh, brilliant. So you pay for those two, you get those two for free. It's the best deal I've ever seen on low-tack tape. Best deal. £9.98. £9.98. Beautiful. Make sure you check out on that one. Loads in baskets, loads in baskets. Right. Keep going through for that. Keep going through, keep going through. £9.98. Half price. Half price, that is. Scissor bundle. Now, you were just snipping away with the scissors earlier. This is a that scissor was. bundle of all three pairs of these scissors. Right? So you've got your, um, your main scissors, nine inch scissors here, your little snippy scissors, and your, these have got the curved, uh, ed, uh, curved um, blade on them, but they're also uh, rainbow, or Aurora Borealis ones. Should be 33.97. So £8.33, they're going to be £8.33 a pair of scissors, that is. Let's have a look. Yeah, £8.33 a pair of scissors. So, yeah, you get now these are the ones that Leanne says that you can cut paper and fabric with. Yep. And it's not going to blunt them. Yeah. And I didn't believe her. I thought it no. was, I thought it was just, you know, rubbish. Uh -huh. I, didn't, I, didn't believe, I didn't say that to Leanne, but actually, um, I, it is true. It is absolutely true. Uh, I wouldn't cut any silk fabric ever with any scissors that have been anywhere near a piece of paper. Yeah. Um, but absolutely for cotton, no problem at all. So I have the same scissors for my um, paper craft as I do for my sewing. Mm -hmm. Then you've got your lid. Now these are the same then? Yes, yeah, all the, the same, all, the scissors, the all, all the scissors are the same. These two? These two I wouldn't take yeah. it with this no. one. These are these kind of coated with something. Yes. Um, and that, this one's got the little um, measurements on them as well to make them really useful. Twenty four ninety nine for all three of those pairs of scissors. Something tells me, and I don't know why, I think I've seen some, a left-handed person use these as well. But I might be wrong there. I'm not going to say that as a thing. I'm sure I saw a left-handed person using these. 24.99. You left-handed. Hmm? You left-handed. No. You're the second person this week to ask if I'm left-handed. Is um, uh, anyone else left-handed that's here? 
Don't know. That's weird. I was sure there was someone here that was left-handed. Is Vix left-handed? Vix is oh. left-handed. There you go. Right, twenty-four ninety-nine. Check out, check out, check out on those. Okay, now this is something that we were meant to have last time you were in, and they yes. hadn't arrived from yeah. the warehouse, had they? So what are these exactly? So then? in here we've got a selection of hardware. Um, so you can use it as a standalone, just a, a way of getting some hardware, or they all have a pattern in them, so you can make a bag. Um, this one in particular I thought was really nice with that clip, um, that, that sort of clasp bag. Um, so you've got a, a paper template in here, so you just need to cut out. Um, we've given you step-by-step -step instructions, as always. And you've got all of the bag hardware in here as well. And um, these make a really cool little bag. I mean, particularly that one. I mean, I've seen this kind of bag, um, you know, designer bags everywhere, you know, really, really useful. This like a little shopper tote bag and this one, a little evening bag. I mean, you know, who doesn't want a new evening bag? Exactly. Let's do the price then before we say anything else, because I'll tell you what comes in each box in a second. 27.99. For all that's for all three. So this one, like Becky said, you get your pattern sheet and your instruction sheet, but you also get the clasp and you get the chain in this one. This one here, you get the pattern sheet, the instruction sheet, and three magnetic clasps in that one. And then in this one here, you get the pattern sheet, the instruction sheet, two rectangular rings, one silver slider, and one silver magnetic clasp. It's all on the front there. So you get the hardware in there to make those bags. Got, there's no fabric. You have to try your own fabric. Yes. But twenty-seven ninety-nine for all three. That's a great deal, isn't mm -hmm. it? Well, also the amount of times you, like you might be coming to make a bag on a Sunday afternoon, you go, "Oh, where's my magnetic pass? Yeah. I've got." My, or you read the instructions. You don't read the instructions beforehand. Yeah. And then you suddenly go, "Oh," says on this one, "They're all in here. Yeah. They're all all the hardware you need is inside those boxes." Twenty-seven ninety-nine. For all three of those. Brilliant. No, we didn't play it last time because we didn't have it. Yeah. Right, next. You want to go back to the tape, did you? Right, lots of you in for the tape. £9.98. Now, it's supposed to be 19 98 remember? You're getting it for half... Uh, yeah, 19 98 uh, You're getting half... You're paying for those two and getting those two for free, basically. OK, we haven't got as many this time. We haven't got as many this time as we normally have. So if you've got it in your basket, check out Ben saying. It's so useful, that, you know, this uh, no-tack tape. I mean, if you're using the Gemini, it's something that's absolutely key. Uh, the thing is, I use my, I've got it, obviously, from a Gemini yeah. machine, but I use it to wrap presents with and everything. Yeah, yeah. Or, or if I haven't got any post-it notes, I write a, on a scrap of paper and stick it on the book. I've got a bookshelf next yeah. to my desk and stick it on the side of the bookshelf. Well, you can even write on it with like a Sharpie kind yeah, of pen yeah, yeah, and yeah. you make your own like little um, post-it notes. Uh, oh, yeah. Or you can make your own uh, wishy-washy tape. Yeah. £9.98, you're getting, paying for two, you're getting two for free. Lovely. Beautiful. All come with a dispenser. Next. That's the next hour. OK, leather effect fabric bundles. You get the matte leather effect navy, matte leather effect blush pink, matte leather effect olive. Now, uh, should there be something else in there as well? Or is it just the three leathers? OK, right, OK, I'm just going to say something that's going to be completely and utterly naughty now. We've got this bundle in the next hour, but you get clips with it in the next hour. So just to, how much is that one? Before you buy this, don't buy this yet. Don't buy this yet. Let's just work out which the best deal is. Right, OK, don't buy it. Do not buy it. Do not buy that. Do not buy this. I'm going to do the 11 o'clock one now because this is why I'm saying don't buy this, right? Do not buy this because, look, I've got uh, matte leather olive, matte leather navy, matte leather fluttering... Plus clips, right? Watch this. Watch this, right? That last bundle for these three was £27, wasn't it? This bundle for these three and the clips. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. Isn't it lucky I've done my prep, eh? Isn't yeah. it lucky I've looked yeah. at the list, right? £24.99. Not £27 just for that. £24.99 for that. 
So if you don't buy the last one, do not buy the last one, buy this one. Fantastic deal. Fantastic deal. So you're getting half a metre. No, quarter of a metre. Let me show you how much you get. It's, it's like a long quarter, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I'll open this one. There you go. Ooh, there you go. So that's how much you get of each one, on each one. Uh, you, would you? OK, Ben's going to make a cummerband out of it. The oh, middle bee's oh, silent. Oh, possibly not in the pink. Cos it just, it'll just, it'll just make it look, look like you've got a crop top. No, cos it, <laughs> his, his skin's not this colour, his skin's this colour. <laughs> that would look like he had a crop top on, not that one. This is him with a tan. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, buy this. You get all three of those, plus your clips. They're where? Becky's got them. No, sit there. You've got them there. There. There they are. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Right. One more. One more. One more. Okay. We'll, do, we'll save that craft bag for the next hour. And we'll do this one now. Twenty nine ninety seven. So what are you getting in here? You're getting your fabric coat, which is not that price. Don't worry. Um, th th a way of making any kind of cotton fabric into like oil cloth. Yeah. Um, you're also getting a fabric stabilizer, which is effectively like a spray kind of starch. Yeah. And you're going to get your fabric shield. So that's perfect if you're going to be making some bags and you don't want them getting all grubby. Um, so that is going to protect your bags as well. And the price is. So they're obviously seven ninety nine each. Are the three cents twenty eight? Yep. Oh no, hang on a second. No, hang on. <gasps> right, that one's definitely seven ninety nine normally. So you get oh, you're almost getting one of these for free, I think, aren't you? Fourteen ninety eight. Yeah, so five pounds each. Yeah. Brilliant. At fourteen ninety eight, so you get your uh, fabric. Now the story of this is, you know, we sell Odi coat. Well, Leanne dis uh, designed the fabric coat first for crafters, and then they went to Odif and said, "You should be selling this as your own." So they now make Odi coat. Same stuff. Yeah, same stuff. Yeah, exactly. But this came first. And then you got your spray and cut here, which is your. Uh, this is like your fat, um, best press. Yep. This is like your best press. I'm giving it, giving them words that you will... Yeah. The stuff that we normally sell. And then this one here, that, that's like a Scotch guard, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. That's yeah. like a Scotch guard yeah. that you'd normally buy. 14 98 for those three. Right, we are going for a break now. You'll be back in an hour. I will. Where you're going to be doing Gemini-ing and yep. racing and yep. all sorts of things like yep. that. Yeah, yeah, I am. And yep. we've, got, we've got a mystery bundle. And I haven't done... We didn't do the craft bag in this hour. We'll do the craft bag in the next hour. So uh, there's a few deals in an hour's time. But don't go anywhere. Jules Fallon's up next with a brand new pattern. It's gorgeous. It's a blouse that you can make into a dress or a tunic or anything you want to. I'll see you back here in four minutes from now. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. 
You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. We're proud to have some of the most skilled and experienced experts in the industry. They're brought to you here every day on Sewing Street. Now we've had a message from a brand new viewer called Sally. I won't tell you her surname and she's put here. I started reading it and I was like... 
uh, was watching Hobby Maker. Then this came on. Uh, I was a bit too... I don't say I was a bit too impatient in school and failed needlework. But what a lovely programme. Chit-chat and laughter, information and fun. Thank you for lifting my morning. Morning. I'll be tuning in more often. So much better than Loose Women. Well, since my friend Carol left Loose Women, it's gone down the pan, hasn't it? Right. Jules. Hello, Jules. Hello. Oh, you have a new necklace? Oh, that's in case I forget who I am. <laughs> well, you can't see it. It's no. so people, it's, so, it's really good, isn't it, when you go to the events, people go, oh, hello, darling. You think, oh, you, I know they've forgotten my name. I know. That's who I am. But they are going to be, be like, the, the eyes are up here. The eyes are up here. <laughs> How are you been so busy? We've been, it's absolutely mad. And as you can tell, I'm full of cold yeah. at the moment. Yeah, not con contagious cold. Thank no, you. it's just, just locked up. Cold. But you never stop. You were at Sewing for Pleasure. You were at Islington. You've Ruff, got your own yeah. business to run. We're at Exeter next week. No. Yeah, we're doing Craft for Crafters down there. <gasps> So go and see Jules at Craft and Craft in Exeter. Yes, we're doing a little overlocker make and take on the stand. Oh, are oh, you? Yeah. Which is a bit of a first for us, actually. So, well, yeah. It'll be fantastic. So we'll see how that goes. Excellent. And everything's going well in the barn? Busy, busy, busy. We've got the um, craft market this weekend. Oh, yeah, you've got to remember, if you're near Ulster, right, every... Is it the, la is it the last Saturday, uh, the last, last weekend of last each Last Sunday month? of every month. There's a craft fair. So as well as all the other shops there and the beautiful cafe with gorgeous coffee... Um, there's also a craft fair out on the, in the um, shingly bit at the front. What do you call that? Courtyard, courtyard, yes, courtyard. Yeah. So there's a craft fair there every Sunday. So if you're in around the Ulster area, what's it called? Maker's Barn. The no. Maker's Space. Maker's Space. Why yes. do I call it Maker's Barn? I don't know. It is a barn. It's an old, well, it's more yeah. than one barn, isn't it? Yes. Maker's Space. Look it up. Right. Brand new pattern. Brand new pattern. So Joni. Now, I don't remember a Shakespearean lady called Joni. No, we've run out, quite frankly. We knew we would at yep. some point. But, um, yeah, so now we've gone to inspirational women. OK. Joni Mitchell. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. So this is the Joni dress and blouse pattern. Now, can you explain, because obviously you're wearing the blouse and you're, oh, and you're wearing the dress, you have your own model on it now. But what will I get inside this pattern? <clears throat> so you've got all of the paper pattern there. Yeah. And you've got the booklet of instructions as well. Right. So we've got the two size ranges going on. Yeah. So the missus goes from a, I think it's a six, six to, to a 20. A 20. Yeah. And then we've got the curvy, which goes from a 20 to a Which 30. I'll come to in a second. But have I got a pattern for the blouse and a pattern for the dress? No, what we've done this time is because we want to be a little bit more eco with saving paper. Mm -hmm. um, because basically... The dress is an elongated version of the top. Right. So the pattern for the top is in, Here, in the pack. Here, in completion. Absolutely. And then you just lengthen it to make it whatever length you want. So is it, are the seams like that? Do I just follow the line like that? No, or are they like literally that? straight oh, down. So you, so you don't need to worry about pattern drafting or anything like that. No, it's literally just carry the lines you on. You just carry the lines on. So you can either mark it and chalk it straight onto the fabric, or you can add in extra paper um, pattern cutting paper, newspaper, whatever what you want to use, um, and then make the pattern the length that you want it to be. Perfect. Now, what's the what's that design? Because I don't know what you call that design. Because it's it's a bit. You can show it on your blouse. So you yes. Put the seam. Yeah. So instead of having a dart, we've actually taken the dart all the way around the back. Right. To create a side panel. So there's no so, side seam as such. No, there isn't. But if you want to make the dress and you want to put inseam pockets, then there is instructions in the booklet that show you how to separate that side panel and then put your pockets in. So in this pattern piece, we're getting the fully fledged blouse pattern in sizes 6 to 20. Yes. Then from that, you can then extend the bottom of it so you'd have a dress pattern. Yes. And then on the dress pattern, because you wouldn't put pockets in your, no. that one, but you, you give us instructions of then how to put a side seam in to then put pockets in. Yes. And you can also put patch pockets on if you want to. So there you go. So it's very, very lots versatile. Of, lots now, of options. Who's, the, who's it for? Who's, who's going to wear this dress? Who's going to wear this top, apart from you? Apart from me. Anybody. No, exactly. That's what anybody. I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This could be for anybody. I mean, I love this. because I prefer it as a top, I right. have to say. Um, but it works beautifully in lots of different fabrics. That's Emma wearing this one. Yeah. Um, and we've also got Swap it in... your shoes on. Did you swap shoes? <laughs> <laughs> and, she's... and we've also got it in... Uh, so I was wearing it in a lightweight denim. Yeah. So, again, it works differently, but you're going to get a different look depending on the different fabrics of that course. you use with it. Could you also make 
I'm just let me have a look now. Could you also make it so that this bit here is one fabric and then that way round there yeah. is another fabric? You could, you could block it. Block it, block yeah. it. Yeah, I love block Well, it. I'm just thinking because yeah. if that's a dart that becomes a seam that goes all the way round, everywhere from the bust dart downwards could be one fabric. Yeah. And then it and be very slimming as well yeah. because then you'd have a, pa a thin panel down the front, wouldn't yeah. you, so of, your, of your basic colour. Yeah, so I know I'm going to turn it Yeah, yeah. There we go. So on here, you might be able to see it if I lift her arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. So you've got the dart that goes all the way around. Now, this actually sits, because she's not quite... She's a little bit skinny. The model. For the model. Thank but you. you can see the how the panel kind of sits. So you've got the gathered side bit. Yeah. And we've put little inseam pockets in right. there. Um, but yeah, you absolutely could have the bodice and that front and back panel, one fabric... And then you could have your sleeves and the gathered side panel. Another it's up fabric. to you, isn't it, how you do it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. make one in calico first or make, make your first one up first and then just see how... Now, difficulty-wise? Um, I would say it was pretty straightforward. Yeah. If you're used to doing binding, then that's not too bad. Yeah. It can be... You want to just be careful around that corner, around the curve of the... The little kind oh, of it's key cute! I hadn't seen that bit. Yeah, so that's hidden behind. Now, oh, yeah. you see, I'd want to make a feature of that. Yeah, you know, how you've got your long ties there. You could just have short ones, if or I, you could just have a little button or something. little button or something there, because that's so, just pull that, pull the thing there to we one go. side again. That's so cute, isn't it? I go. think that's. And then, if you had a button, yeah. if you then wore it open, would it make an unusual shape, or would it only because you'd have your button flap? Yeah, I think it would just sit. Yeah, no, no, no. Actually. I just think it's a really, really yeah. cute neckline. Um, so now the thing is, it's brilliant if you're going out to stuff your face, isn't it? Because you can eat as much as you like and nobody's going to notice. <laughs> or if you're going to have to wear it for all day, like at a wedding or something like that. And yeah. you know you're going to go through all the different sitting in the church or the where, sitting in the reception, dancing yeah. the night away, kicking your shoes off. That's it. And then you can sleep in it afterwards as well. <laughs> That's very, very, very soft. What do the cuffs do? So on here, you've got two different options. So again, we've got that little keyhole, <gasps> which is really sweet. Oh, extra thread there. Yeah. Um, so that's one option. Or you can just elasticate it like I've done. Oh. Now, what would it look like if I did three quarter length sleeves? Oh, now that would be really nice. And, and had, it, had it open, for, not elasticated. Oh, just let it open. Yeah. yeah, you could definitely do that. I mean, I think you've got... Or butterf a butterfly wing sleeves would be nice. Yeah. Well. Anyway, I'll shut up. I'll out. shut up. It's not about me. Right, so the pattern is 20... Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm obviously boring cat. <laughs> Yawning away up there. <laughs> 24 pounds for... Now, that's the 6 to 20. Are your sizes Wallace, Marks and Spencer's, Topshop, whereabouts would... Who, you know what I mean? Are they, they're, they're good... Comfortable sizes, aren't they? White stuff is our kind of benchmark. Right, OK. White yeah. stuff, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of a similar kind of customer branding yeah. and where we want to kind of be. But if you're a 14, yeah. your 14's a 14. If you're a high street 14, then you'll be a 14 here. Yeah, perfect. But always, always double-check the garment measurements. Yeah, which are all on there, aren't yes. they? Yes, yes. Yeah. So that's just... I'll show you the back of the next one, because I've also got curvy, right? Now, we, all say, we say this every single time, but when you grade up your pattern... You don't just take one size and make it a six and a 34, do no, you? Can't do that. No. So how do you do it then? Well, we have two different base sizes. Yeah. So we have a base 14 and we have a base 22. And the 22 is a completely different shape to a 14. So because we put flesh on our skeletal frame in different places, it does change the proportion. So, for example, your side measurement is going to be slightly shorter if you've got extra padding mm. on your hips. So it's things like that that we take into account yeah. when we're doing our drafting. You see, which is what a lot of designers don't take into account. They just go, oh, just make it bigger, make it smaller. And don't think, actually, the lady that's going to be wearing this has got more fullness here, shorter de depth there and everything. So all of that's taken into account. In fact, haven't you got two mannequins in your thing and that one is the size 14 and one is the size 20? They, they were made, names. yeah, they were, they were Dot and Doris. Dot and Doris, that's it, Dot and Doris. Yeah. And that's who you make your... Because then what happens is, is you cut your pattern to your 14 or you cut your pattern to your 20, then you grade up and down from there. You don't... Just take one and grade up and down. No. And also, the grading is a, a, a skill in itself. You just don't make it bigger, do you? No. Right, let me just show you the back of the pattern then on here. So what you've got is you've got your blouse here, <coughs> your dress here, 
Uh, patch pockets on this one, or you can do side pockets. I wouldn't put pockets on, but if you like a chip, how long hey. does it come on you? Well, it just comes to my kind of hip length. Yeah, so if you want you to make it a little, little longer, yeah, yeah. you could like make an artist smock from it, couldn't you? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. That would it? look really cute. Yeah. In cheesecloth or something like that, would be really nice. I'll shut up. Oh, what? Uh, right, so, um, no, that's... That, <laughs> I'll tell you that one in a minute, right? Uh, here's your, um, these are your measurements here, how much fabric you need. So this are, these are your body measurements on the pattern here, so you know what size to do. And there's your finished garment measurement there, how much fabric you need, and then um, how much you need to add if you're doing the dress pattern and things like that. Uh, also, what's in Lovely in here is it's in a... Washer and string, is it called? Yeah, string and washer. String and washer, so you can keep it nice and neat. I've got to rip it open. The pattern itself is really lovely quality paper. Now, all printed in the United Kingdom. It's actually printed with us. No, no. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> in Ulster, actually printed in Ulster. The ma... How they got that machine upstairs, oh, I'll great never know. But it's all printed upstairs, plus you get your full booklet. Look at this. It's a full booklet instructions. And also, if you get stuck... Just email them, get in touch with them by the oh, website yeah, and they'll yeah. get back to you. Yeah, we're happy to help. Have you, have you got a class for this dress shirt? There is a online video Oh, for our sewing studio members. Right, so if yes. you're a member of the sewing studio, you'll get a, a, a free how to make that and everything. Uh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, do I need anything else? There's no buttons on this, is there? No, it's actually a really easy one. The only thing that you might want, yeah. because this is actually a point... So we're sewing into that point. Right. If you've got quite a lightweight fabric or a loose weave fabric, mm -hmm. you might want to just put a little bit of interfacing just, just on that end area, just to kind of strengthen it. That and you make your own bias binding bit yeah, out of the fabric. Yeah. Or you could use contrast. You could use ready-made if you want. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So there's your two patterns, right? Fabric-wise, now, this is what we are going on about earlier, because I said, I think this dress, you wash this calico... I mean, I know it's already washed calico. You wash this calico. It's always say make a twirl, don't I? Make it out of calico. It's going to look gorgeous, right? Then Jules said, oh, print it. Ben went, tie-dye it. Because he had a tie-dying business when he was 16. Didn't get him very far, did it? Uh, uh, so this bolt, right? Bolt of calico here. You've got 25 metres on here. You're saving £24.50. You know how much I love calico. Now, when you're making something, you always make a twirl first, don't you? Yeah, definitely. So always make a twirl first, because then you can... But the thing is, with this dress, you can make a twirl out of the calico. If, it doesn't, if it's the wrong size or anything like that, the pieces are big enough for you then to... It's not like you had to cut little... If you're doing a, a, a fitted corset top, all your bits of calico are going to be that big. So when you take it to pieces, they're not worth anything. All your pieces are going to be big on here, aren't they? So you can reuse that all, oh, all the yeah. time. So don't, because we're talking about recycling and upcycling yeah. and everything like that. So that's your calico, right? We've also got four fabrics here. Uh, beautiful fabrics. Now, these are four-metre bundles. Is that to make the biggest size? Should be, yeah. Yeah. That's enough to make biggest size dress or biggest size top? Biggest size dress. Biggest be. size dress. Yep, 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 yep. Beautiful. Right, so... Let's start with this one. Because, oh, now, I've got two of them in bundles. But if you love them, I've also got these two by the half metres as well. So let me do this rose one first. This is the bundle, right? This is the bundle of four metres. Rose floral digital lawn. Beautiful, isn't it? Imagine that all... Because once that's all gathered up as well, you, the, the pattern becomes kind of like... Not busy, but kind of all... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Not it's kind of like fragmented. Fragmented. Yeah. Fragmented. So that bundle, the four metres, hang on, four metres for 34 99 And it's lawn. Excuse me, it's lawn. Brilliant, that. 34 99 I'll do all the bundles first. I'll do all the bundles first. Then we've got this. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. <gasps> Oh, look, I love that one. Yeah, that yellow. Now, you My see, uh, we didn't send Jules any fabric, so she's using her fabric, but these colours... I know, very similar. Very similar, aren't they? Yeah. So the, the overall look could look like the one that Jules is about to make. Oh, $39.99, this one. Beautiful, isn't it? That is just stunning. Oh, I love that. And that, like I was saying, wedding, summer frock, yeah. everything... Lo load, this one's flying out. This one's absolutely flying out. You get four metres of it. It's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. 
gorgeous. Then, now we've got, this is unusual. This is like a black, oh, now this one feels different. Is that a rayon? This isn't lawn, this one, is it? This is viscose. This is a viscose, lawn weight, but a viscose. Oh, 26 99 Oh, I love that. I love this. Is, this is like an Osborne and Little fabric from years ago. It is. And they used yeah. to draw black and white with the bright coloured backgrounds and everything like that. I always remember because Dulcie always had a piece. We had one piece of it left over from a costume and she made a curtain and she had it at the top of her stairs in a house in York. And I used to walk up every time thinking, oh, I love that fabric. <laughs> this is very much like that. But it's only 26 99 for your four metres. And then. We've got the black one. Now, again, we're, uh, this one feels like a poplin, this one. Is it a poplin? It looks like it's slightly heavier than the lawn, isn't it? It's what? Slightly heavier than the lawn. It's just slightly, slightly heavier than the lawn. But once you've washed it, that'd be beautiful. Mm. 26 99 26 99 OK, I'll just take you through, through everything else. You'll need a bit of elastic if you're going to do elasticated cuffs. Don't know why I've got that. Elastic, yeah. It'll be cut to order this, I imagine. Oh, that, that's in a way far enough to oh, gosh, cuffs. Yeah. So oh, you're only make, using that if you're going to do the elasticated cuffs. It's not anywhere else in the dress at all. 99p. Useful to have in your stash, though, isn't it? Do what? Useful oh, no, you stash. You've always got to have it in your stash, yeah. yeah. And also, when we were all making masks and everything, you couldn't get it for love and the money, could I you? Oh, gosh, yeah. Anyway, right, OK, that's all I'm going to show you for now. What are you going to show us with the pattern today, then? OK. Oh, OK, she said. So, oh, I've got to sew. <laughs> I was quite enjoyed just sitting here watching you, actually. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you how to put the in that side panel in. Right. Because basically that is the trickiest bit. So we do it in two stages. OK. So I've done <clears throat> the one side so you can see how it sits. Now, I haven't bothered to pattern match. Right. But you, you wouldn't on, I wouldn't on something like that because no, you're not you gonna it's to. not gonna match yeah. both ways, is it? No, exactly. So you can see how that seam kind of comes up to the point and then comes back into the kind of front section. So if I open it out, you can see what's happened. So we've got the side panel that's gathered on, mm -hmm. and then we've got that little point there. So that that point there is that where your bust start would normally end. Yes. So on a, on the pattern, that's where your bust start. Yeah. Ends. Then yeah. you've kind of manipulated it, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. We've kind of oh, I love a bit of dart rotation. Oh, pfft. we were only talking about it yesterday because it was in the book that we were selling yesterday. Oh, it was nice. all about curved darts and all oh, sorts yes. of things. Yeah. Darts are wondrous things. Um, so yeah, we've moved and the, kind of shaped that dart slightly and then taken it round into a seam on the back. Right. So we sew it in two stages to make it easier. Right. So this is the opening that we've created for the panel. So I've basically done the shoulder seams already. Yeah. And I've done the side seam. Because there is a side seam from the armhole down to yes. the top of the gathering. Yeah. yeah. So now what we need to do... Now, if you've got fabric that's quite weak in terms of being floppy and stuff yep. like that. You can use a little bit of spray starch on it. That will help. Um, and I have marked on here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, so can we go down onto that, Ollie? So I've actually drawn a little line that's my seam allowance around the corner. So on the pattern, there's a little dot. And that's the point that we're going to snip to in a sec. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it in kind of two stages. So we're going to do the straight bit and round the corner. Uh -huh. And then we're going to flip it over and do the gathering. Oh, OK. So that we've got it in. So you can have the gathering on the uppermost side so that you can actually see what you're doing. Brilliant. So the side panel, what we need to do first is to sew the gathering threads across that top right. edge. And there's also the kind of the, the little kind of point here yeah. that matches up with the side seam. OK, can I ask, if you're going to make the dress and put inseam pockets in, you'd have to create a side seam in this gathered bit, wouldn't you? Yes. So and that would do be that, done, yeah. obviously, before you, you cut it out. You'd yeah. do that first. Yeah, so read the pattern completely, because yes. that won't be on the blouse no. section. You need to read the pattern completely about how you'll put that in if you made the dress. We always, always say, sit down with a cup of tea, yeah. preferably a piece of cake, Read the pattern instructions through first, and then it's all going to make sense when you come to make it. Brilliant. So what we can do here is now we can kind of match it up. So I've got my 
dot there that I can match up with the, what have I done with my pins? No. Nope. There they go. So I can match the dot up with the side seam and pin that in place. So I'm trying to keep my double gathering stitches inside the seam allowance. And what I want to do is I need to snip now up to that point. Because what I'm going to do is to pivot around the corner. Okay. Don't do this when you first cut it out. Only do that snip when you're ready to sew. Do it as, as, as we're going. Yeah. So we've got the hems that we can line up. And there will be notches on this panel seam. And then also on your kind of side panel, there will be a little dot here. Right. So we've kind of matched those two up. Now, when we've got those two lined up, we can pop a pin in there. So that's our pivot point. So then the rest of that side will line up and sit together. Mm -hmm. How big's your seam allowance? All 1.5. Always. Unless it says otherwise. Right, okay. Which is why it's important to read the pattern all the way through. Exactly, yes. So where we've turned the corner, we've got all the gathering bit now underneath. Right. So we don't really want to keep that there for the gathering because you want to be able to see mm -mm -mm -mm. what you're doing. So we're literally going to sew around the corner. And again, there will be a marker on the pattern that tells you when to stop. Oh, so you literally just sew around the corner by about an inch or so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we literally go up, pivot, and then just turn that little yeah. corner. And because you've done that split, it will lie flat when you get to it. If you hadn't cut that bit in, it would be awkward to get to. Yes, yeah, you must do this cut. If you want to do a stay stitch, you can. Um, just make sure that you're not going to see that or you can take it out mm -hmm. before um, or when it, if, it, if it becomes visible after you've stitched it. So again, on this side, we're going to just line up those points. And then we can match up the hem. So obviously, if you've done the dress version, you'll have much more of fabric here. And then we can match up the notches on the side. There we go. And then again, we're pivoting round that corner. So we're bending the fabric round, but we're only gonna sew literally about an inch, a couple of centimeters. So there we've got, if I put it around that way, then you can see it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. So we've got the panels and then we've also got that kind of halfway point pinned at the moment. Right. So we're going to sew the straight bits and yeah. around the corners first. So it's like a long bit up to the top and then an inch, turn right and go for an inch or so. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And would you work from the long bit up? You wouldn't start on the inch bit and go down? Um, no, you will one side because obviously we're doing two different sides. I was going to say, so yeah. One you'll have to start and the sew up and the other bit you'll have to start and then and go down. Go down. Yeah. So, yeah. So, in fact, let's do... Where are we? There we are. Uh, I've got a message from Fiona. She said, Morning, Jules. I met you at the last Makers Fair. For anyone that's never been to one of the Makers Craft events, do. Amazing craftspeople and items on sale. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. They are good fun, actually. Mm. Yeah. So, all I'm going to do now, I've got my 1.5. Where's my pin pot gone? There it is. Um, I was having fun. I didn't have the foot pedal out there. For the machine? Yeah. Do you need it? it? Well, uh, We've got the start stop button. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't know how people do it like that. What, with the start stop button? No. No. Yeah. I've got no control. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so, 
So, yeah, I much prefer my pedal. Do you want the foot pedal? I have got the foot pedal. Oh, you got it now? Yes. I'm going to make it a bit speedier. There we go. That's better. So, all I'm going to do is 1.5. All the way up. Mm -hmm. Oops. Let's keep that going. I'm trying to keep all the raw edges level. And keep everything out the way. That's better. So what I'm going to try and do is just to keep all of the underneath bit completely flat yeah so as we're sewing we're just bunching up the rest of the fabric and keeping that out the way so I'm going to work my way up to that point and then we can lift it and pivot it round. So this time, I'm literally going to sew like about an inch. There we go. Mm -hmm. So we've stitched that, where has it gone? that little corner and once that's pressed that will sit nice and flat and then we can do the same on the other side mm -hmm. but this time we're going to start just before the gather there we are now it doesn't really matter how far you go you don't want to go too far because into the gather because otherwise of course you're yeah. shorten the gather so here we're going to go from the marker. We're going to go up to the pin. There we are. And then we should be able to pivot around the corner. And then this is the back, so we'll have a slightly shorter run. but you can feel with your fingers to make sure everything's out of the way. There we go. Lovely. So that's the two corner bits done. And then what we can do is pull up the gathering thread. Okay, how much gathering is that? Is, that, is it quite a not, bit? No, it's not a huge amount, actually. Um, I think there's probably about one and a half. Oh, is that all? Yeah. Well, I suppose yeah. you don't want it too bulky because you don't want to create no, a, too, no. too much volu vol volume. Volume, that's the word I'm looking for, volume. Yes, voluminous. Yeah, you could. I mean, it depends on what kind of look you want to go for. Yeah, yeah, of course. You could go and how for, thick your fabric is, I suppose. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, you could make this up in quite a stiff poplin, mm. like a shirting weight, um, and have extra gathers, and that would look quite cool, actually. Yeah. Now, when you're pulling your gathering, I always pull my bobbin thread. I, I never know. I can never remember which is my bobbin thread. Oh. Pfft. <laughs> Because I can't remember which way around I've sewn it. If but I've okay. sewn it print up or print yeah, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just pull so the pull threads. That, it doesn't matter then. Pull the threads that yeah. are nearest to me. I don't know. Does it make a difference? Well, I don't know. I was always taught to just pull the bobbin. So when we did that, don't when we they? did gathering at Wimbledon, we had to put a different colour in the bobbin, so you knew that you were pulling. Because in theory, you're supposed to take all the gathering out, aren't you? Yes. Um, and we didn't have overlockers then. Um, so, um, so you always did like a purple or a different colour, so you knew to pull that, that the, the bobbin thread, but obviously it doesn't make any difference. But is, I, now, have I got notches to say how much to eat? Because there's nothing worse than doing gathering, <coughs> excuse me, and you get so far and you either run out or you get to the end and you haven't got enough. 
or you've made too, you've got too much gathering, or is there, is there, does it tell us what, how much to put no, in which section? It's not a big enough section to okay. worry about, really. <coughs> so, I mean, I've just done, because you, you've got that halfway. Oh, of course, so you've definitely got the halfway. So you're actually only gathering. Oh, half. okay. So you can kind of eyeball yeah. it, really. Yeah. Um, and then I tend to smooth things out as I'm sewing anyway. Yeah. So, and then we yeah, but I'd forgotten you'd pinned it in the middle because sometimes you can gather along and you've gone past the middle, but you've used yeah. not half of the gathering, if you see what I mean. You know yes, what I mean? yeah. You need to kind of halve it and quarter it and stuff. Yes, you? yeah. But you don't need to because it's so short. Yeah. But always two rows of gathering. At least. Yes. Sometimes you can do three. Oh, yeah. That gives you a nice, tighter, eve, more even gather. But, yeah but that's quite tricky to get it all into your 1.5. Yes. Well, if you do three, I find I do the middle one on the actual sewing line. Yes. It means you have got one to remove afterwards, but it yeah. also then means you can work out from the top where, that you're sewing, where you're sewing along from the top because you've got your line of gathering stitches. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but then I you like have got that. to remember to take the, other, the last one out because it'll be on the, side, the other side of the seam, which will be envisioned. But then, if you, then when you do your bobbin a different colour, you'll know. Yeah. I like that idea. Mm. I must admit, I tend depends to... How much, it depends what you make. If you're, if you're in theatre, you haven't got time. You're busy no. bashing the costumes out, sort of thing. But if you're doing it at home, for your own pleasure, you don't have to rush. No. That's the beauty of it, isn't it, mm. really? It's Unless you're going out that afternoon, and you're wearing it that afternoon. That's, yes. I remember making a pair of pink tartan hot pants to go clubbing in. That literally, and I had to sew myself into them because I didn't have time to put the zip in. What, recently? <laughs> yes, <laughs> last week. No. <laughs> I wish, no. I'm down the NEC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> after party. You were going yeah. to What's It World, get Bear Grylls World for a disco club in <laughs> afterwards. There we go. So we've got all the gathers in. So now what I can do is make sure everything else is out of the way. So I can go back over and I'm just going to overlap that little tail of stitching so just making sure that that's sitting right on top there mm -hmm. and now I can use my pin just to kind of even those gathers out a little bit pin pot again now otherwise I'm going to throw them on the floor there we are so yeah you can kind of you can kind of get them roughly but then when you've got it on the machine if you just stroke your pin along the gather line then you can get them a little bit more evenly distributed evens it out a little bit yeah. more. There we go. And then when you get back up to the other side, just uh -huh. make sure everything else is out of the way. And so you should be able to just join that other little tail of stitching that we've done to kind of bring it all back so you're joining everything up again yeah let's just make sure that's all sitting tight there we go to meet that first row. Mm -hmm. There we go. So that should be now that side stitched in. Lovely. So then you can just overlock. We don't need to um, 
stitch it down or anything then it's just it's just a seam inside we don't have to like press it no. down and top stitch or anything no you don't have to top i mean you could if you wanted mm. to that would give it a nice finish i mean if you were going to make this in like a chambre mm. or something like that that would look quite nice you yeah. could then do a little top stitch yeah to hold it all down which would look really cute actually let's take out those little threads but then you can just give it a press now, you will end up with little points there, which if you wanted to, you could just blunt them off. Mm. Or if you're really clever with an overlocker, you can kind of go around the curve and then trim off the other side. Yeah. So that's that bit there. Yeah, because the, the uh, Dukey overlocker, their needle to space ratio is smaller than other overlockers. So they're made so that you can go around, cor around curves much easier. Oh, nice. The space between the blade and the yeah. sewing bit is much closer. I think that's what it is. And so you, when you go around a curve, you can, can really skim around. I mean, I could do it all right on my own air thread, right, sort of thing. But that's one of the things that the Juki mm -hmm. boys say that is specific to their machine. No, that's cool. So that's that bit there. OK. Um, if I wanted to make it sleeveless, could I do? Or the armhole's too big for a sleeveless? Um, you could make it sleeveless, but you would need to change the pattern. Yeah. Okay. So you'd need to bring the shoulders in a little bit. Yeah. And raise the underarm. So, no, don't do that. So, yeah. But no, no, if, if, you're to cut, if you know about pattern <coughs> cutting, then you can do, but it's oh, not yeah. that it's not easy. Because a lot of people don't realise that an armhole curve is a completely different shape when it's a sleeveless top to when it's got sleeves in it, even though you can think, well, it's going round the same place. No, exactly. But it's not, is it? Yeah, no. I can show you how to put the sleeve in. Oh, yes, please, yeah. if you want my, how long? Oh, yeah, yeah, we've got 20, uh, le just less than 20 minutes, that's fine. Yeah, so that's fine. So we've got a sleeve, yeah. again, because we're kind of dealing with gather, because we've got a little bit of a gather on the sleeve mm -hmm. head here. So all I've done is... So it's more than ease, isn't it? It's a, it's a, it is a gather. It is a gather, thing. yes. And again, there are points, there are dots on the sleeve head, so it will tell you where it, you need to do the gather. Brilliant. Um, and I think it's really interesting because a lot of people put sleeves in quite cack-handedly. Mm. There is a nice, easy way of doing it. So what I've done, I've basically sewn my gathering threads around the sleeve head. Yeah. And then I've done the underarm seam. Right. So literally join that together, right sides together, 1.5 seam allowance, and then overlock the edge. Right. And that's it. That's how you make up your sleeve. So in order to put the sleeve in... And remember, there is a right-handed sleeve and a left-handed sleeve. Yes. So in order to make sure that you get it around the right way, what I tend to do is to put them or put the sleeve to the bodice as if it's already been stitched. Yeah. So, for example, this one has got a, the double notch in it. Mm -hmm. So I know that's going to go to the back. So that's going to go into that armhole. Yeah. And then if we've got the underarm seam and you've got the side seam we can pin those together because we know that that's the right or the correct sleeve for the correct yeah. armhole then when you turn it inside out you know you've got it around the right way so we always have the sleeve the right way round and the garment inside out now there is a marker at the top so again, there'll be a dot on your pattern. I've just made a little tiny snip because it's quicker and easier. So I can match that up. And then I know that I've got the same amount to go in each side. Uh -huh. So we've also got the single notch on the armhole that matches with the single notch on the sleeve. Yeah. So we can start pinning those points. Uh, and when you put the sleeve in, you don't ease anything in until you get to the notch. Under the arm has to be flushed. I don't know if that's the right word. But e e the, the, the bodice and the sleeve are the same. Yeah, they're all Sla flat. Yeah, yeah. flat, yeah. No gathers or puckers there. That's what we want. Well, in an ideal world. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to put that there. So then we can gather up what's left of the sleeve head oops my gathering threads have got caught there so that it fits the armhole let's pull those out so they're away 
So again, I can't tell you whether this is the bobbin or not. No, no, no. But if it was a different colour, you'd be able to do it. Now, Jean, who does sewing classes, she's going to use that as her tip. Oh, in there her sewing you go. classes. Fab idea, John. I'm going to use that to change the bobbin to a different colour at my classes. Uh, but Georgina loves your tip of using the pin to even the gathers out. Oh, cool. See, that is, this is the nice thing. When you watch people do stuff, you pick up so many little exactly. cool things, exactly. don't you? And also, you might do something and not even think you're teaching it. Yeah. Because it's what you do all the time and yeah. somebody sees it for the first time. Yeah. It's great. That's why it's great going to workshops. Yeah. Because you can actually see what's going on. There we are. So, now there isn't a huge amount of gather in the sleeve head. It's just a little yeah. bit, little zhuzh kind of thing. But again, you've got the dots on the pattern that will tell you where it starts and finishes. Uh -huh. And then we've got the other side. So again, I'm going to match up my double notches there and pin those in place. And then we can take the gathering stitches and push those up. Mm -hmm. Stay in place there. So we can even those out. So they should be, they should sit fairly evenly either side of the shoulder seam. Got a bit too much in there. So there, that's going to sit nice and neat now. Yeah. So a lot of people try and sew sleeves they, with a free arm. Right. But I think it's so much easier, actually, and you've got a lot more control over what's going on if you sew inside the circle. Yes. So on an industrial sewing machine, you, have you no don't choice. have that option. No. Yeah, which actually makes it much easier to do. So we're kind of so going to sew inside the circle. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep the garment flat on the machine. So again, we've got a 1.5 seam out. So I'm starting with the underarm and the side seam. And then all I'm going to do is to try and make sure that everything is flat underneath. Yeah. Let's make sure they are lined up first. There we go. So I'm going to sew round the curved bit and then I can just pull the circle round and move the bottom bit underneath out the way. And I'm going to move my gathering stitches so they don't get caught. I'm just going to oh, come and pull that bit. Oh, is that's that out it. the way? That bit, that bit there. Out oh, the way there so we you go. can see where you, you can are. See. Thank you. Thank you. There we are. So as we're coming up to the gather, again, I can see where this is. If I pull that out of the way. There we are. So you can see where the gathered bit is going to be. So yeah. I can make sure that that's sitting in exactly the right place. Do you ever tack sleeves in before you start, or do you ever teach that in your classes? <laughs> no. That's an evil little laugh, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry. No, I don't. That tacking has its place. I absolutely get it. But um, you, quite a lot of the time, you don't need to. No, no, but when we changed, I mean, I know I'm going back donkey years. We had to tack everything at once. Oh, every seam had to be tacked. I know. Every, but, but when you're first starting, putting a sleeve in is quite daunting. It can. So but if you've you put it in by hand and you can get rid of all the pins and see it actually hanging, it's in the right place, then it's much easier That's very to sew true. it, isn't it? Yeah, that is very true. But then you will have twirled it up first, hopefully. Yes. So you'll know that it's going to fit. But yeah. Yeah, we, we had have... to tack the twirl as well. So we've got one of the ladies on our diploma who just has to tack everything. Yeah, but then if that's and what that's, you enjoy, if that's what you love. Yeah, that's great. 
I have to say, I went to Jules's uh, just recently to interview Jules from uh, My Threads of Life, and there was a, a class, there was a retreat going on, wasn't yes, there? Yes, yeah. Some of the things those ladies were making were just exquisite, weren't they? They were beautiful. That was the silk, um, was it the silk dress? There was, there was the, the one, the lady who, who I think she, and she created her own pattern, or uh, like in a lilac in silvery. Yes. That and there's another gorgeous. lady cutting out one of your patterns in the red, and I think you've got the dress in red linen. Yeah. She'd arrived thinking she was going to make it in blue linen, then seen your red linen on the, um, the stand and yeah. bought the red linen to then make it in the red linen. And I think she had contrast pocket linings or something like that. Oh, I know. Yes. Oh, look. I've oh, made a mistake. Wouldn't have happened if you tacked it. <laughs> Just saying. Hey, I'm, try I'm trying to hold it out the way. That's what I'm trying to do. No, just literally just before, you can kind of feel. So there we go. I know. And it's like when you say, you could be saying two of the finest pieces of lawn, can't you? And as soon as you go over a third piece, you can feel your machine you going, oh, yeah. that was... A Ooh, and don't do what I used to do. Think, oh, it'll be fine. I'll just carry on. Stop yeah. straight away. Stop straight away. Undo what you've done. Yeah. And then go back. So literally we can overlap. There we are. So again, you can feel it. You can stroke the fabric underneath here and see yes. if there is anything that's going to get caught. Or yeah, and also tap the air out as well, because what you need to make sure is where you're sewing is flat and just two yeah. layers. Yeah. There we are. So... This method of putting the sleeve isn't brilliant for being able to watch at home, obviously, mm -hmm. but it does mean that you will hopefully get a nice flat. Could this, could this, because um, I know there's not enough maternity wear about, could this be worn as a maternity dress? You could, actually. I'm just thinking yeah. about Kinga, who's our floor manager next door, and Julie makes she's just left to go on her, um, not a honeymoon, she's not gone on a honeymoon, she's gone on maternity leave, maternity leave. And... Um, She's suddenly had a growth spurt, do you know what I mean? And none of her going out clothes fit her or anything. But she, the baby's not due for another is yeah. it a month or six weeks, something like that. But anyway, it's kind, kind of... And I was just thinking, she'd look lovely in this because it would just be comfortable. Because I imagine when you... Well, you'll know, I don't know. But when they've got a baby inside, it must be really uncomfortable. Oh, my God, tummy, you have yeah. no idea. No. It's like carrying an alien. Well, like, oh, that or oh, bad yes. wind, you know? <laughs> yeah, a little bit more than yeah. that. <laughs> There we go. So we've got that stitched in now. So when we pull that round the right way. Brilliant. Then we've got a nice smooth underarm section. Yeah. And then we've just got that little bit of gather yeah. over. But it's not really, head. it's not like a gather, it's not like a... a Lamb, not lamb chop sleeve, what's the bottom? No, a mutton, yes, a head big leg of mutton sleeve. Yeah, it's not yeah. that, it's just a bit of ease. Yeah. More than ease, but it's not fully fledged, you know, 1980s gathering, wedding dress no. gathering. In. No, 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 no. We're working on one of those at the moment. Not 1980s wedding dress, yeah. but something with lots of gather. Yeah. And that's really good fun, actually. I, well, I made, no, you say that now, I made my friend Dawn's uh, wedding dress for her. No, not Dawn French. And uh, it was 1983. So we went round all the wedding dress shops and she chose which bits she liked of everything and I then made it. She had three skirts, oh on, three gosh. skirts. So the full bottom one went to the floor, yeah. gathered on. The next one was a slightly ruched one with, like, with festoons. Oh, and then yeah. the top one was really highly festooned up. And eight, every single hem had a gathered ruching attached to the hem as well. Oh so God. I had to do hundreds and hundreds of metres of like silk, this with silk, gathering it and then attaching it and everything. You thought, oh, it'd be lovely, it'd be lovely. Oh, so bored of it, because like, there was so much. Then I had to make all the silk flowers to actually go on all the festoons and everything. Oh, no. I mean, it looked gorgeous in the end, and she was so happy with it, but yeah. I was cursing with all that gathering. Princess Di has a lot to answer for, doesn't yes. she? Oh, I know, bless her. Yeah, there we go. So that is, now, I can show you the overlocking if you want. No, 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 we have to, we have we to there? come to an end now, because I've nope, got to recap perfect. everything. Yeah. There we go. Uh, so you would just literally overlock all the seams. The binding around the neck is a bias binding. Would you put a stay stitch on before you bind it? Yes, I would. OK. And the um, ties, is that the end of the binding? If you, is it all yes. one thing? So we do this bit first. Yeah. And Hang then we'll you just do the... That, that's all right. So we do that, that little kind of horseshoe shape first. Yeah, perfect. So that, yeah. Bit, that bit goes on first. Right, and you and then, put your raw edges at the top. Yeah, and then you trim them off, them off yeah. so they're, they're level at the top here. Yeah. 
and then we put the um, we make up a long piece, find the centre of it, and that matches Start the centre back. back yeah. And then pin round, and then whatever's left becomes your tie. Perfect. Yeah. Or if you want to, a smaller tie or a little rouleau loop and a button would be nice though as well. Right, pattern, 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 the 6 to two, uh, six to 20, which has been the most... It's really funny with your pattern. Sometimes you're in and the miss size flies out yeah. and not so many of the curvy size. And then the, sometimes the other way around. The miss size on this one is the more popular. Yes, yeah. Um, 24 pounds goes from a size 6 to 20. Everything you need is in there. Your drawing's there. Now, there's the pattern for the blouse. There's how to make it into the dress. There's a patch pocket version. There's a pocket in the side team version. But it tells you how to do that. Uh, it's all the make sure you choose your size to the measurements on here. Uh, it's got a finish size measurement there and how much fabric you need. Uh, and you get your instructions booklet and everything. Everything, 24 pounds right then we've got the curvy size the 20 to 34 oh there you go Jean got married that year and her wedding dress had lots of gathers I tell you what her sleeves were like this they had neck um, in them and everything they were huge and I couldn't be bothered gathering so I like box please stick because it was quicker you couldn't <laughs> tell it was so voluminous uh, anyway 24 pounds uh, is your curvy size same price same price curvy size size is 20 to 34 There'll be more paper on that one, so you're getting a good deal there. Bolt of Calico, been very popular in this hour. If you're making 12, or actually making the dress, Calico dyes beautifully as well. Really, really beautifully. Wash it first. Even though this is called washed Calico, or pre-shrunk, wash it again, because just to get rid of any dressing before you dye it. And it's lovely if you do potato prints as well on it. You could do... Well, I'm sure they... At, at, at Hobby Maker, I'm sure they have proper prints, but, like, potato prints. Do you know well. what? I've got, we've got a stencil workshop coming up. Oh, have you? Yeah. My friend Mel Ward does the most amazing stencils. Mm, there you go. Yeah. 124 99 62 49 split P, saving £24.50. That's the most affordable way to buy Calico from us. Now, the fabrics that we've got for the show. Now, I forgot to show these in the, by the half metre tonight. So I'll do the bundle first. So this is your rose. That's your rose there. 34.99. Four metres. It's lovely, isn't it? Wedding, I'm thinking. I'm thinking wedding. I love this, like, kind of Victorian tea rose background colour here as well. And also ladies, or gentlemen, but, or Derek, if you're watching, uh, as you get older, we lose... I'm, talk, I'm including myself in here. We lose colour in... Uh, pallor, I think it's called, right? If you wear a colour like this or a colour like this, it reflects the colour onto your skin and so it automatically makes you look a little bit more rosy. So that's that. That's the bundle. But I've also got that one by the half metre. So if you want to buy that for another project or, or whatever, you don't need four metres. Here you go. 4.49. That's so good for a lawn, a cotton lawn. £4.49 for half a metre. Beautiful. Oh, hang on, I've got people, lots of messages to come through then. Right, quickly, Alice and Marion. Uh, my first A-line's... Skirt at school had to have everything tacked before we were allowed near the machine. It took a whole term to finish it. Yeah, but in Victoria, oh, you cut off me just so I was going to do a joke. Victorian times were quite difficult, weren't they? Uh, anyway, Sue says, uh, much easier to sew in the round. Lovely show today. Thank you, Jules. Julie Vaughan says, morning, Jules. I wore a Florence dress to sewing for pleasure. Oh, yeah. Uh, Alison says, no gathering foot, John. Uh, no, no, no gathering foot then. Uh, I used a fork. I went through it like that, pushed it through with a fork. Um, anyway, so that's the rose. That's the rose by the half metre. Then I love this one. That's this is stunning. Favorite. This is yeah. one, isn't it? Lovely. Uh, so we've got the bundle for the four metres, 39.99. Very, very popular. That's lovely, isn't it? Look. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've also got that one by the half metre. Very popular by the half metre as well. £5.49. £5.49. It's beautiful. It feels gorgeous as well. So that's that one. Then we had this one, which is your viscose, viscose lawn. Lovely, beautiful. So remember, viscose is a man-made fibre. They use natural fibres to make it with. But they can copy any fabric they want to. So they've made this one like a lawn, but it's very drapey, this one. Really, really drapey. Again, if you're sewing this one and you're not used to it, just tap the air out of it. Like that when you're cutting out, tap the air out of it. It's much, much easier. P put a bit of best press, best press on it. Or we had the crafters one earlier, didn't we? I can't remember what it's called now. What's it called? 
She's going to have a look. Uh, 26 99 is the bundle. I haven't got that one by the half metre. Then we've got a cotton poplin. I think that would be really dramatic, that one. Or John Scott's shirt. It would look nice as a shirt, actually. The amount of people that say pleasure said to me, oh, I love that you make your own shirts. I'm like, mm. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> 26 99 I get when I'm when I do have one made when Liberty give me some fabric right I get Rebecca Harrison to make it for me uh, Adam made me one as well for my birthday didn't he anyway 26 99 Jules is back in an hour we are doing a pair of trousers trousers just hold them up they're just behind you there there we so go these are called the Nell which we think is the nurse from Romeo and Juliet I know I need to double check that yeah. so what's so special about these these are secret pajamas so what? Secret pajamas. Secret pajamas. They're so comfy, and you can make them in anything. Perfect, perfect. That's in an hour's time. But in, in the meantime, we've got Crafters Companion with um, what the, the, the Gemini machine. But I've also got a mystery bundle. I've got a Crafters bundle. I've got a, a teddy bear with its arm pulled off. Cat. I'll see you in four minutes. <laughs> Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your App Store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. 
Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Now, uh, Becky's going to... <laughs> She's going to present this. I'm going to have a sit down for an hour. Are you? No. OK. <laughs> uh, we all thought it was nearly finishing time, you know what I mean? Because my legs are aching and everything. Oh. I've got a personal training session this afternoon as oh, well. Oh, that's not good when your legs are aching before that. I know, no, but they, no, they feel better after. Oh, do they? It, 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 when he says, when he arrives and he goes, he brings all the weights from the car and he puts them down in the garage, he goes, OK, 20 burpees. And I'm like, no, I can't do burpees. And get 20 burpees, 20 press-ups, 20 squats. And then we start. Oh, gosh. I know. I know. Right. Uh, hello. Hello. What are we doing? I feel really short. Do you want something to stand up? Why haven't well, you no, got heels on? I know, I haven't got any heels on. I'll, have to, I'll, I'll stand like this. No, no, I, you tell us no, what no, we're I'm selling. No, no, I'm perfectly OK standing on my tiptoes. I was only going to get you a mat, so you oh, okay. just a bit oh, higher. Right, um, we, are, we are talking about the Gemini in this hour. So the Gemini 2, you've seen us use it. You, if you don't already have one, this is your opportunity to get hold of it. It is a refined machine. It is quicker. It is quieter than the original machine, and it's been. You know, uh, very unlike you, then, quicker and quieter. Since they boot the goose when I first met her. There you go. I, I was really scared when I first met you. Why? I was. Everybody says that. Yeah, really scared. Why? Well, I, I think the, per the person that I was on with said, oh, it's fine. It's just that last 15 seconds when they count you in and you feel like you're going to be sick. And she said that just before I went on air. Oh, she went with me. You weren't frightened oh, no, of me. No, no, I was, no, I wasn't frightened of you. I was oh. frightened of the whole thing. Oh, it's scary. Right. It's really scary beyond the cameras. Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure you be, should be showing that film anymore. Because that lady is that lady doesn't work with us no, anymore. She does. Oh, she knows that's not the one then. That's all right then. It's my bad, my bad. <laughs> no, because some of them have left, haven't yes, they? Yes, they have. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So the machine, um, quieter and um, quicker. Right. Um, basically, it's got the same power as the original machine. You will never get another machine as as, as powerful or uh, more powerful than the original. But it's been um, it's been glammed up. So on the bottom of it, you get these little slidey feet. So it makes it nice and easy for you to move around your uh, you know where your workspace is. You've also got um, little. Um, shelves on either side. Now these are dual purpose, so they've got storage, so you can fit a family bar of fruit and nut in each one of those. Um, but <laughs> Other chocolates are available. Absolutely, but also yeah, when you come to use it, you pop. Do you remember that? I do, yeah. I love. And, and now I've got old, I really like that chocolate. I didn't like it when I was young. Oh, do you? Now I really like it. A fruit and nut case. Everyone and apparently, nut um, nut it's um, in sealed units now in supermarkets because it's become one of the top things no. for people to steal. Yeah. So of them, Oprizoles, they've started putting those in, pla in plastic things now as well. Amazing. Anyway, that's another um, So when you put your, your plates in here, um, whereas before you had to quickly grab hold of them before they fell out, you've got a little pocket here, or a little pocket, a little shelf, shelf, in order for you yeah. to get hold of those. Now, this has also got an optical sensor that runs through the whole thro throat of the machine. So that means means when you start pushing your plates in, it will automatically engage. So if you're using the smaller plates that came with that little mint green um, Gemini Junior that we did, um, they, they will work in this as well because you won't have to have them you know, sort of long ways. You can yeah. put them in any direction. Brilliant. Now up here, you've got a little media stand, so you can pop your tablet or your phone up here. And we've got the same buttons as we had for before. So we've got an on-off button on the top, and you've also got a pause, a reverse uh, oh, hang button. hang on. Pause okay. and reverse. Yeah, right. exactly. Um, then at the back of the machine, 
You've got your on-off switch and your power cable, and you've also got your three USPs. USPs? USPs. USPs. That's USPs. Good. You're USPs. Selling points. <laughs> they are USPs, aren't yeah. they? Um, so you've got these here for charging your phone, charging your tablet, your lighting. Um, maybe you want a light pad that we've, we showed you on the show earlier on today. Um, lots and lots of things you can be doing with these. And as I say, it is quicker and quieter. Um, it does have a, an upgrade in which you can have a turntable put on the bottom of well, it. Well, except that. In this bundle, you get the turntables. Pass the, should we do a price thing? Because if you bought everything here and here, and we'll go through this in a second, uh, you'll pay £350. Today, you're paying £249.97. It's three-way split pay. Um, brilliant. I'll, we'll go through everything that's in the box in a second. I just wanted yeah. to get the pricing, because I didn't want people thinking that you'd pay paying £350. Brand new bundle today. So, um, so the, we were talking about the little turning table. We'll tell you more about yeah. that in a second. Tell you more about that in a second. Right. So if you've never seen a die-cutting machine, we use these a lot in paper craft, but we've actually created dies that are going to work with fabric. So if you want to cut, um, you're, you're in, really into your patchwork, and you think, oh, I just, I just do squares. You know they take a long time to cut. You can cut them with absolute accuracy in a fraction of the time. It will cut through six to eight layers of cotton fabric. I mean, one go cut, cut through a couple of layers of you know, really thick denim as mm. well. Um, so it really does make everything very quick and easy for you. And, and the fact that you've got that accuracy is going to make a huge difference to you when you start putting your um, pieces together. Exactly. Not only do we do builder blocks, we also do other dyes that you can put through the machine to use with felt and all sorts of other fabrics. Okay, so before we use the machine let's have a look what you get in the bundle so you get the turning table that we just talked about you screw this on at the bottom it's really really easy now the thing is I like it like this we all, whenever Sarah's on I always go I wouldn't I wouldn't well I wouldn't buy it but I'm getting it for free I'd be very happy for it but it moves you don't need this but it moves beautifully Sorry, move that out of the way. Oh, it's that one. Move it out of the way. Um, you, you don't need it because it moves, but this, having this on, means you can swivel it really, really yeah. easy. So if you're... It's fine if you've got a great big table like this. So I, when I'm at home, I don't have my dining room table. I've got loads of room. But if I was to do it upstairs, it must, I'd only have, I've only got a little table there. The turny table means you can literally just swivel it yeah. on, on, the, on the spot. So it's a really, really, really good addition there. We've also got... I've... What's this one? Bay leaf is this one called? Yep. Uh, so now, curved seams. Curved seams. Now, really difficult to cut. If you're doing, using a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors, you're never going to get the accuracy, really, let's be honest. Um, and for some people that have um, limited mobility, limited dexterity, as it were, um, cutting those shapes would be really difficult. So you see you've got multiple curves here. Now, using the Gemini, running these through your plates with your fabric, you're going to get that super accuracy. And that's going to mean, provided you use your quarter of an inch seam allowance, they will be perfect every single time when you make a block. Now, aren't these 59.99 normally or something like yeah, that? Yeah, some of them are 79. Some, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know. I think it's the 59.99. Ben will check now, but um, that's a 50. So this is about this is about nine pounds, eight nine pounds, I think. That's 59.99. That one, I think. We'll double check for you. Right. So you get this. Now it's like a neoprene. You kind of think mm, brilliant for keeping all your plates together. In fact, you've got yours. Oh, uh, it is 59.99. Is it sad that I can remember? <laughs> um, so this, this here, right, a neoprene thing. Uh, you keep all your plates in yeah, it, don't you? Yeah, so um, I'm, I, I've got my own plates. OK, so now shows, what we need to explain to you yep. is that the machine, when you just buy it, get the machine anyway, you get two white plates, you get a metal shim, you get a magnetic shim, you get an embossing shim, and you get... A metal, a metal cutting sheet. Yeah. That all comes with it, right? But when you get this bundle, as well as getting this, you also get two extra of these. Now, you get two of these anyway when you get the machine, but these are what make the bread in your sandwich. We'll show you in a second. But you get two other, two more of those for your stash, right? But then, now, when you get, get this, you get one metal um, sheet to cut with, right? Which is kind of make... Goes, we got one there. It's one. kind of like the one I've got. So it's quite right. flexible, quite thick. Right, very flexible. However, if you're going to do fabric, you need these. Two fabric cutting plates, and these are sensational. Whenever we get these in on their own, the $24.99 normally, whenever we get these on their own, they sell out. We've had two shows where we've completely sold these out. Um, 
Uh, and we'll show you how to use them in a second, but you get two of those in your bundle as well. Then, absolutely nothing to do with the Gemini machine. We've got no idea why these are here. They're cute, but they're a template to make the doll and a template to make doll's clothes one, I think it is, isn't it? So that, oh no, hang on, that's the doll in there. That one's the doll in there. And this one here is the dress and the dungarees. Right? Nice little freebie there, nice little freebie, but nothing to do with the Gemini. You don't need the Gemini machine to do those. So all of that, all of that should be 353.94. You're getting it today for 249.97 with your three-way split pay. Right, so put all that in there, all that in there, all that in there. Right, now, uh, uh, we've got all sorts of things to go with Gemini. But should we show you just basically, if you've never seen it before, how a Gemini works? Just, just do that first, and then I'll lead you into everything else. Because you might be thinking, well, it's all very well, John. It looks lovely. But what is it? We're not going to do a big demo. It's just going to show you how the machine physically works. OK. Right, OK. Well, I'm just going to quickly grab, grab, quickly grab um, a die. So these are dies from my, the Builder Block, but we have obviously other, shape, other kind of dies. Now, these dies are copper coloured, and that indicates that they are multimedia dies. Um, multimedia dies are thicker than ordinary me um, silver metal paper craft dies. They work in exactly the same way, but you have a little bit of a lip on them, and the lip is the bit that, with the pressure of the machine, will cut through the fabric. But because um, fabric is thicker than card, these are deeper. Um, so that's how you can... Can I cut one. card with those, Vaughn? Yeah, to? you could do, okay. yeah. And it it wouldn't matter if you cut card and then cut fabric, it wouldn't blunt them at okay. all. They're but not if, sharp. I've if I've only been a paper crafter up till now and I've yeah. only got the paper crafting yeah. dies, they won't work with fabric, will they? They will if they're a simple shape. So if you had a paper craft die that was, say, a star or a circle, yes, you could, but you probably wouldn't cut, be able to cut as many layers of fabric. No, and also, you're talking about the, those filigree ones. You'll yeah, get no, one you can't, okay. you can't do I'm, that. Just no. be honest, just being up front, yeah. just so you know. Yeah, and the, the, more, the more complicated and intricate the die is, the less likely it is to be able to cut through fabric. Yeah. Even if you're using it to cut through um, felt, and we've got some of these lace dies, they're not as intricate as you would get with an intricate yeah. paper craft Okay, die. perfect. So that, that that's what that looks like. Now it's not sharp, I can press my fingers up against it, it's not going to hurt me, but when you get through the actual the, the pressure of the machine, that will cut through the fabric. Lovely. So what we need is a bit of fabric, let's use some of this stuff here. So I've got a little bit of a white fabric, I'll just cut off um, a little section. Not like you, you normally so. arrive with some all different bright colours. I know, I just, I've been very plain this year, this yeah. year, <laughs> today. Feels like, it feels like I've been here a whole year. That's oh, thanks. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> in a good way, John, in a good way. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the different plates. Yes, please. So you get two white plates. So think of the, we call it a sandwich. So think of these as your white bread. Okay, so we want those. And they are going to go on the outside of everything else. Now, you've got um, two options here. So when you get your, um, your machine and you get it out of the, the box, effectively, you will get this metal shim, and it's very flexible metal. And you can see you've got indentations from where I've used dies before. And you get this frosted shim as well. So you can cut fabric with these, or you can cut fabric with these metal things. These are metal fabric plates. They are much, much thicker, much stronger than the ordinary plates that you would um, be using. Can I also here. just butt in there? You also yep. do get this magnetic shim here and this embossing. You don't use this for paper. You don't use that for fabric, but they come with the machine as yep. well together with all of those basic plates at the front. Absolutely. So what we're going to do is when we, we're going to use the fabric plates, but I can I do it on both actually to yeah. show you. So I'm just going to fold my fabric. Now, when you put this together, when you're doing this at home, you will spend a bit of time making sure you get the full use out of the pieces of fabric that you're using. So I tend to use a little bit of bits of scraps. So I might have a couple of different pieces um, that I'm cutting in one go. And you just, press them first. I press them first. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to be using that. And this is when your low tack tape comes into it. Remember half price today, the low tack tape. So I am heavy handed with my tape because I don't want anything to move. With paper, you'll find that people might use a little bit of tape just to tape the die to the, the card, but it's only one layer. Do you mean Craig? It's because he's mean. Do you reckon? <laughs> I'm going to tell him you said that. And um, he'll be watching. He'll be watching. <laughs> Uh, you get four rolls, uh, four boxes for your 9.98. There, twelve rolls of of low tech tape, all on a dispenser. Right. But I f I find you should tape your 
plate and your fabric and your dye together because otherwise it moves particularly because fabric fabric is a kind of slippery medium isn't it yeah. um, and I always put a couple of pieces on just to make sure it doesn't it's not going to go anywhere now it doesn't matter which way round you use the fabric plates then marked with a and b one is slightly thicker than the other it makes no odds at all as to which one you this use. is you using your fabric this plates now fabric not plates, your um, yeah. other ones right? so we're going to use our white bread our white outer plate yeah. we're going to use our fabric plates we're using our fabric and with the die facing down so the flat side is up uppermost because we want that little indentation indentation to go into the fabric to cut it yeah we're going to sandwich it with that other fabric plate and then we're going to put that last piece of bread over the top so we're just going to offer it into the machine just make oh. sure you open the um the flap at the back and the front and then it'll go through the machine now you'll find that it might make a, a bit of a bang as it's going over the very edge of that that you've got like a straight edge there that's, you go. that's a straight edge yeah. it's going over it's all those rollers are going over things at the same time now if you're worried about that noise and um, you can see how i put it on my plate if i if i was concerned about that i would have put it at an angle so the rollers would go off um wouldn't go off one big piece in one go now that's cut through all of those layers beautifully and you've got that super accurate curve that you would not be able to do um, if you were going to be cutting it by hand. So what we're going to do now is I'll grab another piece of paper, um, fabric, fabric, paper. It was because we were talking Long about channel. Paper, isn't it? I know. Um, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're doing the same thing with the plates that come automatically with the machine if yes. you're buying it you know, without this bundle. Um, so without the fabric plates. But today you're getting the bundle anyway, so yep. it doesn't matter. But you need to know how to use the machine anyway, yeah? Because, you, you know, you might, you might lend your friends some fabric plates to try out and then you're left with your plates and you're thinking, oh, I can't quite remember what I'm supposed well, send, to be doing. Send your friend the normal plates, not that muddy fabric yeah, Exactly. Um, so this time we're going to be using those white plates again. So we always use our bread. Um, also, can I say, this is normal. Yeah. This is normal to get indents. You can still use it with the indents going. So don't be thinking, I've ruined it, I've ruined it. You haven't ruined it. No, but this is the reason we've made the fabric plates because you can see, I mean, whilst you've got indentations on this one, it's nothing like the indentations yeah. you're getting here. If you're going to be cutting lots and lots of layers of fabric um, and you're going to be doing lots of different designs, it's definitely worth the investment to get the fabric plates anyway, but you're getting them in the bundle as it is. So again, I'm going to do a little bit more tape. Um, metal shim. So white plate, so your bread, you've got your metal shim, fabric, with the die facing down, use plenty of tape just to make it nice and sturdy. And then you're going to use this frosted shim over the top. That. That's just to make your sandwich thick enough for when the pressure is squidging it through. There's enough pressure going through. Squidging it. I like that. Squidging it through. Squidging it through. So just offer it into the machine. Oh. Like that. Yeah, you won't be doing it at a funny angle like this, will you? I, I always forget that I can move it. Yeah. And I, I always do it like this. So again, I probably put it... I, I, I often put things at an angle. Yeah, I always put them, I always put them straight. I don't know why. Yeah. Automatically put them straight. Um, now, if you're cutting felt, you will hear a funny kind of crackling noise. Um, don't think it's electricity. It's just all those fibres in the felt. So that has cut through the same amount of fab fabric, but you've got that indentation there. Yeah. And you can see, you know, we tell you to keep rotating, changing it around, um, cutting in different places, but you will find that um, you get sort of more longevity out of your plates if you're going to use the fabric plates. But you've got those beautifully cut curves that you would find really, really difficult to cut with any accuracy and a lot to create a, a quilt or you know, a, a just um, even just a, a couple of um, uh, blocks would be quite difficult. So it's definitely worth, um, if you feel that you want to do some patchwork and you've been reluctant to do anything because it takes so much time, you will find that this machine is absolutely invaluable um, and opens up your opportunities to make different designs that perhaps you would never have done before. Brilliant. Right. Now, things that you might want to buy to go through your dye machine are these lace flower dyes. Now, what are these then? These are gorgeous. I love Apart these. Apart from being gorgeous. Oh, they are gorgeous. And once again, they're multimedia dyes, so you can use these for card. Right. Um, so in here, let's open up this one. Um, so this is the flower um, here. So you've got multiple kind of dyes in here. That's what <laughs> everyone loves, isn't it? Is that they the right it. one? Yeah, that's it? the right one. Isn't that absolutely uh, 79 95 is not your price, by the way. Forty-nine ninety-nine. 
And this is, oh, everyone loves this. It, it looks so effective. So what you're actually getting in the bundle, you're getting a die that looks like this um, for the flower. And you're getting a little circle for the middle. And then you're getting a petal. And you're getting that kind of filigree effect with the petal. Now, we've given you separate dies so you can mix and match the way you want to do it. So you might want to cut out a shape like this. And then out of the piece of fabric, you just want to cut the actual filigree design out of it. You don't want to cut the individual petals. Or you might want to cut the petals again in a different fabric. Um, and so having them in different dies, it gives you that flexibility to do what you want. There's another one there, look. So you've got felt, they're both layers of felt, there's a turquoise behind and then the, the sea blue on top, just to give you that lovely look. And then that gorgeous cushion is made from all of those as well. So you get all four of these, so that's the flower one. Next one is a teddy, which is lovely. Let's just have a look at, I can't quite open that one. Get teddy, the, here, let's get this the, one. Let's get the post-it note off that. Um, so you can see how that looks, and it's quite a substantial size die. Yeah. And again, you'll be able to, if I turn it around this way, you can see the actual dies you're getting. So you get the dies for cutting out his, the in, intricate details around his face and also his tummy. So you could use a little bit of... Um, um, vinyl in there and put some sequins inside the vinyl so if he's got like a sparkly tummy yeah he doesn't like a sparkly tummy no, I was thinking you were gonna say the chocolate you can put chocolate in you it. could do because we do the Christmas one yeah, you, with could, the chocolate in you it. could do that yeah you fit a nice little chocolate lovely so and that's your teddy bear that's one teddy bear and they all follow the same the same format so this one is the butterfly and it's again really substantial butterfly here really great for decorating you know, perhaps you're going to be buying some of the bags that we had in the earlier show and you wanted to have um, a few embellishments on them like the butterfly you can absolutely do that and you can again we've given you the different wings in different ways so you can have your wings with that intricate filigree as well as cutting them out out of different fabric lovely and then we've got the fox the fox look at him isn't he gorgeous? Just hiding his bushy tail there. Um, gorgeous, again, um, you've got all of the dies here to make this little fox. Once again, you can use them for cutting out of um, cotton, um, denim, felt, um, and card as well, if that's what you wanted to do. So, I mean, wouldn't it be lovely to make a, an item like this and also have a matching greetings card in there as a, a thing? You and your selling. matching greetings card. I cards. do. I like a matching greetings card. All four, you get all four of those for 49.99, should be 79.95. Beautiful. Now, we've also got this bundle here. Now, these are bag making dies. So, again, you cut the fabric for the bag out. I'll take this for me. The fabric for the bag out using the dies. But we've also put together half a meter of your pe uh, peacock uh, velvet there. You've got your triangular um, rings. Ring. You've got your lobster. Clasp and your D ring. So, eighty pounds and ninety-four. That should cost you. Not today. Half, oh, half, less than half price. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. So you get the two sets of dies, the fabric and the hardware, for thirty-nine ninety-nine. Beautiful. Now, what else have I got that are dies? Let's have a look. What was that one? Oh yeah, I've got this one here. That cut and stitch. Okay, I'll take that one off you. You just tell us okay. what you've got there. So then. here are a set of dies. Um, they have lettering in them, so you can make some really pretty um, sort of uh, home decor pieces. So we've done them just with some embroidery thread um, around here. So we've embellished them. So basically, it creates little perforations. When you flick over and you see the dies, you've got a die that will cut the outside of the shape of the letter or word you're doing and then there's another die that slots inside which has all the perforations so on the sample we've got here we've actually just done the perforations into a piece of fabric and then we stitched over that afterwards whereas the other ones we've actually cut them out of fabric and then stitched through afterwards um, we've also given you extra dies in here so we've got dies with all of these little bits of foliage in this one um, the hello one has hello as well as some butterflies and some little swirls like the butterfly trails and then the thank you has some flowers as well they all work together um, so you can use them uh, together and mix and match them again they work really well if you wanted to use some of the um, faux leather that we had that's um, 
matte leather, they will cut really well out of that and you could do a little bit of stitching on those afterwards. So they make a really good item. They would be 38 97 if you bought them at full price today. Oh, that's a good price. Yeah, half price almost. Nice, it's half price. Uh, 38 97 that makes it 19 No, it's just less than half price, just less than half price. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Now, these are fabulous. Who doesn't love a nesting guy? I think they, these are absolutely invaluable. If you've ever wanted to do any patchwork and you've been reluctant to, I mean, these shapes here, um, you can cut those quite easily. Well, you could cut those out of fabric and um, with a rotary cutter. They're a fiddly thing to do. Mm. But these, really difficult. I mean, that one here with the apple cores, with all of those curves, being able to get all of the curves to work together so you can create an item like that is really, really difficult. To make, to cut all the fabric for that little table runner would take... I would say 10 minutes to do with the Gemini. Oh, yeah, yeah, if yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah. it yourself um, and cutting them by hand, using a rotary cutter, you're talking of half a day, I would have thought, to put all of those together. Now, these all nest together. There are so many different designs that you can do with all of these different shapes. And they are absolutely stunning because you're going to get those crisp, Per perfect results every single time there's not going to be the situation where you think oh you're cutting them you got a little bit bored towards the end you know you go slightly off at a funny angle with your rotary cutter or you just you know your eyesight's going because it's late in the night and you've already had a couple of where's well, your lovely jewel cushion you normally bring a gorgeous jewel cushion with this one yeah i don't think i had it uh, um yeah i didn't have it no, don't, worry, don't worry it's just gorgeous Might anyway if you bought all four of those they'd be 144.96 Go on, do it, do it, do it. It's on split pay, remember? Look, the price is wow. less. The final price is less than the original split pay half price. At uh, sixty-four ninety-eight, so that makes them what? Uh, oh, I don't know. One, that the two. Fourteen pounds each. Is that Ben's right? just doing it now. Sixteen twenty-four each. That's a good price, isn't it? Yeah. And there's so many things you can do with all of these different shapes. Yep. Yeah, really. And I've only got them in the bundle today, haven't I? Yeah, I've only got them in the bundle today. 64.98. Loads are coming in for those. Now look, it's on still on two-way split pay because it started off over £100, which means it's allowed to go on split pay. But then even though it's dropped to 64.98, it's on two-way split pay sale. Now, everything you buy from Crafters comes from Crafters Warehouse. Uh, even though you only pay one PMP, so if you already bought something from me that comes from our warehouse, uh, then uh, it's still only one PMP of £3.95. That's a great deal, isn't it? Mm. Mm. I don't know how they do it, to be honest, because you go to the post office, you wouldn't be able to post those four things on their own for £3.95. No, wouldn't you? no. Anyway, £64.98. Lots of you there. Make sure you check out. If you did, if you had these, you could make uh, Joe Carter's panda, you know, oh, I love, panda cards. I love that. Yeah. I think it's the, and, and, and as soon as I started working for Crafters, when I got these, that was the first thing I made. Oh. Because uh, my niece loves um, pandas and I thought it'd be quite a nice thing. For yeah. Them. Uh, 64 98 brilliant price for all four. You get all four of those for your 64 98 Beautiful. Right, so that's it for everything for the Gemini machine. Let's do the mystery bundle next. Now, we call it a mystery bundle, but if it was like this last time, we saw mystery bundle not telling you, not telling you what's in it, not telling you what's in it, and then if you go to the website, you've got everything listed. So now there's more than we've got in this box. There's several things that break down the communication. We haven't got... I'm not blaming Becky. It's not Becky's fault at all. Um, right, so you get more... It makes it more of a surprise for people, doesn't it? Yeah, so, no, but it's listed on the website. Yeah, but don't, you don't have to look at that bit. No. Right, this is one with its arm. I think Kat's put the broken, Kat's the the broken, broken one, one is in the, the bag. To the rabbit hospital, <laughs> teddy bear hospital. Right, so this is the mystery box. If you bought everything that's in this box, it would cost you 164.80, normally. Today's price, already on split pay. Look, that teddy bear's in there. That's why I've got the teddy bear. 84.99. It's on three-way split pay. It's on three-way split pay, that one.
Because it's it was 166, wasn't it, to start with? So, um, how beautiful that. Now it is the N National Craft Month mystery bag. Right, uh, is it this month still? Are we still in National Craft still, Month? Uh, yeah, we're still Only in just. Month. Yeah. Only just. Right, so in my one, I can see here, I've got felt, I've got rulers, I've got mandalas, I've got the teddy bear kit, I've got... Little um, key ring. Key ring. Yeah, little fox key ring. What's this one then? Yours won't be ripped open. Christmas decoration. Oh, you've got the um, um, binding tool. There's uh, some Sarah Rick Rack ribbon make dies. You've got some threads. You've got the embroidery kit there. There's all sorts, all sorts. £84.99. pence. That's felt there, bit of felt there. You don't get the crate. Don't be expecting the crate to arrive at your house. You don't get the crate. And this is the teddy bear that you can make out of that box. Yeah. It's a panel. Well, oh, sorry, it's a panel and you make up. You even get the stuffing in there to, yep. to stuff it. Every single thing you need. Is that, the, is that the teddy bear with the great big rabbit ears? It's a, a floral bunny. We have the blue one, which is a teddy. Oh, OK. Sorry, I'm ca so calling it a teddy bear. It's a bunny there, that one. Learn a new skill, it says on the box. 84 99 so, catch you on this one to dismember this one as well. Eighty-four ninety-nine. I blame the person who made it. Oh, don't look at me. Didn't you I make, make that? I, actually, probably. If his arm fell off, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite likely to be me. So that's a mystery bundle. But we've also got this lovely bundle here, this craft bundle. Now, who was it that said when they first saw this? Was it you who bought this for your mum? This bag. Yeah, I bought one for my mum, and then she took it to her class, and then all the ladies bought one. Yeah. So okay. you're not only buying the craft bag, you're buying everything inside it, right? So again, you've got the tool, the, the binding tool. You've got Sarah's threads. You've got some clips. You've got some markaway spray. You've got some even more um, low-tack tape. You've got some scissors in there. Uh, have I missed anything off? Quilting clips. Those quilting clips are there, yep. Yeah. Uh, should be 67 93 But you get the bag as well. You get the lovely crafter's bag as well, which folds down. Uh, here you go. That one is 34.68. Oh, yeah. Just, just less than half price. It's brilliant, isn't it? So you keep the bag for yourself, give all the others as gifts. Or give the bag as a gift and keep all the other things for yourself. £34.98. pence. Beautiful. Check out, check out, check out. Lots of you there. Oh. I've got my nice new chair. They need new chairs in the gallery now, don't they? Yeah, can I hear them? Well done. Well done. Right, now I'm going somewhere different because I've now got make it kits, like a makeup case. I've got a sewing storage and I've got a cylindrical zip pouch. Oh, you got those? I have got those, yeah. So these work in the same way as the panel. Looks so like a biscuit tin. It one. does, doesn't it? And it and that, I think this is why, whenever I see this, I think I need a, a biscuit. Biscuit, yeah. Yeah, because um, it does look like a biscuit. But you get everything inside the kit. So you're going to get the pre-printed panel and you're going to get all of the um, zip. Um, any embellishments on them so if there's um, a button or a piece of elastic they're all going to be contained in there so it makes it a really good item for someone that might be getting started sewing um, they're great for kids because yeah. everything's contained in them and then they're, they're something that's really usable so they're not just going to be making some random item Is that that one yeah oh yeah i can see it now. yeah 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 no, you got the other way up uh 44.97 if you buy all three of these not today 28 pounds 98 £28.98. So, for example, in this one, look, you get the wadding, the panel, the large zip, the small zip, and the instructions. This one here, you get the fabric panel, the wadding, the zip, and the instructions. This one here, you get the fabric panel, the wadding, the bias binding, the Velcro, the elastic, the button, the button, snap fasteners, and the instructions. 28 98 Loads in baskets. Check out, check out, check out. Where's this one then? I don't know. I thought I packed it, but it might be in the back of my car. Yeah. I had well, a lot. Be, I had it could a be in Cat's bag, ready to go home. It's, it's, with oh. the, it's, it's keeping the um, She's poor ripping bunny the leg off together. it. <laughs> She's standing like this. She's standing like this, like, just you work, Johnson. She's standing like She-Ra over there. 
Do what? She's standing like She-Ra. Remember She-Ra from the Masters of the Universe? No, yes. not that. Oh, that's the Eno Princess Warrior yes. I'm thinking of, isn't it? <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, £28.98 for all three of them. All three of them. You don't need anything else whatsoever. You don't need anything. A pair of scissors. Oh, yeah. That's I mean, it. obviously, you, when yep. you're going to sew it together and everything, but the actual fabrics-wise, making-wise, nothing. But well, you got the scissors bundle from earlier. I'll do that next. And I like the fact... I really like the colourways they've got with this. That, that scarlet and the blue, I think, is really nice. Yeah. Of course, it would have been nice to see that in all the colours. Actually, do you know what we can do? Well, only because there's so many different patterns. They all go together. Yeah. Because, look. Yeah, yeah, so I was saying it's a panel. No, you haven't listened all day, Ben. <laughs> there you go, look. Left pocket. But they all match. All the fabrics yeah, match to each match. other. The colourways and everything all match together. 28.98. Beautiful. Right, now, you just said you needed some scissors, didn't you? I'll pack those away if yep. you take those. Scissor yeah. bundle. I've got more new stuff to... Uh, not new stuff, more stuff from this hour to show you. Let me just pack so that away. Three sets of um, scissors. These ones, they're great for cutting fabric, great for cutting card, and even good for cutting your bacon. OK, this one's already crashed because we had it at 9 o'clock this morning. How much was it meant to be? 33.97 is what it should be. You get the big scissors, the little scissors, and the uh, curved scissors, but they've been electromagnet watsited to make them look like Aurora Borealis. Yeah, they, they work really well in the kitchen. Um, so I think all of us have got sets that we use in the kitchen as well as one. You don't still cut the rind off bacon, do you? No, but if I'm cutting it to make carbonara, I cut I don't it with... Meat, not what you're oh, I cut it with scissors. I don't cut it with... Bacon. You can buy those already cut in Marks and Spencer's. It's different. A bacon lard on is different to a, a slice of bacon. They're different. Well, yeah, you buy your cheese already grated. No. Buy your carrots already. No, but did you know what? I don't buy, I don't eat mushrooms. Um, I'd get my chopped onions already cut chopped. Um, what, frozen? No, no, in the, oh, in okay. the, in the chilled or chiller compartment. Oh, you must... Uh, what was I going to say? Go back, go back, go back. What did you um, just ask me? Bacon. Don't do bacon. Cutting uh, the rind off bacon. With carrot. Scissors. No, what was the thing you asked him between carrot, that and carrots, Ollie? Cheese. When you have grated cheese, it's not just cheese in the bag, though. It's got flour in it, so it's... It's, it's it something from getting sweaty. Yes, no, but, but then it's no good if you're gluten-free or anything, no, is it? But they don't no. say that, do they? Think it's just grated cheese. Oh, I didn't know that. So there. It's 24, uh, 24 Right, what else have we got from this hour? What's next, Ben? Oh, the pink bag on its own? There. I thought that was your dirty one there. There you go. <laughs> it's not dirty, it's just got my name on it. 9 99 I thought that was your box. And then. the light pad fits in here. Right, no, we're not paying... Oh, oh, so you get... Oh, I didn't realise we had this on its own today. OK, not 9 99 So you could put a tablet, like the tablet you've got there, in here, if that's what you needed, that fits in Actually, there. Actually, I do and, need that, um, because you know what happened last week, don't you? No. I um, br bring a little flask of coffee to work with me, and I didn't drink it that morning. Got home from work, and I shoved everything in the bag, and forgot to unpack my bag as soon as I got home. Anyway, later on in the evening, I thought, oh, I better get... Got my shirt at the bag, I thought, why is my shirt wet? Oh. And then I delved in, and the flask had opened, and everything that was in the bag, my iPad, my, all, all my bits and bobs that I bring for the show and then my notes and everything like that were absolutely drenched and none of it had leaked because it was one of those bags that was like got a lining for yeah. like um, when you put your freezer stuff in it. My iPad was drenched oh, and no. the iPad holder, I opened it like that and the coffee came and of course I have sugar in my coffee as well so everything oh, was sticking. No. I plugged my iPad in to, um, hit, to charge it up and it was like liquid detected, unplug, liquid detected, unplug. And so now I, I haven't got... I've, I wrap it in a towel to bring it in at the moment, so one of these would be perfect. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> it would be a good advert, wouldn't it, if anyone sees me with it? It would be, yeah. You, you can't fit that in your pocket. It's fitting. 
It's a good thing you can't do that with the fabric plates because you'd be doing that as well. Oh, those you? fabric plates. <laughs> Sarah's been promising me those for ages. Uh, Seven ninety nine for that bag that's in my pocket. <laughs> right, moving on. Yeah, leave that there, and you will. Right, so I've got the guillotine, I've got the big bag, I've got the PVC, I've got the Isla thingy, I've got the storage bags. I've got loads. We've got loads, haven't we? Okay, then. Okay, so I'm going to do the uh, see-through PVC first. Vinyl fabric, it's called. It's a two-pack. Now, don't ask me why they're different sizes, because I don't know. Because they've been manufactured for specific projects. I knew you'd answer. So, so what project? Oh, so I remember what project this was. Actually, we've got it over there. Can Have I you? go and grab it? Go on, it? then. Go get it. Right. So this is your glitter. So the idea was to use Oh, that's what's the one I was thinking of. Well, you know. We used to do a big orange, like an orange... Might have been before your oh, time. Oh, no, 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 you're right. Anyway, yeah. That was um, an iridescent vinyl. We had oh, OK, on. right. Um, so this, these bags, um, we, we created the um, templates. The whole idea was we were going to be using this particular vinyl with them. So that was for the, the glitter vinyl, which is in a larger piece. Then this clear vinyl um, was used when we were, were creating those little Christmas decorations. I wonder um, where that fabric had gone. It's it's not, I haven't taken... It's not me. Who put that in I there? don't know. It must have been one of the elves. Yes. Cat um, this Catter. clear vinyl is just the right size. If you were going to make some of those decorations, those Christmas decorations we did, with the little um, the, the little tummies were made out of a bit of vinyl so you could pop a, a chocolate in there. Yeah. And then this is the absolute perfect size. But it's the same um, microns as um, each other. They're the, the same. same the microns, the thickness. Isn't that what... Microns, isn't that what you put gold plated on microns? Yes, oh, it means just thickness. Be thickness. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't really. <laughs> so you get um, a big piece of the glittery one and a smaller piece of the plain one for nine ninety nine. We should have been fifteen ninety eight. Well, we'll do these then yep. if we're talking about those then. Yep. So these are three separate um, templates. This one is for your sewing storage. They all use some kind of vinyl in them. You don't have to if you don't want to use vinyl, um, but they've all got been, been created with little vinyl pockets. And this one is your double zip pouch. And then this one is your detachable pouches. So they're two pouches um, that, uh, that just go together with well, some get, of those. Hang on, to get all three of these, twenty nine ninety seven. That's not Some, to be sneezed no. at, is it? There's a step-by-step -step online video here as well. There is. Is it you? It is me. Oh, is it you? It is me, yeah. <laughs> Tune in just for a laugh. Oh, thanks, John. <laughs> Detachable pouches. Oh, I had some mini eggs in the in the car for you, but I think they're coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Double zip. I can't I keep forgetting to see some this weekend. And your storage roll, all three of those for nineteen ninety eight. Very popular. I'm not surprised at that price. Absolutely brilliant. Nineteen ninety eight. Now these are the uh, these are your um, templates. The plastic templates, they're not so, dyes, they're plastic, like, they were, like we showed you with the bag earlier and yeah. everything like that. And again, as always, you can make and sell, so making a whole se selection of these in different fabrics and selling them at Craft Fab, and that's what I would be doing. Yeah, tells you what you need, what fabric you need. Vinyl bundle and um, zip on, we haven't got zips on a roll today, but when, when the zips are on a roll or around, you should get some of those. Okay, now I've got this bundle. So in here we've got a bundle of three different bags. Um, so the first one we've got is your drawstring crossover bag. Then we have your drawstring shoulder bag. And then finally your drawstring backpack. What, what, there's a theme going on there. There is. Now they're all drawstrings. They're all drawstrings. Have you noticed that? So in order to do the drawstrings, you need to have some eyelets. So we've given you a set of eyelets with an eyelet tool as well. Okay. Hang on. So you get two of these for free. Hang on, Threaders, I told Collection, Template. With two, two of those you get for free. Go on then. You see, how much would you pay for that on its own? More than 39 98 that's yeah. for sure. So yeah. in there, I mean, we're not going to demo, but you get the tool and then you get... Oh, I can't get it off so, without ripping. Oh, I think someone's already had this one open up. We're all right. So in there you get a selection of different eyelets. Um, so in the copper colour, in the silver and in the, um, in the bronze. Yeah, 
Prawns. Yeah, got prawns. Prawns and copper, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and you're also going to get um, all of the, um, the the actual tool to make it, and all the other little bits nice. that go onto the tool in order for you to secure the. And island. the little screwdriver. Yep. Yeah. Everything's in there, and handy to have it in that little box as well. Oh yeah, exactly. Because really then when you yeah, exactly. Uh, so there's that, and your three patterns, all for thirty nine ninety eight. I'm thinking you should get things ready for Christmas now. Yeah, well, it's going to come round too early, quickly, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah, never too early to put things in the Christmas drawer. Well, I think those make it kits are ideal as a Christmas present for somebody that um, you know is learning how to sew or trying to get into sewing. Yeah, um, they're absolutely ideal. Right, this is the most gorgeous bag. Plus, you get. Oh, it's upside down. Your, uh, we, I, don't, uh, I don't know what we call it. Fabric cutter. Fabric cutter. Fabric cutter, right? So, oh, hang on, there's a mat as well. There's a mat with this as well. Which one is it? Yeah, which, what size? What size is the, free, is the, the mat? Yeah, that one's a big folder. Yeah, I've got the massive one. There you go. So, you get the mat, the, what's this Fabric called? cutter. Fabric cutter and the bag, but you're getting the bag and the cutting mat for free. It's on split pay, but watch. So, you're only going to pay for the ruler. No. Fabric cutter. Fabric cutter. <laughs> In fact, I think it's 59.99, isn't it, normally? So, you're getting 2p off that as well. Anyway, you get all three of those for your 59.97. Uh, without doing a full-on demo, could you just explain what this does? Yeah, basically, it's like a rotary cutter, but it all sort of secures. So the idea is you've got a, a, a little rotary cutter blade in here. Um, it's only when you press it down that the blade will actually engage with the fabric. So you can cut through four layers of fabric, no problem. Now, if you, are, um, you find it quite difficult to stand up and you find keeping a ruler in place is quite difficult, this is really great because you can actually put a lot of weight on here and then just move the um, little handle back and forth and you can cut towards you or away from you um, you've got all of these grid lines on here to show you um, if you're going to be cutting at different angles you can use those but it is a really really useful item to have um, it is ideal if you're going to be cutting strips of fabric from a whole bolt you just fold the fabric in into four and just do this and you can cut Half inch strips, no problem at all. Uh, look at the split pegs, two way split pegs, 28 pounds something, isn't it? 29 pounds something? Yeah. 29.98. 29.98 on split pay. You get all three of those. The proportion's obviously a little bit wrong on those pictures. <laughs> um, so you get the fabric cutter, you get the cutting mat, and you get that gorgeous big bag. And they all fit inside that bag. Yes. Do they? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we fold that There we up. go. She's going to show us now. And the bag has got, not only do you have like a zip pocket at the front, but inside the bag you've got extra little pockets here. It's big enough for a weekend bag, It is really big. There you go. Just pop that in, then you can zip that around. So great for going for any of your craft, you know, retreats and things like that. Yeah. Keep everything nice and flat. Well, even, not even a retreat, if you go into an afternoon class you yeah. could fit everything in one bag yeah. couldn't you yep really useful 59.97 59 now i've got to open it again because i need the cutting mat back out of there so that's that bundle that's that bundle but we've also got this bundle let me move that out the way oh actually it's that isn't it so i can put it there that and that a1 and a2 cutting mat both foldable awayable uh, it should be 79.98 it's about 50 quid, this, isn't it? £49.99. For two. For two cutting mats. The big A1 and the slightly smaller A2. So if you don't have a rotating cutting mat, I just use two on top of each other. Oh, do you? Yeah. Because mm. some, no, sometimes I can't get to it or I haven't got it to hand. And so I just use that to just, just swizzle, swizzle around, but I use that main one there. It makes it Beautiful. Nice. I'm not going to show you the steel. The picture's completely wrong. Anyway, 49 99 for the two of those. Right. I think we've covered everything, but we could go back to the Gemini bundle because I think that's brilliant today. Right, you keep that there. Put that back there. 
There we go. Then then plug that in there, sorry. Oh yes, yes. Is that here? Oh yeah, I've got I've got only got the And and John, whatever you've got in your pocket will be really good for that light box as well. I've got nothing in my pocket, what are you saying? All uh, right, hang on. Is it meant to be in here? It's not oh it's supposed to be in here, isn't it? So, in the box here, with this, you get all of these goodies. You get the turntable, the metal, the fa just the fabric cutting plates alone are brilliant. You get extra white uh, plates, you get the uh, bay leaf uh, builder block, and you get the two, uh, the doll and the doll's clothes. Oh, I don't want this one in where it's got... Well, it has now, because it's been in your pocket. That's not, that's not, that's not an imprint of my pocket. Is it not? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like lots of coins. A queen? Coins. There's no coins in my pocket. Right, tell me about this machine then. So this, this, is, machine, the <laughs> this is the Gemini 2. You've seen us use it before. This is a perfect machine for cutting, or doing all your cutting needs. I mean, it can't cut a pattern for a dress, but you can cut lots of different shapes for patchwork, um, for embellishing things, um, also for paper craft as well. So it's a really, really cool idea. Now, it will, if you've seen Sarah's show, she's actually cut through. Um, uh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm just keeping it there because it's not room on the table. So it's all, you can also cut through a tin can. So if you had a, a drinks can and you wanted to run it through the machine... And Why would you want to do that? And um, make it into stars for decorating at Christmas. A bit sharp on the edges. Well, I mean, you know, you don't have to yeah, touch them. A, a, you know, like a, a, a fizzy drink Yeah, a fizzy can, drink yeah. can. Um, and, and you can also put it through an embossing folder so mm. you can create shapes. You could use cut leather, so you could cut upholstery leather with the, this machine as well. It is a real workhorse. Now, it has been refined, so it's different to the original machine in that it's a sleeker design. It is quicker and it's also quieter. It has the same amount of pressure, but it does have some different refinements in it. So it has an optical sensor all the way across, whereas before you had to, it had to engage, it had two, two sensors here. It has an optical sensor all the way across. It has your little um, sort of shelves also double up as chocolate storage or um, no, craft item storage, if that's what you want to do. You've got a media stand at the top here, so you can pop your, um, your tablet or your phone. Um, perhaps you're going to be doing a video or you're watching a video, you can do it like that. And then as we turn it round, you will see at the back, you've got a three oh. US... There you go. <laughs> three USB um, sockets. So you can plug in your lighting, you can plug in your charger for your phone. Um, or you can plug in your light pad. Absolutely, you can plug in your light Now, I've got, not got the real thing. I've only got a cardboard box here. Have you not? Where's, Where's your... You've got the real thing. I haven't got it. Oh, it's under here. That's not there anymore. Oh, it's in there. Cat's been packing away. So you can plug it into the back of your Gemini. It was a light... Uh, we call we it light box. We call it light pad, pad. Light pad. For four, fourteen ninety nine, that can't be right. John, what's in your pocket? That's in my pocket. No, that's not in your pocket because that little bag you can pop this into as well, so it fits in there. So again, if you don't. Oh, you saying I can have that as well? No, oh. no. Oh my goodness, he's so needy today. Um, but if I take all the packaging out of it, you just fits inside um, that little neoprene box, a little bone bag. But um, like, like I say, John, it's quite useful to keep it in the box. But if you were going out, you were going to be, <laughs> you're going to be taking that big bag that we've just shown you, um, and you wanted to put everything inside that, you can absolutely do that with a light pad. But yeah, you're right. It will just plug in at the back um, here, so you can um, power it from your Gemini machine without worrying about all those ca cables going underneath. Have you finished? Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, when are you back? Um, Actually, not... I could give you that back next time you're in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not back till the 23rd of April. Why not? Um, because there's a takeover happening on the 9th. Oh, I don't uh, know if we're supposed to tell that. Well, well, it's too late now. What do you mean there's a takeover? Well, I think there's going to be... Um, I think Sarah's coming in on the 9th. That's news to me. Mm. Am I in on the 9th? Oh, okay. is, is it not Sarah? No, well, no, no. don't know. Uh, I'm not in on the 9th now, but I'll be in on the 23rd. Oh, I, maybe I will be in, I don't know. I don't think I have. Okay, we'll so we'll see. just look to the master Two schedule weeks. and let's say, <laughs> and am I in that day? Oh, no, I'm not in that day. No, I'm, no, I'm not in that day. What are you doing then? No, I'm not in that day. Why? Because I'll be too busy packing away my pink neoprene bag. Uh, <laughs> right, say goodbye. 
Thank you. Bye. And I'll see you in four minutes when Jules is back with a pair of trousers called Nell. We will see you in four minutes from now. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one p and with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street.
as Becky Swan left the building. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> right, Jules is back. Did you get lots of work done in your break? I did, actually. Good. Yes, thank did you. Did chat? There's nobody in there today. It's normally full of people by now. No, I know, yeah. Nobody come in. I was all on my Todd. Oh, do I hobby maker out today then? Ooh. Right, who's Nell? Nell. I haven't actually remembered, but. <laughs> That's three times I've asked. You now. <laughs> no, I know. I know. If I, I, yeah, I could. Okay, if you're at home, is, yes. who is Nell in Shakespeare? I'm pretty sure it's the nursemaid from Romeo and Juliet. Nurse. Nurse. She's just a nursemaid. Nurse. Nurse. Nursey nurse. Nursey nurse. Oh. No, no, it's a Shakespeare character. It's a Shakespeare character. Because all of Jules is uh, so. Is this one that's been sitting on a on a sitting on a shelf waiting to be released then? Because I thought we'd run out of them. Um... No, this one is a, is, an, is an older one. Uh, but re but re we've re done it so that it's got the two size ranges. Of course, now. yeah. So yes. Brilliant. Right. Okay. So these are the nail trousers. Right. Just explain to me again. They're secret what pajamas? We call them secret pajamas. Right. Because they're so comfortable. Right. And you can kind of make them in anything. Right. But they've got a half elasticated waist so it looks flat and you know nice and neat from the front yeah but then you've got that little bit of so you could wear them as business trousers as well oh gosh yeah, they yeah. Make, i've got a pair in uh, wool suiting and they look really oh nice. wow yeah they're great actually so because they're comfortable they're they've comfortable. got like a jean pocket on the front yes or has that got a posh name that pocket on the front which is quite a cutaway pocket cutaway pocket right yeah and then you've got patch pockets on the back but you could put a welt pocket or a jet pocket or something like that if you wanted them to be a bit smarter. Gorgeous. And they've got turn-ups. OK, so now wear on an average size... You're not wearing them, do you? Wear on an average size woman would that come to? Can I extend it if I'm taller? Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. There's length and shorten lines on here. But they basically just kind of skim your ankle. Yeah, because I'm just thinking, if you're a businesswoman, you might not want the turn-ups. You might yeah. want it to be that really neat side kind of um, cigarette yeah. pant finish yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, right exactly, there. exactly, yeah. But I, I love them. I think they're great. Beautiful. Right. So we've got it in two sizes again. We've got the Mrs. size, which is your 8 to 20. That's a funny place to have a picture taken in the corner of a brickyard. It was outside a really lovely house, actually. Ooh, maybe you should have left a bit more of the house. I know. We just cropped it in yeah. a bit. <laughs> I, there's, a, there's a house like this as you drive into Stratford from my way on that Shipston Road that comes through. And they've kind of, it was an old Victorian, really little, and they've built a little bit here and a little bit here. And there's lots of little corners like that. And it looks, I bet it's lovely inside. It'd be yeah. lovely and roomy. But outside, it all looks a bit like, oh, that bit was added, then that bit was added, then that bit was added. Anyway, I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, H20, nail trousers on the back here. You've got your body measurements. You don't need your bust, obviously, for these. Just your waist yeah. and your hips. Um, how much fabric you need, how much elastic you need, and the finished garment size. Now, it's saying both versions. What does that mean? Does it mean the two different sizes? You can do it with or without turn-ups. Oh, OK. With, oh, OK. With or without turn-ups. OK, brilliant. Lovely. So that's that one there. It's actually 8 to 20. That's your 8. Oof. Loads of those in baskets. Make sure you check out. Check out, check out, check out. Everyone's going to love these. Kate from Merseyside is going to adore these. OK, so that's that size. Then we've got the... Uh, 18 to 30 size. There you go. Again, confident sewer. Everything you need to know. I'll just open the string and washer envelope here. So, again, you've got all your pattern pieces in there. And you've got your um, instructions manual. Look at this old little bit of prep there before you start. Uh, do read this before you do start. But look, not difficult at all. You see, you do trousers the same way as me. I make one leg and the other leg and put one inside the other. Where some people do that... Well... Oh. You can do it both ways. Can you? Yeah. But you've done it my way on here. Are you going to do it the other way today? <laughs> Just to be awkward. Somebody didn't sit and read the pattern before she came <laughs> in this morning. But look, you've even got a pattern layout and everything like that. How to put it on the fabric. Uh, it's brilliant. £24. Really, really, really lovely. Is there a video of these yet? Uh, do you know what? I actually can't remember. I think there is, yes. Okay. Go to Jules's website, join up her, her what's it called, sewing yeah. club. Sewing studio. Sewing studio. 
And uh, you'll be able to see. And don't forget, she's got a craft thingy this Sunday. Is it all weekend or just Sunday? Uh, we've got it on uh, Friday and Saturday. Oh, we're I, I think it was a Sunday. Well, normally it would be a Sunday, but Easter Sunday is this Sunday. Yeah. And we're actually closed. Well, Friday's Good Friday. Yeah. I mean... We're gonna, well, we're closed for, on Sunday. Isn't it funny? I was just saying to them all, like, shop yeah. shut on a Sunday. It's like Christmas Day. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. bigger. No, because more shops open on Christmas Day than they are on Easter Sunday, aren't they? Because yeah. you can actually go to one of the little supermarkets on a... Anyway, I was telling them when I went to London, when I lived in London, we all decided to go out clubbing one night, all got ready, had pre drinks at the house and everything, got to the centre of London, went, got to the nightclub, and they went, We well, can come in, but only for 15 minutes. We were like, It's only quarter to 12. We went, Yeah, it's Easter Sunday tomorrow. We shut at 12. Came out, a whole of Soho just shut. At 12 o'clock, like that, it was like... Oh, my gosh, yeah. We had to go all the way back home to Twickenham and just party in the garden. <laughs> anyway, that's the curvy size, 18 to 30. Now, what fabric can I make these in? You just said anything at all. They would make up in pretty much anything. We've had people make them in viscose for yeah. really nice light trousers for holidays and stuff. Um, we've got uh, making them in Raimi. Um, you could make them in 100% linen. You can make them in denim, in chambray, in cotton drill. Twill, 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 yeah, twill, 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 yeah. Right, good, because I've got some no. twill here for you today. Oh, drill, drill, hang on. Oh, no, it is drill, it is drill, it's my, my mistake, my mistake, it is drill. Uh, these are three metre bundles, this is the silver. Oh, not even silver, light grey. You see, now, if I did these, I'd have to, I would have to um, top stitch in a contrast colour. Yes, that would look I right. think, like, on my pockets and on my waistband and all that sort of thing. Uh, you tell me that. Uh, no, it's 100% cotton. It's 100% cotton. So what it is, is you get cotton. It's, it's heavier than quilting weight fabric, but it's not as heavy as canvas, is it? So yeah. you've got twill and you've got drill. This is, it's really, really lovely. It almost like, do you remember cavalry twills? You won't remember, you're too, you're too young. Uh, my dad used to have cavalry twills sort of thing. It's made of that kind of, like a gabardini fabric almost, isn't it? I don't know what they, what, how would you describe cotton twill? Drill, is this twill or drill? Drill, drill. Cotton drill. It's almost like a, a non-denim denim. denim <laughs> yeah, that's a really I mean. good way of saying it, yeah. A non-denim denim. Right, OK, so that's your uh, grey. And then we've got the pink. Oh, no, no, that's not cotton drill. That, ooh, I say. This is like a chambre, this one. Chambre, there you go. Oh, I love this one. So this is done... Like a denim, I think. I think you've got pink going one way and white going the other. Oh, oh, now these would be gorgeous. So this would be a lighter weight, obviously a lighter weight trouser. So it's got a coloured warp and a white weft. It's got what? Coloured warp and a white weft. Yes. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Now, but they're lightweight. They're very, that's a very lightweight summer weight yeah. trouser, that they're not. One. They're not overly fitted, so no. actually a lighter weight fabric would work really well. Yeah. Would I need to line it or just watch what knickers no, no, are wearing? No, no, Just, yeah. Yeah. Flesh Don't wear your stripy knickers under that one. Yeah. Now, I'm sure, oh, I have got another twill here in the, um, in the navy. You can sail the seven seas. Oh. Now, this is, this is almost black. Now, it's called navy. You see, I'd, go, I'd say midnight. I'd say yeah. that was a midnight bl bluey black, that one. Look at the price, though, 22 99 That's a good price. For cotton-dyed drill navy fabric bundle, three metres. Oh, that's nice, that one. That's lovely. Make a gore. These would make, so far, all of these would be lovely. Mistress Nell Quickly is the character who appears in that several is. plays by Shakespeare. She's an innkeeper who were, uh, run, uh, runs the Boar's Head Tavern. That's it. She had a few runs in with Falstaff, didn't she? Yes. Yes. And a Now I remember. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Right. Now, now, this is where I think our, our system goes a bit wrong. The fabric is gorgeous, and I think you can make lovely trousers out of it. But uh, Jules would have said to the buying team upstairs, want linen, right? This will make the most gorgeous pair of trousers, but it's not linen, it's craft cotton, right? But the colour is linen. So it's William Morris Larkspur in linen colour, right? It's not linen at all, but I think they'd be really nice. They would nice. look really nice, actually. If you're a little yeah. bit more out there, obviously not for the shrinking violet, but if you're more, a little bit more out there, that would be beautiful. In fact, any of our William Morris fabric would be fab fantastic. 
This is lovely, isn't it? $34.99. Beautiful. Then I've got some, a couple of denims here. I've got the light denim. Now, it's not light, is, light is the colour, not the weight of it. We're going to call this four-ounce denim on the thing. I know we are. Let's just have a look. Oh, eight ounce. It's definitely not eight ounce. It's lovely. It's very soft and drapey. Mm -hmm. I've got the indigo denim coming up in a minute, yeah. This, so it's the light. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the code LJL. Oh, I've got, different, uh, I've got a different fabric. My fabric says LJLJ83. Oh, my code's for the individual, is it? Well, just double check. I think this is the medium. We always call it what it isn't. We're just checking now before we say the wrong thing. Yep. So it's the right graphics, the right graphics. Right, then we've also got that in the in dark blue, like the indigo, which I love. See, I top, that, top stitch that in the, like, the um, rusty, oh, I haven't got jeans on today, the rusty orange. That yes, jeans are, that would be really nice. Yeah, it'd be beautiful. Oh, they, because sometimes it comes folded like this. The picture on the website's the wrong side. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. Beautiful. Now, I've also got this linen blend, or linen, but I don't... Let me see. Oh, no, 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 it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I thought it was going to be too heavy. It'll be fine. Yeah. OK, uh, you're only getting three metres in it. You're only being charged for three metres, I'm taking that. You're only being charged for three metres. It's just the, whoever's written it in has written it in the wrong... Again, they're going to be, oh, they're going to feel lovely on because it's a kind of, even though it's a sturdy fabric, it's drapeable and it's like not going to be too, and also because you've got no gathers at the front, all your gathers are at the back. I wouldn't gather that on the front, but you're not, you're not going to do that on this. $34.99. And then last but not least, you need some lovely wide elastic. Oh, now I'll tell you what else I'm going to do in a second. Wide elastic here. Don't worry, we've got Mr. Shifter and Sons doing the, see, not even Jimmy either. Now, it's... I've got a very tiny piece of elastic here. Let me see. It must come by the half metre, does it? Now, we had this on yesterday. OK, well, while we're finding it, it's disappeared off the schedule. While we're finding it, we'll come back to that. But you will need a wide elastic like that, won't you? Yes. And it only goes round. Only goes round. Oh, so they're sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Right, OK, now what I'm going to do very, very quickly is we've been through our warehouse and we've just got a few of each of Jules's patterns left, so I'm just going to run through them very quickly if you missed some in the past. Um, OK, so let me do... Oh, I think this is the first thing you ever made with me on, on telly. Oh, was it? it? The Reagan. That, so that's one of what's-his-name, King Lear's daughters. King Lear's daughters, yeah. And we made it on an overlocker. In, yeah. And we, I can tell you what we made it in. It was like a grey jersey with a pink stripe running through it. Oh. And on the other side, it was a bit fluffy. And on that side, it was... A... Anyway, £24. So that's your Reagan. That goes from sizes 8 to 22. Yep. Then we've got the E... Oh, this is gorgeous, this one. The ED coat. Now, have I got the ED coat in two sizes? Let me just check. Yeah, I have. So I've got the ED coat in the 6 to 20. That was really popular at the shows, actually. Yeah. I'm not surprised. It's gorgeous. Mm. Oh, and you didn't do buttonholes. You did poppers. Yeah. Beautiful. And then we've got the ED coat in the curvy. What have you made that one out of? Boiled wool. Boiled wool, wool yeah. yeah. Uh, we did have a lady who came up to us at uh, one of the shows and she had made it in scuba. What? It looked really nice. Oh, she was wearing it? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's amazing, isn't it, what you can do with all these different fabrics? <laughs> right, so then I've got Bianca. Oh. Which is also one of the very first ones we did we, together. Yeah. Uh, it's got the love. This is, you'd make this out of boiled wool. Oh, there's the posh house. Yeah. But you just cut it off like that on yours. So this is extra, extra small to extra, extra large. Laurie will recognise this one because she made this one at a class at Jules's old place oh, in the old yeah. farm, didn't she? On, on her birthday, actually. Yes. 
Was it not around now? Was it around now? Was it your birthday around now, Laurie? Right, I don't think I've got that one in a different size. Okay. Oh, here's the red dress I was talking about a minute ago. Amelia, this is the red, this is gorgeous, this dress. I love that. It's got that, fun, that little Complete, yeah. detail at the front, doesn't it? Amelia, I've only got Amelia in one size, H26. Oh, it is only one size, H26. Where's that big door then? That was at our old place. That was around the corner. What, your house? No, no, no. I was going to say, don't I remember wish, a big garage door like that. No, the old, uh, old studio. The one in the farm near my house? Yeah. Yep. Right, then we've got Ada. I know I've got this in two different sizes. Hannah Osborne. <laughs> Hannah works there, doesn't she? Hannah yeah, works, she does, you? yeah. Oh, well, you have to go and see Hannah. She works with Jules now in Jules' place. Six to 20. She wouldn't be interviewed, though, for my channel, would she? We're working on her. She said she was too shy. Yeah. 20 to 34 is the curvy one. Oh, they're all going on about how brilliant she is in there now. She is. She's lovely. I, um, so I bumped into her in... There's a nice place we can go for breakfast where they've got sheep and pigs running around outside. No, not Beckett's Farm. Much posher than Beckett's Farm. The, um, the farm. Was it the farm? In um, Snitterfield. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I bumped into Shane and her family were having Sunday breakfast there when I went there with her. I think it was no. with Dulcie. Right, then we've got Paulina in the 6 to 20. We did this recently, didn't we? I remember that thing sticking down at the back. Yeah, I think we did, actually. Yeah. And then last but not least, the Juno. Which one have you got? Because that comes in two. Oh, Juno, twenty. Oh, oh, Juno, curvy. Juno only got Juno and curvy. Oh, it doesn't mention it in the graphics. Look, show me something Juno dress sewing pattern. No, this is new because it's the new. Um, it's the new sizing. Right. I'm, I was only going to whiz through those. So we're going to make the trousers. What bit are you going to show us on the trousers? Now? Pockets is. Pockets, lovely. Yes. Off you go then. Those are really important pockets. Um, they are a feminist issue, apparently. The what? Pockets are a feminist issue. Yes. What have I done with my pocket? There we go. Oh. Pfft. Now, she says, finding it. There we go. So, on the back of the trousers, you've got the little patch pockets. Now, you could put them, you could put them on the front as well if you wanted to, kind of a bit lower down. Um, so, I have just stitched one on to the back here. Now, the markings are all on the back of the pattern piece so that you'll know exactly where to place your pocket it's a very simple one it's just literally turned over at the top but instead of being square at the bottom we've given it a little point just to make it look a little bit more interesting so on my actual pocket piece yeah you can see that it's slightly shaped so the top part which acts as the facing actually kind of tips so from that point it kind of tips in Right. And you'll know exactly oh, where yes, to exactly. fold it over. So I've just neatened across that top edge. Now, that's because I've got an overlocker and I'm quite happy to use that. But you, if you didn't have an overlocker, you could then just tuck under the top and just do a little hem yeah. and keep that nice and neat at the top edge there. Lovely. So all I've done at the moment is just press that in place so I can turn it over and then top stitch a down just to hold that facing part Lovely. in place. So I'm going to do that on here right now. Um, Julie Vaughan says, I've got so many of Jules's patterns, they've got their own file system. Oh, Ooh, love very it. Very nice. Love it. Thank uh, you. Sally, who messaged in first thing this morning, saying she'd never seen us before. She's watching Hobby Maker and we just came on and she loves it. She says, I'm still here. I'm actually thinking about having a go at sewing now. You're pure entertainment on this channel. No, Sally... We're educational as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll get into, I'll get into trouble if I go upstairs and go, pure entertainment. Well, you have to be both, don't you? Yes, exactly. There we go. So I've stitched across that top edge there, kept that nice and neat. So what we need to do now is to press it. Now it's stopped pulsing at me. So That's fine. It should that be hot. That should be enough. okay. No, it's not too hot now. There, so... What we want to do is to fold in the sides. Let me just take that thread off. Now, if you want to, you can make a little kind of jig shape, a little cardboard template. Oh, right, OK. Not a... A jig to me is a dance. A little dance. Yeah. No, we're doing a, a, a jig template. 
So I want to just fold that in by a centimetre. Now let's see if I can... Oh, it does go. It does steam. Yeah. It's only a little diddy one, but it's... Oh, that's good. Now it's got a nice power for you, and you can do it vertically. We haven't got it on the show today. It's on tomorrow, I think, with Vix, actually. Nice. So again, Isn't it, Ben? Oh, that's got some poke, hasn't it? Nice. So I've done the long side parts first. Yeah. And then I'm going to do one of the bottom edges and fold that in. You know, it's got a light every time you press as well, the light comes on. I know it does, doesn't it? That's really cool. So you can press in the dark. Yes. When I launched it, I had um, producer Rachel on with me, who normally doesn't work here. She works at Gems. And she, and she kept saying, oh, be ever so good because you still do your ironing in a power cut. And we were like, no, Rachel, it's still got to be plugged in. <laughs> she, couldn't quite, she couldn't quite get the concept of, like, all the lights have gone off, but I can still keep ironing. Oh, dear. Uh, Vix has got it tomorrow, but they've got limited stock now. Limited stock. Cool. So what I'm doing, in order to make it symmetrical, I've literally folded it in yeah. half. So I've got that middle point there. And then because I press one side in, I know where to press the other side. So when I open that out, I can fold it to meet the pins. Yeah. There we are. So the pocket will be symmetrical. That's good. Yeah, she has a good eye as well. Look at that I way know. that fabric's just going. Yeah, it's there. just gone straight nice and flat like that. It's beautiful. So now I can just tuck that all in there and then we can just give it a nice little press from the right side. So that's, that's beautifully pressed now. That's lovely. So what we can do is position that and remove that over there. Now I've already stitched my trousers together on yeah. the back. So you've done yours differently now to the pattern? Yes. Now, I tend to do it that way so that I don't end up with two left legs. Do you know what I mean? Or if I'm putting the pockets on, yeah. uh, particularly with a fabric like this, that there's no wrong side, yeah. if I know I've done the oh, back first, yeah, yeah. then I know I'm going to get yeah. two pockets rather than putting two pockets on one the wrong way around kind of thing. Now, I've got marks on here, but you might not be able to see them because I've done them in chalk so I can position my pocket there and I'm just going to pin it in place just to hold it there we are and now we can top stitch it in place so I'm going to pop that on here now what I want to do because if you're like me, I just put my phone in my back pocket. All oh, the gosh, time. yeah. So what we need to do is to strengthen that kind of top corner there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that by sewing a little box on that top section. So where we've got the stitching coming across here for the f to hold the facing down, I'm going to sew a little kind of rectangle just in oh, the okay. corner. So it kind of makes it a little bit of a feature as yeah. well but I literally want to do it right on the edge of the fabric. So I'm going to start halfway down that side and then make sure, now depending on your stitch length, you may or may not get it in exactly the right place. Yeah. So you can hand wheel it round. I'm then going to do one, two, three stitches across and then pivot it round so we can come up on the inside but I also want to make sure that I'm not going to see any of the little bit of the seam allowance on yeah. the side there so I'm just going to tuck that underneath so that as we're stitching up it's going to get caught. Would it be too bulky if you bagged because you know if you don't want to see those raw edges if you bagged your pocket out with something? You can do it that way. And then when you stitch down, you know there's no raw edges or anything. Yeah, yeah, you can absolutely do Even it. Even if you've way. got a cotton lawn inside it, rather than the fabric itself, you could do a fine yeah. cotton lawn or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be really nice. There we go. So now we've kind of done that square, that rectangle shape. 
So I'm going to come back down and now I can carry on going around the rest of the pocket. So just making sure I keep right on the edge. And then again, if you want to make sure you're in the right place, you can hand wheel it and then lift up the needle in the right place. Mm -hmm. So again, all I'm going to do is just pivot. Uh, when you're all checked out, there's only six left of these. Only six oh, in the missy size, the six two twenty size. There we are. This we sold out of these at the show. Mm, yes. Actually. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's really interesting to find out which are the popular ones. Yes. You but also, you can never tell, can you? Because some you never days can. No. they want you know people want something aren't the same. You know what I mean? But some days you just. then I, as we get up, I'm just going to tuck that little bit underneath there as well so we don't get that caught. And push that back a little bit so we're in exactly the right place. Do my three stitches across again. Then we can come back down the other side. So I'm going to hand wheel that again, just to make sure we get it in exactly the right place. And then if we bring it back up again, we're just uh -huh. reinforcing that side as well. There we go. Oops. Oh. There we are. Oh, hello. There. So we've got that pocket stitched in place there. Fabulous. Nice. And you've got that reinforced area. Yeah, which can really on important. That top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So those are your back pockets. Uh huh. Those are done. And now what we want to do is the cutaway pocket. Right. So. This is all explained as well. In oh, the, um, everything in the, um, is gone through step by step. Yeah. So it's really easy. So the cutaway pocket is made up of two parts. Uh -huh. So you've got the pocket back, which is the bit that you see. Yeah. And then you've got the pocket kind of facing, which is the bit inside. But what we want to do is because this is cut on the bias now, we will need to strengthen and support that. Otherwise, it's going to get stretched out of place. Okay. So in the pattern is included a pattern piece to cut your interface. Oh, yeah. We had some, we had some um, iron on interfacing. Aha. Uh -huh. Cat, have you got the iron that on interfacing? That was in the previous show, wasn't it? What weight have you put in there? It depends I've, on the fabric. I've it? just used H180, which is just a, lo a normal lightweight. Yeah, we've one. got the lightweight. Yeah. Um, if oh, you, that's a bit. There we go. The other thing that's really useful, and I don't know whether we've got any here, but is edge tape or form band. We've got form band on the website. So that's brilliant because that won't stretch out. So yeah. rather than using a stay stitch, because you run the risk of stretching as you're sewing the stay stitch, yeah. you can use these two products and they'll just iron on for you and they'll support so that you don't get, you know when you sit, you, sometimes you get pockets and yet they kind of bow a bit. That's not what we want. So using the interfacing and the mm -hmm. correct products to help support the fabric makes a massive difference. So once we've got that fixed, now we can start to assemble the pocket. So we have got the actual pocket facing or the pocket bag bit here. And all I'm going to do is pin those together and sew down with a 1.5 seam allowance. So again, just gonna line up my machine with that 15 mil line. Now I'm going to take my stitching. Well, when I sewed the pocket on, I used a slightly longer stitch length because it was a top stitch. Right. But now I'm going back to a normal stitch length 
because we're just sewing. And what do you fashion. class as a normal stitch then? Up to 2.8. Oh, that, oh, that's big. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I only go to 2.4 because that's my default on my machine. That's yeah. Most of the time, the default is it's, it's fine for quilting. Yeah. But if you're tr you try unpicking that and it's just like... I don't yeah. unpick that often. Mm, get you, <laughs> get you. <laughs> unpicking is good for the soul, John. Yes, I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> there. So, now, before I've even pressed it... What I need to do next is to understitch it. Yeah. So rather than trying to press and get it in the right place, you run the risk of getting a little pleat in your fabric. Right. Before. So what I like to do is to actually just hold the two fabrics apart and then sew the understitching. So we've got the seam allowance now is going underneath. So the seam allowance gets push towards the pocket yeah. and that sits over the seam allowance so we can line that up and it just needs to be again very very close to the edge literally a kind of a, a millimeter away from yeah. that seam. But we're not going to see that are we? You're not no no you if, so if it goes a bit wibbly it's absolutely fine <laughs> and, and then all I want to do is just pull that apart and just let that run through. I'm not going to bother to reverse stitch because it's not constructional, really. There we go. So, Shh. <laughs> what's it my grandma used to say? Quiet and the one of nines. <laughs> oh, it's been like all day today. They've all been as noisy as anything today. <laughs> so now what we can do is press it. Now we've done the understitching, yeah. we can get that pressed into place because what the understitching does is hold it under. So we're not going to see that pocket. So you could use a contrast fabric if you wanted to. Yeah. That's where some of them came unstuck on the sewing bee, wasn't it? They'd all, uh, not this year, but the last one I saw, they'd all put contrast pockets in and didn't understitch it. So they all Ooh. slightly rolled back. There we go. It's due to start again soon. Is it? it? Apparently. Oh. I, I don't watch it. I, I don't watch it anymore now. It makes me shout at the telly. Mm -hmm. But it's got nothing to do with sewing anymore, has it, really? They don't even finish off the garments inside. Yeah. It's a real shame. But there we go. So we've steamed that now. So that's sitting nice and beautifully. So if you want to top stitch, what we can do now is flip that over. And that's going to be nice and flat, ready to top stitch, which I'm going to do quickly so it matches the other one. Lovely. So again, with your top stitch, you can... You can actually position your foot to give you a guide. So you don't have to do it by eye, but you could sort of like, so you, you can use the edge of your foot. Oops, if I lift that up. So you could use the edge of your foot like that. So the edge of the foot runs along the edge of the fabric uh -huh. and then just swing your needle into position. So that's a really cool way of doing it so that it helps you keep everything nice and level. So I'm gonna take my stitch length up again now because we're doing top stitching. There we are. So that's nice and flat. And because we've used the interfacing and the edge tape, that uh -huh. keeps it nice and flat. But I'm going to give it a quick press anyway because that helps to set all the stitches yeah there we go so from the back uh, the missus size uh, way too many people got the missus size in their baskets check out check out check out if you want it that's good mm -hmm. so what we can do now is put the back of the pocket on so we've got this is the wrong side of the trousers now so you can see we've got the pocket bag here so we're going to put the other part of the pocket yes yeah, so this top. is a completely different shape now because this is what would make up the trouser if it was had no pocket on it the shape of the exactly yeah. so this is continuing the waistline yeah yeah so we can match that up there and we can match that up with 
that edge at the bottom there. And there will be a notch on the waistline so that you know where the pocket is going to come to. Now, what you'll notice is on here, we've got the notch, yeah. but actually on the stitching line is the dot. Right. So actually, when you match that up on the stitching line, the pocket edge will sit where the dot is on your pattern markings. Right. So you know it's in the right place. So then we can match up the rest of the pocket bag. just to make sure all of those edges are nice and level. Mm -hmm. And then we can take it back onto the machine and get it stitched. So all I'm going to do is if I flip that back out now, yeah. then you can see where we're going to stitch. Hang on, let's just up there again, brilliant. There we go. Lovely. So you can see where we're going to stitch around the edge. Now, I'm going to take it back down to my normal stitch length again. And then to turn the corners, we're just going to pivot. That was all stitched with a 1.5 seam allowance. Right. So now what we need to do is to neaten that off. So I'm going to swap my machine Oh, can you manage? Over. I can come and help. That's OK. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll stay so. here then. Know my place. <laughs> <laughs> if I can get the, the leads undone. There we go. That's better. I'm going to pop that one over there and lift this one out. Gorgeous air threader, Elner air threader. Oh, I've got no lead. <laughs> Cat! <laughs> so maybe I won't. No. That's OK. So we've, we've got, got... the lead for the overlocker. Did you have it outside? Oh, I thought there was going to be one in here. Sorry. Yeah. So all we're going to do now is overlock around or neaten around the edge of the pocket, and then you can get it all lined up again. So it's just going to sit where everything needs to. So you can keep it completely flat and everything will kind of sit there nice and neatly as well. Now, in order to hold it all in place, what we can do is a basting stitch. So a long stitch with um, just a normal sewing machine and that will go and just hold those edges in place so that when we're joining the rest of the trousers together, that's going to mean that we're not going to get any little kind of get the pocket bags caught and stuff like oh. that. On the Careful other side. the camera. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, no, it's not the camera. There we go. So that's both of your pockets. Okay, done. I'm just waiting for the overlock of thread lead. Oh, cat's stopping for a chat. Here we go, overlocker. It's the overlocker oh, that I've got. Thank uh, you. The air thread overlocker. Marvellous. Doesn't stay at that price. Um, the thing is, right. Nobody's told us anything about pricing at the moment, so we all just keep going, oh, I've hit the better price, I've hit the better price. Uh, uh, the air I've hit the better price, £1,059 on five waist split pay, £211. It's so easy to thread, and it's such a lovely overlocker. They are amazing. And then you buy this, and then you go to Jules's, and you have a lesson in how to use it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's our most popular workshop. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it's it? It's mad, isn't it? There we go. People, right. people buy them and then message me going, oh, it's still in its box in the hall. Do you know Months what? Months later. Oh, I wish, if I had a pound for t the t every time I'd heard somebody say yeah. that, honestly, it's mad. You just have to use them. Mm. You just the latest thing them. is cover stitch. We've sold so many cover stitches yeah. and then people go, oh, oh it's I in the box. It's in the box. Can't open it. I know. I know. It's I'm the complete opposite. If I buy something, I want yeah. to deliver the next day and I want to be using it that afternoon. I know. I'm, yeah. I treated myself at the weekend to a Wacom pad. A pardon? Wacom pad, so I can do digital drawing. Oh, yes, 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 I'm yes. waiting for it to arrive. 
Will it be there when you get home today? No, it's not coming till tomorrow. Oh. Be in time for the weekend, though. I know. Might be able to play on Sunday, my day off. Your one day off. My one day off. Doing laundry and <laughs> chasing up children and things like that. No, exactly. That's the trouble. I had one day off. And everyone said, oh, how lovely. By the time I'd done all the bits I had to do, it was time to go to bed because I had to be, in, be up again by half past four the next day to be here. And he's like, oh, that was my day off. I've got tomorrow off. I've got to go and vote. Are you voting in your part of Stratford tomorrow? No, 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 no. no. It's the village referendum tomorrow. Oh, ooh. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, I say. No, we don't, no, we haven't got to vote anybody for anybody. Not yet, anyway. No, no, we've got the other one on the fourth. We've got one on the fourth. Of, uh, two, two polling cards arrived in the house on the same day. One was the referendum for tomorrow. Oh, and no. One, I'm sure he's at the beginning of... It's, 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 the, it's the county council, I think, that one. You know, the um, local elections, that's it. I don't think we've received anything like huh? that. Not received anything, really. Sorry? Do you not receive that? Is it, do we do no. it at the same time? No, maybe must, it's different. I don't know. We must be in the same borough, aren't we? Don't, I, no, I don't think we've had anything. I don't know. I'm waiting uh, for the big one, the general. Yeah, well, that's what Ben was just talking about, yeah. Um, oh, maybe you haven't got one then. I suppose it depends on the different districts or parishes or something. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what it is. I have to read my thing. Well, I always go along because I like the importance of it. And then I get there and I'm like, oh, now I've got to make a decision. And they have these <laughs> funny little cubicles that you stand in that everybody can see. In fact, in my village hall, you're only, you're only, only one person at a time. So not, that's not the rule. It's so small, my village. But they're open all day and all night, aren't they? That by the time you get there, there's only one person in there. Right, back to sewing machines. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh, you're all right. That's it. Plug it back in. There we go. Right, so we've done the finishing. So we've uh -huh. got both the pockets sorted. Lovely. So now what we can do is do the machine basting yeah. to hold with that in stitch. place with the big stitch. Yes. Um, how many are in baskets, did you say, Ben? Right, OK, seven people are going to miss out on the missus side of the nail trousers. The missus, which is the 8 to 20, there's a seven too many people got it in their baskets. There we go, and then we can do the side as well. So I'm doing my basting stitch inside the seam allowance, mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about taking it out again. So now we've got those two pockets there, and we've got everything all stitched in place. So your cut, it's fine. is it just a straight line, the cutaway pocket on your trouser. Yeah. Because when you see them hanging there... I know, they look curved. It looks like it's got a lovely curve on it, but yeah. it's just a straight line. No, it's because it's going round the body. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. No, they are completely straight. Because, yeah, oh, well, I keep looking because I haven't got jeans on today. The jean ones are, are definitely a, a shape, oh, aren't they? Yeah. You could make jeans the Western yeah. style pocket on here. That wouldn't be difficult at all, actually. It would just be a question of just redrawing that shape. Yes. And then, and, yeah. And just change it, but it's made it exactly the same way. The underneath bit would be the same shape, wouldn't it? The underneath bit that you've cut. That, that one. would be the same. And the only one you've got to yeah. change is the top one. Yeah, yeah, the top one and the... And the facing. facing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, inside. Brilliant. So the nice thing about doing it this way is by the time you've got to that point, you've literally got to do the outside yeah. and the inseam. Yeah. So, I mean, doing it your way where you put one inside the other is actually much easier for fitting. Yes. And that's what we get people to do when they come and do the Trouser Fit Masterclass. Yeah. But this is just a quick and easy way. So but it's, it's know, accessible because the pockets and everything like that, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can know, you kind of know which way round you yeah. are. So then it's just a question of putting the back to the front. Yeah. And then doing the, um, the outside leg seam and the inside leg seam and then putting on the waistband. Okay, we've got five or six minutes. Okay. Do you, you want, want to, to carry watch, on? Do you want to watch me sew? Yes, please. <laughs> That's fine. I'll go through, I'll recap the patterns because I need to <laughs> check out. Uh, right, the missus size, 8 to 20, which is the one that's in at the moment. How many left? Five not checked out. How many? 16 in baskets. Be careful, be careful, be careful, because that's all we've got. Make sure you check out. 
make sure you check out. That's the Missy size, which is your 8 to 20. We also have the 18 to 30 curvy size. And over half of this one's gone as well. Very popular. I think it's the word comfort. That's what ah. it is. It's comfort that makes well, it look. These are nice because you can wear them just with a little boxy T-shirt yeah. or you can have them with a big overshirt with, you know, like that little French tuck that people do. Yeah, that like <laughs> still do that. Or like that, with a white T-shirt. Yeah, with a T-shirt underneath it. Or actually, they look really nice with a longer line tunic over the top. Yeah, I can imagine. Because they're kind of slightly tapered. But I think they are your equivalent to your comfy jeans, aren't they? I've got a pair on my rail. If I'm not, you know, I just put my comfy... Always reach for my comfy jeans. Yes. It's the equivalent of those, isn't it? If you made yes. them in lots of different colours and lots of different fabrics, oh, you've, got your, you've got your whole capsule wardrobe sus sussed with your trousers, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. And then you could do some slightly shorter with the, with the cuff on the bottom, some slightly longer in a black crepe, imagine. Oh, imagine those nice. in a black crepe would be beautiful, wouldn't they? They would work. I wouldn't really put a well. cuff on the bottom. No. And I might even taper the legs in a little bit more yeah. just to get that little slight kind of cigarette pant look. Yeah, that would work really nicely. Yeah. Oh, Dave Bradford does his hair cut. He's going back later on this afternoon to have it finished. <laughs> well, he's had the sides done, the top's still not. Have you had your hair done? Having the wig fitted. Yeah, he's having his wig fitted next. Oh. Now, the thing with the bottom is. We're still talking about Dave. <laughs> <laughs> You're so rude, honestly. Huh? You're so rude. So rude. <laughs> the, um, if you want the turn ups, you need to follow the shape on the side. Because oh oh so the turn yes yeah so on the bottom here there are little kind just of pull it to your right just a little bit so it's not that's it there we you go can just see the little shaping so there. you've got a little bit of shape quite subtle here. but it's, it's important it is it is important because when you fold the legs back to create the turn up because it's a tapered leg when you fold it back it needs to be the same width as yeah. the trouser leg so that's why it's really important to follow those. Um, and I'm going to pin those as well, actually, because we okay. can do it all in one go. Lovely. Well, I'm going to pin it all in one go anyway. So, yeah. So when you get to sew this bit, you'll need to follow. So you literally kind of you kind of stitch, and then you come out a bit, and then you go in a bit, and then you go out a bit. Right. So you just basically it cut it exactly as the pattern is, yeah. and then follow it with your one and a half centimetre seam allowance exactly as the it's cut sort of thing. Yeah. That's it. Yes. And then Things were all guilty of that, just going, oh, I just, the trousers are just a straight line and just zip up there. And it's, but it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't always work that yeah. way, does it? Uh, yeah. but brilliant about both of your um, items today. Neither of them have zips or fastenings or any buttonholes or any of the bits that we... And they're the proper Amish clothing, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. It's like kind of proper but <laughs> comfort and easy to run up as well. Well, this is the thing, isn't it? Sometimes you want something that will take you several you know, weeks to make, it, going back to it backwards and yeah, forwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. And other times you just want something that's really going to be quick and easy, yeah. that, you know, you want to wear this weekend yeah. kind of thing. So, again, we do these as workshops. So it, they are easy to get done in a solid kind of yes, block exactly. of time. Whereas sometimes you want to just pick it up and put it down. Yeah. You? Which is cool. Right, let's just get this stitched. Lovely. I saw Dave Bradford at the Stitch Festival with my sister in Lindor, Julie. He's lovely, says Christine. At the, where were you? Oh, Stitch Festival. He wasn't at Stitch Festival, Christine. In Islington last week. No, he wasn't there. <laughs> Who on earth? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Christine, who have you been stalking? Who, well, either this, you've got a doppelganger that was at the Stitch Festival or Christine didn't have her glasses on. She likes the younger man as well, does Christine. <laughs> yeah, Matt, somebody may be there again. Yeah, buy this shacket. My name's Dave Bradford. <laughs> Were they doing signed... Was he doing signed photos? Oh, no. She said, no, no, not the Stitch Festival at the NEC. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't that sewing for pleasure, Christine, not the Stitch Festival. She's blaming me now. No, that, the Stitch Festival was in London last week. The NEC was sewing for pleasure. Mind you, to be perfectly honest, when you do the shows, they all kind of blend into Oh, yes, yes, exactly. Right, while you're stitching that, I'm going to just, just recap some of the more popular fabrics.
Jill in the grey. Three metre bundle. Beautiful, $22.99. We've also got in the navy. That's a really, really, really dark midnight navy, that one. Looks, looks like black on your tellies. I love that. I think that's really nice. There's only one. Four left of the navy. That's it. And seven in baskets. That's going to sell out. Pink, the gorgeous pink. Now, the pink is a chambray. Three metres. Well, no, I'd make these trousers out of it because it's really soft and summery, like picnic trousers I'd make out of this. But maybe you just don't want pink bottoms. <laughs> right, then we've got Larkspur. I don't know what's matter with you. I think I'm hungry. Larkspur. I've got to go to a meeting now anyway as well. Love this. Imagine those made out of this. They'd be gorgeous. Well, if you live in Stratford, Avon, you should wear these. Oh, you should. Yeah. Oh. No, I don't think so. Beautiful. Uh, and the pattern, I'll just go back to the pattern now. Mrs. It's difficult because it sounds like you're going, hey, missus. <laughs> or the missus. £24. Now, that's going to sell out. That's going to sell out. How many left? Oh, still five. Still five. 17 in baskets. Check out, check out, check out. Then we've got curvy. Curvy. Curvacious. Curvy. Uh, there you go. £24. Beautiful. How are you doing over there? Nearly done. OK, I might do tomorrow's menu just while, we're, just while Judith's finished so she can finish, show you them, held them up for you when she's done it. Uh, so tomorrow, it's not me tomorrow, it's Vic's tomorrow. She's got the entwined... Oh, Wendy Orlando's in tomorrow. Entwined with Love Quilt with Wendy Orlando. And nine o'clock, the cross stitch... Oh, Jane Greenoff's... All my regulars are in tomorrow without me. Cross Stitch Guild tomorrow with Jane Greenoff. Uh, ten, oh, then 10.30. So Jane Greenoff's doing an hour and a half. Pinwheel Delight Cushion with Wendy Orlando. Oh, and then Toff's in tomorrow. Oh, and it's the son's book. Look, it's Kerry's son's book, Edward. She's done the, a second book, hasn't she? New edition book launch with Kerry at 11.30. That'd be an hour and a half tomorrow. Well, that'd be a lovely show tomorrow. Lovely show tomorrow. Not that today hasn't been lovely, Jules, I'm just saying. <laughs> OK, let's have a quick look at those then. There we go. So we've got the outside leg seams done. So they're nice, we... they're nice, decent sized pockets as well, aren't oh, they? Oh, yeah, you've got to have proper pockets, yeah. definitely. So, all that's left to do now is there's the a pin still in that side, though. Here, the cuff of this one. Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah. It's like you're scratching yourself on the way. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, all you need to do then is the inside leg seam. Yeah. And put the waistband on. Perfect. And we're there. And perfect timing. When are you in next? I'm actually on the 30th of April, as far as I'm aware. 30th of April? Yes, I'm uh, But between now and then, so you'd have, you've got your craft fair this weekend. Yep, we've got the Spring Craft Market this weekend. And that's in Ulster at the Maker's... Space. Space. Not the Maker's Barn, the Maker's Space Maker's in Ulster. Space. Exeter. Yes. 